so very good morning to all of you i hope you all are doing great today in the second important subject of thermodynamic my dear we all are going to discuss maha marathon of this basic thermodynamic in which we are going to discuss most important topic all formulas how to tackle number of different type of problem these all point we are going to cover but before starting the session just let me know is my audio video fine or not very good morning to all of you yes raj good morning surya good morning kiran yes we try to complete the basic thermodynamic how much number of r it will be completed definitely i'll try my best that in this session only my dear ki aap sirf aur sirf aaj ka session attend karo and you will be able to know that how these type of problem will be solved if the tricky problem is there then how can you tackle these all the problem so definitely 5 to 6 hour will be there and in these 5 to 6 hour we are going to complete this important subject of mechanical engineering my dear basic thermodynamic and this is quite equally important for the exam if you are going to write for xc agar aap xc likh rahe ho this is also equally important for the xc also warmik very good morning i hope sab log jaag gaye hoge to chaliye let's start the session just before starting the session like and share the session with your friend and after that we are going to start maha marathon class for basic thermodynamic two class will be there my dear related to the thermodynamic one part we are going to cover in this basic part and second we are going to cover in the uh, applied portion or the application of the thermodynamic yes so question will be there or the separate practice session separate practice session will be there tonight but what in this session my dear let me tell you that all the type of problem i have just included i am not going to substitute the formula i am not going to substitute the numerical value in this session but almost whenever you will come uh, whenever you will complete this marathon session now then you will be able to clearly get the idea that sir if this type of problem will be there then this concept will be valid and how the formula will come then i'll uh, make the complete list of the formula in this session this will be very beneficial for you so whenever you are going to attend the practice session tonight my dear it will be best for you yes so in this session almost every type of problem i have just covered in the conceptual way not in the numerical way okay chaliye let's start the session uh, tonight from 11:45 or 50 midnight session will be there like uh, yesterday night you have attended the som my dear in the same way okay so chaliye let's start the session we all are aware with each other that is the reason we are not going to stop here let's move forward it is just a important update if any one of your junior your younger brother is going to prepare for gate 24 my dear this is the best opportunity for him or her right now and uh, date will be 8th of jan and time will be 12th of pm 90% of his scholarship you can get my dear okay sir this is my telegram channel each and every document each and every pdf whatever i am going to discuss in this session i'll share the entire thing on this my telegram channel my dear okay sir the basic thermodynamic subject will be covered in these six chapter we are going to good morning sk sv in these six chapter my dear we are going to cover each and every formula each and every important concept of the basic thermodynamic in these per six important chapters and let me tell you my dear normally these three important chapter you just leave ye teenon important chapter chhod ke chale jate ho i'll just try my best to cover each and every numerical category of the numerical which may be asked from this topic and how you will tackle these all the numerical from this topic okay so let's move forward can we start just uh, write in the comment section with the full energy because it's some morning time 10 am supper bahut lamba hai abhi so just write your comment in the comment section so that we can start the first important topic of the thermodynamic and how all the type of problem we can start my dear yes in se he start kar lo sir mujhe pehle bataye hote i'll start from this but again yes 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 okay good definitely agar mujhe pehle and let me tell you these three part i i cover in very much detail because i know very well where you feel the problem my dear right don't okay good 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 yes 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 surut sir now come back okay mayur what is the thermodynamic 
इट इज सिंपली अ ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस विच डील विद एनर्जी कन्वर्जन एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सिस्टम सर वाई आई एम गोइंग टू राइट दिस पॉइंट यू मस्ट नो दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट that thermodynamic is the branch of science from this point to the last point whatever you are going to do you must know in the first line don't worry don't worry don't worry okay sir the purpose of this line or some uh, at at uh, some place you will get some little bit theory my dear i think uh, two three uh, ppt two three slide will be there in the entire ppt when you say sir there is no requirement to write these uh, all the statement but it is let me tell you why because sir when you will start the clear cut idea what is the thermodynamic you will get the clear cut uh, uh, clear cut concept sir what exactly we are going to do this entire thermodynamic my dear in this first page the entire thermodynamic is written because what exactly you are going to do the your purpose is to convert the one form of energy into the another form of energy ultimately let me just open this point in the starting my dear very good morning that you are going to convert the heat into a work and in this session i am not going to ask any question if i'll ask you want to write the answer okay otherwise don't write the answer okay sir good sir let me tell you what is the ultimate aim my dear ultimate aim you want to convert the heat into the mechanical work in the efficient manner my dear generally heat can be converted into the work without any system it not be possible so the ultimate aim of the thermodynamic you want to convert your heat into the mechanical work and you want to check what is the change of property in all the system when you are going to converting the heat into the work work into the heat my dear your purpose right somewhere you can write that you want to convert this both the thing my dear only in a cycle let me write you let me tell you my dear only in a cycle you want to convert as a practical system for example if it is the ic engine thermodynamic cycle if it is the refrigeration cycle my dear power plant cycle whenever you want to convert your heat into a mechanical work then at that time you are going to follow a cycle means 90% of the problem are related to a cycle but i will ask from here sir can you please tell me from here what is the change of property change of property in a cycle can you please tell me the answer property of the system in a cycle change of property of the system in a cycle my dear it is equal to zero sir absolutely right it is equal to zero but again there will be a there will be a lot of confusion when you write this point because in the topic of entropy you will get the clear cut idea what this first point i have just written and how you will utilize this first point my dear because let me tell you when you will study the ic engine then my dear the symbolic representation of the ic engine is one is source second is heat engine and third is sink similarly when you will represent the whenever you will represent the refrigerator my dear then symbolic representation of the refrigerator is written like this this one is the refrigerator work is written like this and this one is the sink my dear and this one is the source so when you write that sir the change of entropy because it's a property in a cycle is zero so what is the meaning of it meaning of it is that this refrigerator my dear is only working in a cycle not the entire system source is just supplying the heat or taking the heat in a process sink is just supplying or taking the heat in a process but this refrigerator is working in a cycle so when you write now that change of the property of a system in the cycle is zero so at that time you are going to confirm that change of the property of this refrigerator only zero are you getting my point because this topic will be very beautifully utilized in the concept of entropy either it is the question of heat engine or it is the question of refrigerator or my dear it is the question of heat pump when you write change of property so it means change of property of this refrigerator only we are not going to deal with the source we are not going to deal with the sink means sink and source temperature and sink and source 
uh, entropy these all value can change just only change of entropy of the refrigerator will be zero my dear clear to all yes change of entropy of the heat engine will be zero my dear so at that time you have to find what is the change of entropy of the source what is the change of entropy of the sink is this point clear so first of all before starting the topic you must know my dear what system is considered what i know, uh, need to know as a system good let's move forward sir ultimate purpose is known to us and again after that one more question will be started to you yes uh, it's not a isentropic it's not like isentropic no isentropic is a process my dear here we are going to deal with a system right it's not a isentropic not at all good umar second point you know very well that you want to convert your heat into the work or work into the heat in a cycle but all the property of the system in a cycle is zero so you have converted the mechanical work into the heat you have converted the heat into the mechanical work what is the change of the property for the system zero for what you are going to study the thermodynamic because ultimate aim to study the thermodynamic change of conversion of energy and its effect on the system system effect on the system you have already known and why we are going to proceeding for the thermodynamic because my dear overall change of all the properties overall change of all the property on a system is zero zero because initial and final point is same but in each and every process because it is just consisting a cycle after each and every process how the property of the system is changing this is your ultimate aim of the thermodynamic whenever you are going to dealing with over our cycle my dear in that case there is no change in the property of the system lekin jab aap cycle ki baat kar rahe ho at that time you are dealing with each and every process of the system so what we are doing in the basic thermodynamic let me tell you in the in, in, in advance my dear that in basic thermodynamic you are dealing with the process only and when these all the process will be discussed in the applied thermodynamic you will just uh, you will just take all the process and you will make the cycle my dear are you getting my point in basic thermodynamic hardly in one or two at at one or two place you are going to discuss the thermodynamic cycle otherwise all the thing you are going to deal with thermodynamic process and in reality you must know not like this i will draw a process i will draw a horizontal line you say sir it is the example of isobaric process no at the same point if i am not going to give you the answer you must ask sir what will happen in the real life problem whenever isobaric process will be uh, will be represented in the real life what is the example of the isochoric process because when the number of numerical will be there na it will never mention in the question it is isobaric process it will give you a hint this is going to happen example of a rigid body 100% or rigid container example yes example rigid container will be given to you most of the time so if you are not able to feel how the heat is supply heat is rejected in in real life problem then definitely you feel the problem okay good yes yes exactly chali let's move forward so sir second point let me tell you thermodynamic deal with the energy conversion but heat transfer deal with the energy transfer from one point to another point one point must be clear to you that if it is the question of thermodynamic because most of the time you feel confusion that is it the question of thermodynamic or is it the question of uh, hmt sir very clear point is there whenever heat transfer will be there or hmt will be there then heat will be transfer from one point to another point and whenever it is the thermodynamic my dear you are dealing with the conversion of energy conversion means one form of energy is converted into the another form of energy like in this turbine my dear heat is converted into the mechanical work in this boiler my dear heat is converted into the enthalpy enthalpy is converted into the mechanical work but in this pipeline my dear in these all the pipelines heat is transferring from one point to another point so that's why this will be a question of from this to this point my dear this will be a question of hmt but in this device my dear what exactly we are dealing with that is the question of thermodynamic 
when it is especially given what is the meaning of the heat transfer what is the meaning of this this uh, work done then definitely it is related to the uh, thermodynamic but again this is already given to us that you need to find the work done or you need to find the heat transfer rate my dear then you are all uh, all 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 are very well aware with the question so i think you will not feel the problem in the concept of hmt and thermodynamic question is very clear whenever conversion is given heat into work work into heat work into enthalpy heat into enthalpy 100 percent question of thermodynamic 100 percent mayur question of thermodynamic but whenever heat is given and at the same time he, he will ask what will be the transfer rate of the heat it will be a question of hmt yes after that sir thermodynamic most important point in the basic thermodynamic it will not help you directly to find the numerical directly find the numerical my dear but it will help you indirectly a lot sir thermodynamic deal with the equilibrium state what is the meaning of the equilibrium state if your thermodynamic system is moving my dear if your thermodynamic system is not in equilibrium condition you are not going to measure a single thermodynamic property until unless it will not stop my dear whenever it will be stopped you will wait for a certain time and again let me tell you and again when the mechanical equilibrium or the thermodynamic equilibrium is there not like the th temperature only my use whenever mechanical equilibrium is there sir what is the meaning of the mechanical equilibrium if this one is a thermodynamic system for you guys like this like this so what is the mechanical equilibrium you must know if you are going to measure the inside pressure of the system my dear and if you say that inside pressure is exactly equal to p1 then let me tell you if it is in equilibrium condition then outside pressure must be must be p1 otherwise it not be in stop condition are you getting my point this type of question will help you this type of concept will help you to solve the problem of the piston cylinder arrangement i think hundred of time you just take the pb pb diagram but you sometime thermodynamic relationship are not just sufficient to calculate the pressure volume temperature my dear at that time you use this concept that is the mechanical equilibrium and let me tell you when a spring when an external force is applied on the piston any external force is applied on the cross section on the piston a spring is attached to a piston this concept is valid mechanical equilibrium concept is valid in that case i am very sure the question related to the spring yes 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 like this let me tell you like this this is the piston cylinder arrangement my dear and gas is filled in this system gas is filled in this system and a spring is attached like this this question will be solved only by mechanical equilibrium you must know that inside pressure is balanced by the outside pressure are you getting my point whenever you write that inside pressure is equal to p1 sir if it is equal to atmospheric pressure it is okay otherwise if it is more than more than more than atmospheric pressure can any one of you tell me how this will be maintained by the equilibrium condition how it will maintain the equilibrium condition sir let me tell you this will maintain the equilibrium condition either by this spring force or by some stopper my dear if the inside pressure is more than p1 then at that time it will be stopped by the piston weight you can say a stopper you can say or the spring force you can say yes yes exactly exactly i think you can say restricted by the spring restricted by some external reaction or restricted by some piston weight my dear good thermal equilibrium when temperature of all the points are same that condition will be known as thermal equilibrium and again let me tell you chemical equilibrium no chemical reaction is there my dear yes second point macroscopic and microscopic approach you are dealing with the microscopic macroscopic approach but this point let me tell you my dear good point uh, a very good point for the interview but again because for the interview point of view 
what exactly you will do in the microscopic approach my dear this is considered for the molecular level or the micro level and some statistical method are used to take the average of this one and in macroscopic approach generally most of you are having the doubt in this case that in macroscopic approach we take the average no we don't take the average in macroscopic approach what you do you consider certain amount of the of the of the substance as a system certain amount of the uh, of the of the molecule you considered as a system as a whole means bahut sare mass ko for example this is the room and in this room what you will take how much air is uh, there like 2 kg 4 kg air is uh, completely in this room so what you will do in that at that time my dear you complete air you will consider as a one identity and then you will measure each and everything about this one identity this is the microscope macroscopic approach whenever it is the piston cylinder arrangement you never check what is the effect of the pressure on one molecule never you check what is the effect of the pressure on the gas as a single identity 2 kg of the gas as a single identity 2 kg of the water as a single identity so in the macroscopic approach lot of area lot of mass is considered as a single identity and then the behavior of this identity is checked by considering this entire mass as a single one getting my point you are not moving till the molecular average most of the student have the doubt in this case my dear that in macroscopic approach we take the average behavior or we check the take the molecular behavior and after that we take the average no we are not going to take the average we are simply going to take the whole mass as a system as a single identity and you are going to deal with the single identity as a system good yes after that my dear system after that my dear system sir most of the time you people feel problem to consider a system so let me tell you whenever you are going to write the piston cylinder arrangement whenever you are going to write the piston cylinder arrangement and if javer it's your question mohammad javer most of the time i feel problem to consider as a system my dear whenever the system is given and nothing is mentioned my dear so let me tell you what is the system system is that substance under this the under this boundary my dear under this boundary what what gas liquid or whatever is filled that is under the system getting my point when you write what is the work done by the system at that time he is not asking what is the work done by the piston cylinder he is asking because the work done by the piston cylinder will be there when the work done by the gas will be subtracted from the friction one are you getting my point whenever he write what is the work done by the system it means he is going to ask what is the work done by the gas my dear when he write the temperature of the system is to 70 degree centigrade he is going to mention the temperature of this gas my dear temperature inside this piston cylinder arrangement is 27 or 270 degree centigrade are you getting my point definition ki yahan pe baat hi nahi kar rahe kyunki definition aap acche se samajhte ho definition very good yes great after that sir after that let's come to the surrounding what is the meaning of the surrounding my dear anything external to the system my dear you just leave this entire gas then everything other than this one is a surrounding you don't consider this one if the piston is moving in the upward direction my dear this one is the surrounding if the if the heat is rejected from this surrounding this one is a surrounding this one is a surrounding like this okay now you need to consider like this that sir if this gas is a system i have already assumed like this then this gas is a system somewhere like this okay yes 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 this gas is a system somewhere like this umar somewhere like this this gas will be the system 
after this gas my dear whatever we are going to dealing with whatever it will be a piston also it will be a cylinder boundary it will be out of the cylinder my dear everything is the surrounding for you are you getting my point everything is the surrounding this one is the system other than this one everything is the surrounding my dear so you can do one thing by assuming this simple concept let me move side kyunki aapko ye complete dikhna chahiye just a minute you just check this point once you consider that ideal gas as a system after that my dear other than this ideal gas what exactly we are dealing with that will be the surrounding either it is the cylinder boundary or it is the piston boundary external weight or it is the atmospheric condition my dear umar mohammed clear because most of the time you will be confused in this portion that what will be the system let me tell you very clear first of all once system is considered by you you just take that identity as a separate part and other than this identity everything is surrounding yeah sometime it is mentioned that it is clearly it is clearly mentioned like this is a rigid body my dear this one is a rigid body and the insulated body so if you will consider this as the identity then everything out of this identity will be a surrounding right good 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 okay all point we have written and in this case my dear universe we can simply write aayenge aayenge un questions pe aa rahe hain don't worry sir we are just starting when you will connect the small small thing na then from the first law of thermodynamic till the second law and after that available energy my dear then after that you will get the clear cut idea but from the small small thing you need to know okay now yes good boundary is just a separation part right boundary is just a separation part we are coming it may be flexible it may be fixed it may be <laughs> real or my dear imaginary imaginary yes after that type of system close open and isolated system sir yes 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 exactly sir closed system mass transfer and my dear energy transfer yes no and energy transfer yes in the open system let me write first of all and after that in the isolated system my dear after that i'll give you a point important point this one is yes this one is also yes no and no my dear sir let me tell you in advance whenever you are going to deal with basic thermodynamic topic basic thermodynamic majorly my dear we are dealing with the closed system and whenever you deal with applied thermodynamic topic whenever you are going to deal with applied thermodynamic topic then majorly you are dealing with the open system example of turbine and steam turbine open system compressor open system all the component of refrigerator open system all the component of power plant open system so maximum to maximum in the applied thermodynamic my dear you are dealing with the open system and in the closed system my dear you are dealing with the uh, in the in the basic thermodynamic you are dealing with the open system sir let me tell you in well in advance 90% of you write the answer of the work done in very generalized way and that is the reason only you make the mistake my dear generally it is asked like the work done in compressor can you please tell me compressor will come under the topic of open or closed system compressor should come under the topic of the open or closed system open system yes most of the time 
this work is asked in this compressor and you write the formula like this that mr t1 minus of t2 divided by gamma minus 1 or it will be somewhere like this v1 minus p2 v2 divided by gamma minus 1. Can you please tell me it is the right answer or the wrong answer? Is it the right formula or wrong formula? When what do you say, Shrut? What exactly you say? Absolutely wrong formula. Absolutely wrong, but again, most of the time you use this formula. Reason is very simple. Sir, right now you, you all say this is the 100% wrong formula, but whenever question related to the compressor come into the picture, then directly you deal with, sir, it is the example of polytropic process. It is the example of adiabatic process and for the adiabatic and polytropic process, we know the work done. We know the work done. That is the reason during the numerical portion, you most of the time you make the mistake. Either you believe, either you accept or not, but most of the time you make the mistake. I think maximum of you will accept this. Ki, sir, gamma se multiply karna bhool gai. Are you getting my point? That is the reason in the clear way, my dear, I will just make the table whenever work will be there. Right? And before writing the formula of the work done, this formula, let me tell you, is only valid for the piston cylinder arrangement, my dear. When the piston cylinder arrangement is there, you feel free to apply this formula. Otherwise, my dear, or you can say the question related to the ideal condition, question related to the uh, related to the basic thermodynamic portion, this formula can be applied. And let me tell you uh, how many number of formula you have studied. Most of the time for the work done, most of the time for the work done, my dear, these formulas are only valid for the ideal condition. Ideal condition means piston cylinder arrangement. When the piston cylinder arrangement are there, then these formula will be valid. Real life formula are the different thing what exactly we are going to discuss in the work done topic, my dear. So first of all, Whenever you are going to write each and everything, make the star point and make a promise to yourself that after that we are not going to make the mistake like this. Reason, whenever name like turbine, compressor, nozzle, throttle wall, these name will be there in the exam. These name will be there in the question. I'll stop for a while and I'll start to think. Is it the example of an open system or closed system? Whenever piston cylinder arrangement is there, blindly you can apply the formula of the work done for the closed system. And let me tell you in advance why you make this type of mistake. Do you know? You are not aware with this, but let me tell you. Why, sir? Because in the basic and applied thermodynamic, most of the time, it is suggested to you to mug up the formula of the closed system. That is the reason. You know, you are aware with the formula of the open system, but most of the time it is now suggested to you to just rewrite all the formula of the open system. open system Even the most of the problem of the applied thermodynamic is highly recommended for the open system. Okay, so example is gamma. Example is my dear gamma. This is the open system. Okay, yeah. Chali. Let's move forward. Thermodynamic property, it is a measurable characteristics, points I am not going to deal with, volume, temperature and this extensive and intensive property. Sir, after that, whenever uh, I will just give the weight any point, you just write that point only because after that I will share each and every uh, point in the term of PDF. After that, what you need to do, you just remind these all the topics. If you are not having the short notes, it will be more than sufficient. Each and every formula is covered here. Don't worry about this because this is just a starting. Once the base will be developed for you now, after that numerical portion from the zero law will be, will be very easy for all of you, my dear. Okay. Extensive property and the intensive property. Here, my dear, the main important point, you know very well that extensive property are fully 
yes yes i am coming on the same point extensive property are fully dependent upon the mass and intensive property are independent from the mass so generally one question of msq type or a single statement of msq type come from this topic my dear like whenever msq is there then one statement in the msq may be like this the density is the example of the extensive property uh, thermal conductivity is the example of the of the uh, intensive property sir if you are able to recall these all the formula well and good if you are not able to recall these all the point then i will suggest to one thing only to check which property is the extensive or which property is the intensive what do you need to do sir you need to do only one thing whenever any property is given to us so what if you want to check the intensive property or extensive property forget everything check or uh, ask only one thing sir if it is the density i'll take the water of 1 kg and then i'll ask to myself is the density of this water how much sir 1000 on the same time i'll take the 10 kg of the water now what is the density of this 10 kg of water if you are getting the same answer intensive property otherwise it's a extensive let me give you some other point my dear like a specific heat you take 1 kg of the specific heat a 1 kg of the air 2 kg don't divide anything ragu in the simple word you just take the example of the two mass of a simple working medium and ask to yourself is it changing or remain same changing 100% example of the extensive property not changing 100% example of intensive property take 1 kg of the water check the thermal conductivity take 10 kg of the water check the thermal conductivity is it changing or remain same if remain same intensive property getting my point internal energy internal energy at the same temperature and pressure take 1 kg of the water at the same temperature and pressure take 10 kg of the water internal energy changing or remain same what do you say water i am talking about internal energy is changing or remain same my dear tell me the answer first remain same or changing changing 100% answer of extensive property 100% answer of extensive property exactly good so this is the one way you can just check during the exam you need not to divide the entire system in two three four part just take a simple example sir 1 kg of the water is there 10 kg of the water is there only what property is given to us ask to yourself is it changing or remain same Ajruddin agree example of extensive property now whatever you whatever property you want to take you take and then just feel free to ask to yourself okay good one more thing let me tell you my dear in the steam table in any chart my dear like in molier chart like in hs diagram or ph diagram in all chart in all the steam table my dear the properties are given to us in property are given to us in intensive property this point must be clear in all the steam tables all the refrigerant table all the chart my dear every property is mentioned as a intensive property not the extensive property right yeah you can you can also say it is the example of the extensive or inten uh, intensive if anything is given per kg of something then that will be the example of intensive property like internal energy per kg is the example of intensive property sir intensive property uh, were only introduced the concept of intensive property were only introduced that whenever in future any engineer will conduct the experiment then if we get the same answer for 1 kg 10 kg 100 kg of the working substance when we are dealing with so this intensive property is already given to us why the steam in the steam table all properties are given to given in the form of uh, intensive property because whenever you are dealing to convert the water into the vapor my dear so either you will do the experiment with 1 kg 10 kg 50 kg how much kg of the uh, steam you want to convert from the steam table you will get the same answer 
that is the reason you need not to draw lot of steam table for 1 kg separate steam table for 2 kg separate it's not like this so specific or the internal uh, intensive properties are designed only for the purpose when you don't want any separate effect for the different mass that is the reason in the starting i have told you that is the reason in the starting my dear i have told you that intensive property means for 1 kg for 10 kg for 50 kg that property should not change that is the answer whenever you start to think like this you will never make the mistake in the intensive and extensive property never make the mistake in the exam because otherwise i will tell you lot of definition of the intensive and extensive lot of point related to extensive and intensive but during the exam you can forget if the new property will come to you so this is the only single simple way you check for 1 kg 2 kg 10 kg if your inner soul is saying that sir answer is same 100 percent example of intensive otherwise extensive simple question is there good next Divis what division you are talking about already discussed sir three important property i am going to tell you all the form of energy is the extensive property my dear like internal energy form of energy like enthalpy is also the form of energy like after that my dear <coughs> kinetic energy form of energy potential energy form of energy in all the form mass is coming all the specific property are the intensive property and ratio of two extensive property is the intensive property generally these are three important way to find the property as extensive or intensive my dear let's move forward after that thermodynamic state sir what is the thermodynamic state you define the condition of that system at the instant of time that is the thermodynamic state on any yes yes bilkul amir don't worry just basic point i want to convey in a very detail after that we definitely increase the speed don't worry as long as your state is fixed your property at all the state will be the fixed my dear so this is the one point sir what this going to define you this going to define you my dear when any thermodynamic system is there then when this system is in equilibrium condition my dear then someone of you is going to measure these property of the system is property ko major kar hai, right and when i'll suggest any point which is not written on this ppt then my dear that point you need to write only otherwise you just suggest me that sir make this point as a star point for us because these point will help you a lot to solve the numerical when you say one point my dear what is the meaning of the state it means first of all the system was in equilibrium condition and at that time someone of us had just measured the property for that system us system ke liye kisi ne property major ki and after that he changed the position of the system to make the process right so whenever you are going to check the state my dear it means system is already in the stop condition system is already in the equilibrium condition after that you are going to do something with the system that's why process is going to conduct okay good so key point regarding the state and the property these all are 100 percent important question my dear for msq in this session my dear let me tell you I have tried to rewrite each and everything in such a way that MSQ will be MSQ will be clear to you in the session my dear at least from the basic thermodynamic you will not feel any problem in MSQ if you just cover all the thing all the point from this PPT my dear each and every point I have just tried to write everything in this key point way my dear as long as state will be fixed all property will be fixed property of a system is independent from the path it is 100 percent the point function my dear all properties are exact derivative you can write dt you can write ds dp and dv my dear and all the property are independent from the past history not part it's a past history for example if you are dealing with the properties like this 
this is the pv diagram my dear then first of all it is independent from the past history it does not matter from where you are coming like this it does not matter which path is followed by you it does not matter like this it is 100 percent independent from this point so sometime it may be asked in msq which of the following statement is correct like it will be given that property is independent from the path property is dependent for the path yes good okay okay i think you are watching in mobile if i'm not wrong mayur yes or no that's why i'll just put this point keeping in mind yes after that my dear this is the most important point for the numerical point of view sir thermodynamic process generally you write that change of the state my dear change of the state is a process is it or not is a process or the thermodynamic process change of the state good after that sir right now at this one stage if you are going to yes yes i am coming on that point mohammed don't worry sir at this point i'll write the property like t1 p1 and the volume like v1 my dear first of all i'll ask to you that if you are going to now each and every point will be valid when you just try to expand your theory of process to the cycle then you will get the idea of all the point whatever we have covered till now and try to understand try to feel this point my dear again i'll suggest to you whenever you are going to check the property at point number one when it is possible it is only possible because in the starting of the page you have already discussed it is only possible when system is in thermodynamic equilibrium yes or no my dear Okay, okay, sure, Vomik. Give me one minute. Yes, tell me yes or no. Can I write the measurement is only possible when the system is in equilibrium condition? Or yes or no, Muhammad? System will be in equilibrium condition, then it is only possible to measure the property, my dear. Good. Yes. Uh, Devendra, my point is this. Yes, Devendra, let me. Uh, clear this point my dear up to this up to this there is no numerical will be asked getting my point Devendra already I have told you I have covered every time every type of numerical in this PPT let's come that part the point is this up to here my dear there is no numerical abhi tak koi numerical aega nahi Huh. Up to this part, only MSQ question will be there. That is the reason each and every point I have tried my best to write on this PPT so that you will not feel the problem to MSQ. Whenever numerical will start, I will cover each and every type of numerical. Sir, this type of numerical, you will use this concept. It is already written. Don't worry about this. Okay. And definitely after the Jeroth law, it will start. Don't worry. Come back. Sir, my point is this good after that generally it is given in the question that property at the point number two sarma ji very good me uh, good morning t2 and p2 my dear yes after that you need to focus in any numerical from here numerical part are going to start my dear from here it is clearly mentioned that after the process after doing this thermodynamic property of the system become p2 b2 and t2 now from here your thinking your concept must be started my dear when your system was already there in the equilibrium condition how it can reach to the second equilibrium condition my dear if this question is not coming in your mind you are not able to solve any numerical Sir, already you say that at one state my thermodynamic system is in equilibrium condition. Yes, sir. But after some time, my system reached to the second equilibrium condition. If you are not able to ask this question to yourself, that if the system is already equilibrium condition at one point, how it reached to the two point, then definitely we are making some mistake somewhere. Huh. Answer is you have to do something with that system only the equilibrium condition may change to the second equilibrium condition sir there may be 
the different thing you can do with the system there may be the different thing you can do with the system like sir i supply the heat i supply the heat that's why system is start to move in this uh, in this way from 1 to 2 this is one way sir so second first of all p2 uh, sorry p1 is greater than p atmospheric here i am i am going to tell you a very important point which is not given in the question and which will help you a lot to solve the numerical just try to understand this point sir if this weight is, is stopping the system to move in the upward direction then there are two possibility either you remove this weight and allow the system to move from 1 to 2 and at 2 position my dear this p2 will reach this p2 my dear will reach exactly equal to ptm patm and at that time heat is not supply at that time my dear heat is not supply to the system and system is moving from one state to two state when weight is removed can you tell me in this case when weight is removed my dear when weight is removed pressure will decrease or increase i am talking about the pressure this pressure my dear pressure will decrease or increase what do you say pressure is 100 percent decrease because you are removing some external weight that's why pressure will decrease and volume is increased example of polytropic process are you getting my point example of polytropic process this is one way it is not given in the question but weight is just removed example of polytropic process because pressure is changing and my dear friend volume is also changing good for this polytropic process lot of thing can be given to us after that you are not removing this weight no you are not going to remove this weight my dear you are not going to remove this weight but you supply heat to the system heat to the system i am coming on that part mohammed give me one minute only sir yes if insulated 100% example of adiabatic process after that isothermal may also be there means polytropic when i say polytropic polytropic means i am going to represent any thermodynamic process in the term of pv raised to k is equal to constant after that it may be the adiabatic process after that it may be the isothermal process it may be the polytropic process itself this is the general formula of the thermodynamic process when you are changing yeah okay good sir when you supply the heat to any system when you supply heat to any system my dear then definitely inside pressure will try to increase but again when inside pressure will try to increase outside pressure from the top side it is not going to increase so definitely outside or your resisting pressure is absolutely constant when your outside pressure is absolutely constant when you increase the pressure are you not feeling piston will try to move in upward direction to maintain the same pressure so when in the piston cylinder arrangement your upward weight is constant and you supply heat to the system it will be the example of isobaric process if the process is not very slow process agar process bahut slow process nahi hai and if you supply the heat to system and piston cylinder is moving in the upward direction then definitely it is the example of the isobaric process my dear getting my point and now the question will come how sir it will attain the equilibrium condition at point 2 there is only one possibility in this case that whenever heat supply will be cut off then system will be stopped at the same position that will be known as equilibrium condition at 2 my dear so there are two possibility whenever whenever polytropic process adiabatic or isothermal process was there then it was registered or it was compensation of this removal of the weight whenever heat will be supplied it was the example of the isobaric process 
it was the example of isobaric process when it is moving in the upward direction until unless your heat will not be cut off your piston will continue to move in the upward direction clear to you in this question in any question my dear it will never be mentioned that process is the isobaric process process is the isochoric process or the process is the adiabatic process most of the time we have to recognize what is the process and what is the formula getting my point quasi static is a very slow process yes is this point clear whenever piston cylinder arrangement is there you are going to supply the heat and the heat is not in a very slow manner my dear then definitely it is an example of isobaric process if the pressure is removed because most of the time when work topic is discussed now then most of the time a student asks this doubt sir i am coming mohammed most of the student ask this doubt sir volume is decreasing then pressure must uh, volume is increasing then pressure must decrease yes or no you are also having the same doubt sir if the volume increase then pressure must decrease always it is not possible clear this point write this point somewhere that volume increasing pressure decrease it is possible only few in few condition always it not be there my dear in the same problem we have seen that pressure is constant but volume is decreasing नहीं नहीं ये डाउट आता है ये डाउट ये जो मैं आपको सारी चीजें बता रहा हूं दिस ऑल पॉइंट हैज बीन आस्क इन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल आई दर पर्सनली और इन दैट ग्रुप माई डियर राइट ना सो इट इज नॉट अ पॉइंट दैट इफ द वॉल्यूम इज इंक्रीजिंग प्रेशर विल ऑलवेज डिक्रीज और वॉल्यूम इज डिक्रीजिंग दैट प्रेशर ऑलवेज इंक्रीज इट्स नॉट लाइक दिस ओके गुड कम बैक so what is the thermodynamic process so we are getting from here if you want to have a thermodynamic process my dear you have to do something you have to do something then and only then thermodynamic process is possible that's all good then process generally are there are two type my dear one is the reversible process second is the rever irreversible process and from combination of all reversible process we make the reversible cycle and reversible process my dear is the most efficient process efficient process let me tell you in our thermodynamic my dear in our gate exam most of the time process will be the reversible process not irreversible process but gents of the friction make any process as the irreversible process make any process as the irreversible process after that quasi static process is the almost static or the slowness when the process is carried out in a very slow manner it is the quasi static process infinite slowness is the characteristics and let me write one star point my dear yes frictionless yes write the answer frictionless quasi static process is frictionless quasi static process is the reversible process yes mayur not possible is the reversible process frictionless quasi static process is the reversible process so generally sometime it is written that process is a quasi static process just a minute process is a quasi static process process is conduct in a very slow manner my dear generally it is a representation of a reversible process in indirect way in few question if you have solved related to gate exam my dear you have seen these word are given to us yes or no quasi static process are there very slow process are there then these are the representation of the reversible process and very slow process is also the representation of isothermal process yes isothermal process isothermal process require a very long time infinite time is required my dear so isothermal process are also sometime is written in the gate exam like quasi static process or the very slow process okay so are you not getting that for our gate exam we are getting we are having some hint we are having some hint exactly 
exactly is proved. We are having some hint whenever quasi static given, very slow process is given, then definitely on one node it is given as a reversible process, on the other node is indicate that approach to the isothermal process. So, if nothing is given in that question and we are getting like very slow process, we can solve by considering that question by isothermal process. Okay, after that thermodynamic cycle already the first point is started from here as the thermodynamic cycle the series of process change final state is identical by this then for a cycle my dear difference of all the property of a system in which it is conducted in which the process or the cycle is conducted my dear that is the best example of the like if it is the piston cylinder arrangement just a minute if it is the piston cylinder arrangement like this my dear and in this piston cylinder arrangement lot of process are conducted like this lot of process are conducted like this very uh, very fast yes adiabatic good if lot of process are conducted like this like heat supply after that work is done on the system after that heat is rejected from the system and after conducting these all the process the system come back to the original position so when you say that change of property is zero my dear it does not mean that change of property for all the thing will be zero no when the system is having one process then there is the change in the property of the system second process change of the property third process change of the property of the system so in all the process change of the property is occurred from the system but overall change because initial and final point is same overall change becomes zero and with this one when the process number one was conducted that was affecting affecting the surrounding my dear it was affecting the surrounding so in this process entropy change property change of the surrounding so when you say all the property not changing these are valid only for the system my dear write this point you never write in the cycle entropy of the entire universe zero entropy or any property of the entire universe zero no only this system zero are you getting my point the system is not an entire universe only this system for example in this system is only gas is filled now then entropy change of gas is zero entropy temperature change of this gas is zero it does not mean that if the surrounding air is there then its entropy will be zero no only for this system entropy is zero the biggest problem is first of all you forget to write exactly exactly sb surrounding may or may not be zero let me write for a cycle for a cycle difference of property of surrounding may or may not be zero yes exactly similarly you can also write for a cycle difference of property for the universe may or may not be zero are you getting my point universe may zero ho bhi sakta hai, nahi bhi ho sakta it will depend upon the cycle it will be a reversible cycle or the irreversible cycle good after that ideal gas equation sir generally pv is equal to mrt is the ideal gas equation where r is a specific gas whose value is r bar divided by molecular weight where the value of r bar my dear can you please tell me the answer r bar will be equal to 8.314 kilojoule per kilo mole kelvin sir unit focus on the unit kilojoule per kilo mole kelvin my dear and after that this r bar is given if i'll substitute all the values then p will be written by n into r bar into t my dear sometime let me tell you this equation 1 and this equation 2 these both equation are valid for the ideal gas but again this r bar is a universal gas constant my dear universal gas constant from here i'll tell you a very important point gas constant after that my dear we write cp minus cv is equal to r for the <coughs> mere formula is there and finally 
CP by CV is equal to gamma, but gamma is equal to 1 plus 2y degree of freedom. And gamma is 1.4 for diatomic gas. Gamma 1.67 for monoatomic. Okay, I will side of the And gamma is 1.33 for polyatomic. Sir, from here, check this point very clearly. आपका एक बहुत क्वेश्चन आता है, बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन भी है और डाउट भी है. Sir, the value of R is not given. That is the reason we are not able to solve this problem. Sir, the value of gamma is not given. That is the reason we are not able to solve this problem. Let me tell you from this entire 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 slide, my dear. No. R is required to solve in uh, solve any gas. No gamma is required to solve any gas. Reason. Sir, if the name of the gas is given to us, like air is given to us, that is the example of uh, diatomic gas. Molecular weight is given. Are you not able to find this value of R? Are you not able to find the value of this R, my dear? Yes or no? From here, R bar is equal to 8.314 and molecular weight is 29.8. Are you not able to find the R of a specific gas? Yes or no? Similarly, similarly. If it is the monoatomic gas like helium, argon, neon, these all are the example of monoatomic gas. Helium, argon, neon, these all are the monoatomic gas. Air is the example of diatomic gas. So, are you not feeling if these all the type of gas are given, are you not able to find this one? And if I will compare this equation and this equation, my dear, equation 1 and 2, then Cp can be written by gamma R divided by gamma minus 1 and Cv can be R R divided by gamma minus 1 if I will solve these both the equation. If I solve these both the equation, you will get the answer. So from today, you will never raise the question. You will never feel, sir, value of the gamma is not given, value of the R is not given. That's why I am not able to find the answer. No, you are. You are able to find the answer because everything can be calculated whenever the name of the gas is given and the molecular weight of the gas is given. Yes or no? You will never raise this question, sir, the value of R is not given, value of gamma is not given and after that, let me make one uh, more important point, my dear. It is a very important question of MSQ that CP is dependent upon, it is the question of ESC. It is the question of ESC, my dear, but in this case, R from here, R is the function of, R is this one. Can I write, R is the function of molecular weight because R bar is constant. R is the function of molecular weight. Yes, absolutely right. And from here, gamma is the function of, gamma is the function of degree of freedom or the molecular structure both are the same thing molecular structure no temperature it is just changing with respect to temperature with the temperature it is changing uh, Muhammad Jabir compressibility factor will come in the topic of uh, compressibility factor will come in the topic of real gas equation Right after the pure substance, when we are going to discuss the uh, real gas e uh, uh, equation, we are going to discuss in the Van der Waal compressibility factor. These all points, my dear. Okay. So R is the function of molecular weight. Gamma is the function of molecular structure. That's why Cp will be the function of molecular weight, my dear, and the molecular structure. Because in this one, gamma and R both are given to us. Gamma and R both are given to us. So, this is also one of the important MSQ question for you. That Cp is the function of molecular weight and Ms. R is the function of molecular weight. Gamma is the function of molecular structure or the degree of freedom. After that, we are going to come. A very important process that all important process for this one, my dear sir. Now, let's start first one. These all process that is the isobaric process. 
isobaric process sir in the isobaric process what hint will be given to us yes 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 junaid what hint will be given to us system will be rigid system or the fixed boundary clear to you no 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 pressure will not be constant umar pressure is 100% change system is the example of the fixed boundary boundaries are not going to change right yes boundaries are not going to change after that whenever heat will be supplied to you sir this will give you the idea of lot of important property try to understand this point whenever heat will be supplied to you maine isobaric likha sorry sorry my mistake it's not isobaric by mistake it is written sorry isobaric sir <clears throat> अच्छा 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 ओके उमर कम बैक सर वॉल्यूम इज अ कांस्टेंट व्हेन आई राइट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू पी वन बाई टी वन विल बी इक्वल टू पी टू बाई टी टू सर अप टू दिस यू नो एवरीथिंग इट वाज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम समवन ऑफ योर फ्रेंड व्हेन न्यूमेरिकल विल बी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक माई डियर न्यूमेरिकल इज स्टार्टिंग सर जस्ट अ मिनट वेन हीट विल बी सप्लाई टू अ सिस्टम when heat will be supplied to a system to this system then definitely pressure of the system or the temperature of the system will increase because you are going to supply the heat temperature will increase in this case my dear so in this case when temperature will increase and pressure will increase if i'll draw the pv diagram in this case my dear pv diagram volume is constant but pressure is increasing just a minute pressure will increase like this sir after that listen this point very carefully this right side system this right side system will be never given to you ye kabhi mention hi nahi hoga this whatever we are going to write now it will be never given to us it will be given that your pressure is changing in the isobaric process your pressure is changing from 1 bar to the 5 bar my dear like this in a rigid container question will be somewhere like this that in the rigid container pressure is changing from 1 bar to 1 bar to 5 uh, bar then you need to think all the possibility of this process only this this diagram whatever i have drawn now this will be given in the question form if you are not able to feel what is exactly happen with the real life system then definitely you are not able to solve any problem related to the isobaric process sir if you are not going to think that how one bar pressure is change how one bar pressure is change to five bar if you have done nothing if you are not going to think like this then definitely you are in trouble you need to think sir volume is not going to change okay there is a one example of rigid vessel okay sir after that pressure is going to change from one bar to five bar now you need to think only from this uh, this question you need to think that sir this one is a question from here your numerical is started my dear from here your numerical started mohammad sharma ji that sir if this one is a pv diagram given in the form of question then if the question is not coming in my mind that sir if the pressure is changing from 1 bar to 5 bar then how this pressure is increase from probability of 1 to 2 then you must say that sir vessel is the rigid if the heat will be supplied to the system if the heat will be supplied to the system then and only then pressure can change agree or not and this will give you the lot of idea from here what idea sir when you say sir heat is supplied to the system then definitely you can say that sir heat in this system will be positive are you getting my point close system is there sir work done is zero sir if the pressure will increase then definitely if the pressure is increasing sir your temperature will also increasing agree or not and if your temperature is increasing your internal energy will also increase if your internal energy is increasing these all property are increasing if heat is supplied to the system can you please tell me 
हीट सप्लाई टू द सिस्टम रिप्रेजेंट एंट्रोपी और नॉट एंट्रोपी और नॉट माई डियर वॉट डू यू से हीट इज सप्लाई टू द सिस्टम एंट्रोपी इज कंप्लीट द रिप्रेजेंटेटर ऑफ हीट देन वॉट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑफ एंट्रोपी लाइक दिस like this so entropy will increase in this system do you know why these all property i am going to tell you in detail because when when you will draw or you will convert your pv diagram into ts diagram you will get the clear cut idea sir you know very well you know very well that this one is the ts diagram you already draw sir if it is the ts diagram my dear then definitely in the ts diagram we have already studied that curve of the ts diagram will be somewhere like this but it will give you the clear cut idea why nahi 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 mohammad isliye nahi aao to yahan pe wo to main nahi bhi bataunga tab bhi aap exam doge bhale aap fail ho jao wo ek alag baat hai aapki baat nahi kar raha hu don't take it serious champak hai aade come back so the point is this sir i know the slope of isochoric process on ts diagram is somewhere like this but my question is this why it's not like this are you getting my point why 1 to 2 is not like this it may be the question na it may be the question why the process can not be move in this way because in this case when you feel na from here when you feel from here sir temperature is increasing entropy is increasing how i can draw the diagram like this how i can draw the diagram like this then definitely you will get this is the wrong representation so whenever conversion of pv diagram into ts diagram will be asked to you you will be 100% select the correct and appropriate sign convention appropriate direction of process my dear that's why i am going to tell you these all the process how they will increase so that's why i i am going to tell you when this process is given after checking this isochoric process in the pv diagram if you are not able to recall the real life problem this is the real life problem of this diagram my dear this is the real life uh, problem of this diagram you are never able to feel that how actually happening with all the process of the thermodynamics sir is this point clear to all only this will be given to us only this and lot of property may be asked in direct or indirect form my dear i think i need not to repeat the same problem for the temperature decreasing or pressure decreasing you will get the clear cut idea how the temperature and pressure can be decreased all of you good let's move forward for the second process sir second is the isobaric process isobaric process in the closed system we are dealing with let me tell you how isobaric process sir in the most of the time very nice very nice clear to all now in the isobaric process there are so many important point we are going to discuss here don't mix everything you just try to separate each and everything that is the reason we are moving in a very slow manner otherwise okay 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 sir try to understand this one from this point you will get the clear cut idea now this one is a process sir from the numerical formula there is only one possibility to find the numerical value otherwise most of the thing already should be clear from this pv diagram that is the only reason you draw the pv diagram most of the thing must be clear from the point my dear like this pv diagram is somewhere like this now you think forget this this process my dear forget the name of this process forget it now you start to ask to yourself sir if the pressure constant if the pressure constant how it is possible that volume will expand volume will change my dear when you will start to ask the question na then most of the question will be already clear to you 
that's the pressure how it is the possibility that pressure is constant but volume is changing from a small volume to the large volume like this like this like this so possibility is only one sir in this case there is the pressure constant like this it means that inside pressure that p1 is registered by p of the atm plus of the p of the piston agree or not atm plus p piston but in this case when the piston is moving from 1 to 2 piston is moving from 1 to 2 your external pressure is not going to change neither this weight is removed nor this atm changing my dear but again piston is moving how it is possible you are going to supply the heat to the system are you getting my point you are going to supply heat to the system my dear then it is only possible if you don't want to remove this weight okay don't remove it but in this case this entire process can be changed by supplying the heat now if you will supply the heat then my dear pressure p1 is equal to p2 is equal to constant then in this case v1 y t1 will be equal to v2 y t2 my dear is this uh, yes mayur yes 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 <clears throat> isometric process oh sorry isobaric process isometric purana tha isocoric sir in this case volume definitely increasing sir what about temperature definitely increasing what about internal energy 100% increasing what about heat supply to the system are you getting my point heat definitely plus what about entropy my dear tell me the answer what about entropy because it is just a representator of heat it is just the representator of the heat so whenever this diagram is not uh, is, is given to you when this diagram is given to you and if you are not able to think this then definitely you will make lot of time problem lot of time wrong answer you will write in the comment section my dear or your answer book also sir if this from this pv diagram if you are going to visualize this pv diagram only then a very simple level of problem you can solve otherwise from this pv diagram if you are able to visualize the real life problem that is the real life problem piston cylinder arrangement then definitely my dear you will be able to write the answer of this question each and every question you can solve because after that he may ask to you draw the pv uh, draw the ts diagram because one question most of the time you have seen convert the pv diagram into ts diagram agree or not and in that situation my dear only the cycle is given no any system no representation nothing only you have to convert these all the possibility from pv diagram to ds diagram good after that see sir one to two what is the effect on temperature what is the effect on the temperature constant my dear uh, increasing what is the effect on entropy sir increasing then again from one to two i'll increase like this so if you will not get the idea that 1 to 2 this direction is only possible reverse direction is never 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 possible whenever you will get this clear cut idea now then from the conversion you will not feel any problem because believe me till the entropy if you will continue till then definitely i know you will continue but till the entropy when you continue i think for next one or two hour you can feel sir ye cheeze chal kya rahi hai whenever you connect this each and every point and as your entropy topic will be completed my dear you will find the you will solve any problem of a cycle even the name of the cycle you are aware with or you are not koi bhi cycle bina jane pehchane aap answer le aoge you can draw any cycle from pv diagram to ts diagram because thermodynamic is nothing but three part is there one you deal with the state second you deal with process and third one you make the cycle when these three points are clear to us 
you are not able to feel any problem in any case my dear yes so this point is clear tell me the answer for only next one to two hour you will be able to get the clear cut idea sir just try to correlate each and everything is this point clear Ritik? very good morning to all champak jaldi aao bapas lot ke yes good Mohammad, you are asking some question. Okay, is all fine, my dear? You write the comment section. You write in the comment section. Yeah, slope, I'll, I'll, I'll come later. What is the difference between the TS diagram? Okay, isobaric or isochoric. Uh, on this part, we will definitely come on the TS diagram. Uh, slope is major part. In both the case, my dear, temperature and entropy both are increasing, but slope is the major part. Good. After that. Third case. Is the isothermal process my dear try to understand this point very well now from here third case is the isothermal process my dear isothermal process okay good Mohammed. isothermal process means PV is equal to constant that temperature remain constant my dear P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 is equal to constant my dear or if I will draw the PV diagram, this will be somewhere like this. Can you please tell me this is the expansion or the compression, my dear? This is the expansion or the compression? Expansion or compression? Tell me the answer. Yes, expansion process. Very nice. So, again, what do you need to think? Yes, very wonderful. What do you need to think, my dear? when it is a piston cylinder arrangement but in this case volume you want to increase you want to increase the volume of the system so what i will do if i will supply the heat to the system in a very slow 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 manner when i supply heat to this system in a very slow manner very slow manner then in that case my dear definitely your internal energy will be uh, constant because you are not going to change the temperature in that system expansion is there so if you want to expand this piston cylinder arrangement in the upward direction i will ask a very common question what should be the heat in this case my dear i mean supply or reject temperature is constant internal energy is constant heat will be supply in this case or reject in this case plus you are supplying the heat that's why piston is moving in the upward direction huh? you are supplying the heat that's why nahi, nahi, Muhammad, this is the mistake you do a lot of time even in the topic of entropy good if heat is supplied then definitely my dear entropy will increase if entropy will decrease and increase in this case can you please tell me what is the effect on pressure it will decrease what is the effect on volume it will increase what is the effect on on the work done my dear what is the effect on the work done it will be positive it will be positive this is the best example of isothermal expansion this is the best example of isothermal expansion Is it clear to all? Work will be done by the system. Temperature and entro, uh, internal energy will be constant. Heat will be supplied to the system. Entropy will increase. Pressure will decrease and volume will increase. And work will be done by the system. Yes. Positive. Yes, exactly. Expansion means work will be done on the system in this case. Again, I think I should not repeat the same statement when you want to do the same thing in the reverse way. Are you getting my point? Are you not aware with this concept? This was the gate question. Aapko nahi aad aara? Ye gate ka question hai. This was the gate question my dear in the expansion process. Temperature constant, entropy is increasing. If I draw the TS diagram of this system. Uh, let me draw the diagram somewhere here. If I draw the TS diagram of this system. Am I able to draw this diagram? Yes or no? T S diagram. Sir, you all know 
that temperature is constant because it is already monsoon but it will increase or decrease the entropy it is a big question when you will have the command over this now then definitely you are not going to have any single problem by conversion of pv diagram into ts diagram either in auto cycle diesel dual britain any cycle you are going to deal with yes sir but sir if the temperature is same at both the state then it's not always the isothermal process yes it's not a always isothermal process means you can say the isothermal process will have the temperature constant at the initial and final state but all the process which are having the temperature constant at initial and final process this is not the example of isothermal process you can say all the isothermal process having the temperature constant and initial and final point but vice versa is not possible clear good yes okay good heat is supplied to the system my dear great after that adiabatic process adiabatic process again the insulated or a very fast process is there you can say it's a insulated process or the very fast process is there my dear 100 percent insulated system is there 100 percent insulated system in this case now what exactly you are feeling sir what is the representation of the adiabatic process my dear sir this one is a very heavy heavy weight is put over the system this a very heavy weight is put over the system once the weight is removed from the system once the weight is removed from the system my dear like this then suddenly piston will move from one state to second state and a system is in insulated condition no heat is rejected or to the system like this rejected or supplied to the system like this after that if i draw the pb diagram think very carefully pb diagram it will be somewhere like this 1 to 2 can you please tell me in this case <clears throat> pv raised to gamma is equal to constant no not at uh, not uh, as a constant slope will be different my dear slope will be different okay yes after that what is the heat supply zero now in this case if it is the expansion process expansion process can we write t2 by t1 will be equal to p2 by p1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma and v1 by v2 raised to gamma minus 1 yes after that let me ask one question sir what is the entropy heat transfer is zero my dear what is the entropy can i write constant yes or no good after that what is the temperature my dear friend sir in this case what will be the temperature jab tak apna slavas pura nahi hota basic thermodynamic we are going to cover in this case yeah what is the temperature my dear it is definitely decrease expansion process is there what is the work done my dear it is definitely positive expansion process is there what is the effect on the internal energy definitely it will decrease what is the effect on the pressure definitely it will decrease so if i will draw the ts diagram for the system temperature entropy diagram for the system definitely temperature is changing but entropy constant the question is it is 1 to 2 or it is 2 to 1 it's a big question so answer is temperature decreasing my dear sir after that i'll combine everything and i'll just ask you how the cycle will be made my dear i think you are going to correlate these all the points you are going to correlate these all the points that for the expansion this will be the possibility piston cylinder arrangement is there and in the adiabatic process you must ask to yourself that sir if the heat is not going to supply then how this work is achieved 
no 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 we are dealing with all the process my dear we are dealing with the reversible okay we are dealing with the reversible adiabatic okay we all are dealing with the reversible adiabatic umar on the irreversible adiabatic or actual process we will come later don't worry after that polytropic process my dear if i will draw the polytropic process then heat transfer in this case is not zero it's not zero in this case heat transfer is not equal to zero my dear pv raised to constant n is equal to constant or you can write p1 v1 raised to n is equal to p2 v2 raised to n is equal to constant similarly t2 by t1 raised to p2 by p1 is equal to v1 by v2 raised to n minus 1 n minus 1 upon n sir if it is the expansion process let me ask very clear question to you if it is the expansion process then definitely what is the work done my dear uh, 1 to 2 what is the work done in this case can you please tell me plus or minus plus definitely because it is the example of expansion process and gamma in general case n is less than gamma but equal to uh, greater than 1 but in a special case my dear n is greater than gamma but i will ask one question to you guys what is the heat supply in this case i mean it is positive or it is negative my dear can you please tell me the answer what is the heat supply in this case because heat supply will decide everything heat supply in this case my dear will decide everything that entropy is decreasing temperature is increasing pressure is changing how these all the property are changing this will decide everything my dear whatever we are going to deal with yes one thing is very clear in this case ek cheez to mujhe pata hai that volume is going to increase and my dear pressure is going to decrease in this case when it is the example of the expansion i want to ask in this case what will be the answer it is definitely not equal to zero yaar ye to already likha hua mayur this point is already written to you that heat transfer is not equal to zero it will be positive or negative it is the question 90 percent of you are writing uh, that it will be a positive sir in this case let me tell you this was the question asked in esc exam you just touch the plus answer you will get minus 2 by 3 marks as a reward आप जस्ट छूके देखो प्लस वाले को आपको माइनस दो बाई थ्री रखा हुआ मिलेगा यू जस्ट टच द नेगेटिव आंसर आपको माइनस टू बाई थ्री रखा हुआ मिलेगा इन ऑल अदर प्रोसेस माय डियर यस एग्जैक्टली इन ऑल द अदर प्रोसेस देन दिस पॉलिट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस डायरेक्शन ऑफ द हीट सप्लाई एंड हीट रिजेक्शन इज फिक्स that it will be supply in the expansion or the rejection it will be rejected in the supply or the rejection this is the only process of the thermodynamic in which you have to do the entire analysis of the heat transfer and the work done relation my dear that's why leave this point leave this topic of the polytropic here in all other process direction of the heat supply is decided that's why direction of the temperature direction of the internal energy direction of the entropy is decided this is the only process my dear where the direction is not decided are you getting in this case direction will be decided whenever the relationship between the heat and work will be clearly given to us isko chhod do yahi pe will come back on this part most of the time most confusing question my dear magical process is absolutely there my dear then definitely on this part we will again come later when after studying the first law of thermodynamic you will be come back to discuss the relationship between the heat transfer and the work transfer then we 
write all the thing here my dear forget this move forward okay okay sorry come back to the next question first thing i think one portion we have discussed my dear but from here i'll ask a very important point to you that are you able to represent are you from this all the four or five process if you just leave the polytropic process are you all guys able to feel that high how the pv diagram can be represented on the ts diagram are you getting something because if you are not getting this point that how the process uh, process will move from one to two two to one then again there is no meaning to discuss these all the point in so much detail my dear my purpose to discuss these all the point is so much detail because when in the topic of entropy lot of cycles are given to us so you will clearly get the idea sir in this case uh, this is the expansion process on pv diagram but this one is the temperature increasing on the ts diagram i have just studied this portion in the basic thermodynamic like this that's why it is only possible second option is not possible these all are the objective question in which you need not to apply the numerical concept just a basic concept you need to apply and you will get the clear cut answer of the second law of thermodynamics good entropy topic my dear because that is the reason i have already told you when you will reconnect all the thing these all the dot when it these will be reconnected you will we feel after completion of second law of thermodynamic that basic thermodynamic is almost over come back to the point representation of all the process pv raised to k is equal to constant my dear when k will be equal to 0 i will write p is equal to constant process is isobaric when k is equal to infinite i'll write v is equal to constant process is iso Coric, my dear when k is equal to 1 process is this one uh, <clears throat> pv is equal to constant isothermal after that k is equal to n my dear process is pv raised to n is constant polytropic and after that k is equal to gamma my dear PV raised to gamma process is adiabatic. Adiabatic. They may be given in this form, that is the expansion, or they also may be given in this form, my dear. A, B, C, D and E sir one CP second isothermal poly yes yes exactly exactly this question I am not asking because I know these point you know very well ye point aapko bahut achche se pata hai. that is the reason I am not going to discuss this point because in this case second process is isothermal third is polytropic fourth is adiabatic and let me tell you when you write these all the name of the process na that pressure is uh, these are the example of the five process then my dear these possible these possibility of the process are only there in first uh, sorry second and fourth quadrant only second and fourth quadrant these process are possible when you write now that one uh, sorry zero when you write zero to two process zero to two process is the example of isothermal so means this is the example of pv raised to constant where is it this is pv raised to constant it is possible in this process only either in fourth quadrant or second if you draw the diagram like this if you draw the diagram like this my dear and if the slope of this process is more than the slope of this process it does not mean that this f is the isothermal and this this f and this g is equal to my dear uh, adiabatic process it's not like this generally what you do you just whenever you will see the slope you directly blindly start to apply the concept of the isothermal process adiabatic process or polytropic process but let me tell you generalized process in thermodynamic are only in fourth quadrant and the second quadrant my dear 
first quadrant and the third quadrant definitely they may be the they may be the thermodynamic process but they are not given like the isothermal process like the adiabatic process in first and third quadrant they may be the thermodynamic process but their name is not given they are just a general process there are the infinite number of process are there in the thermodynamic you draw any line in any condition my dear any line whenever you want to draw any curve whenever you want to draw you can draw where you want to draw you can draw these are the thermodynamic process but their name are not like isothermal or polytropic or their name are not adiabatic yeah whenever you are going to deciding the name then the requirement is that must be the adiabatic process first of all i mean heat transfer uh, should be the zero second pressure is increasing then volume is decreasing it means second quadrant or the vice versa it means fourth quadrant if the pressure and, uh, and, and volume both are decreasing that or increasing they are the first or the third quadrant so expansion and compression are possible in the second and fourth quadrant in these five important process after these five important process there are infinite number of thermodynamic process whose name are not given jab aap char panch special process ki baat karte ho to these are the quadrant are you getting my point like the spring type of question you have seen that diagram is drawn in first quadrant but that is not like the adiabatic process that is not like the isothermal process that is just a thermodynamic process getting my point when you say thermodynamic process then these five process are fixed but in the entire thermodynamic let me tell you these only five process are not there whatever process you want to make you can easily make the thermodynamic process clear to all yes then this define the slope my dear the slope of general slope of isothermal process is given by yes yes that question is there don't worry that question is there my dear the slope of adiabatic process my dear it is equal to gamma time of minus p y v so the slope of adiabatic process adiabatic process will be equal to gamma time of slope of what you need to do sir this hard work you need to do just you need to attend this session and after that based on these all the concept i am having lot of question at tonight so you attend only these two three things sorry <coughs> okay so when you attend these both the portion means six to seven hour of session of this marathon sagrika and two hour session of tonight uh, that will be midnight on the same youtube channel right so two session when you attend then and if you are able to apply these all the concept then definitely you will get the good marks in thermal i am not suggesting for any other subject ki aap ko aayenge ki nahi but in thermal so after that one marks you will get from this topic my dear at least one marks you will get from this topic that is the thermodynamic topic so from this thermodynamic work work is said to be done by the system when the sole effect on the external thing is equal to raising the weight my dear this is the question from where you will get the one question, uh, one one at least one question that work done can be given by p into dv let me tell you when you write work done my dear that will be the integration of p into dv sir this i will ask first of all you need to tell me this is a closed or open system sir closed system okay closed system valid for reversible irreversible or both only reversible process only reversible process closed system and only reversible process my dear this will be valid junaid okay now sir key point msq question are there work done is a path function inexact derivative boundary phenomena transient form of energy and it is not a property or the point function my dear after that let's write few important points that already we have written that work done for the isobaric process 
वर्क डन फॉर एनी जर्नलाइज प्रोसेस इज इक्वल टू पीडीबी जस्ट राइट नाउ वी हैव रिटर्न माई डियर दैट इज वैलिड फॉर रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस एंड एंड क्लोज सिस्टम क्लोज सिस्टम अंडरलाइन दिस वर्ड क्लोज 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 सिस्टम when you take the area of the pb diagram about the pressure ex, uh, volume axis that is only valid for the closed system it is not valid simple it is valid for the piston cylinder arrangement that's all simple it is valid for the basic thermodynamic that's all when piston cylinder arrangement is there and gas is filled in this system my dear then this one is valid sir when you write in this case that work done in a thermodynamic process it is equal to area this point i'll give you area of p versus d diagram uh, uh, uh. someone of you were asking the numerical okay your numerical is starting about volume axis area of p versus diagram for volume axis and that is valid my dear only for the closed system closed system undergoing a process and the reversible process only reversible process only sir here i will ask a very important question to you if you want to find the area of any diagram kisi ka bhi agar aapko area find out karna ho forget everything you need to forget about everything if you want to find the area on x y plane my dear then how many things are re need to required to find the area how many things are need to required to find the area can you please tell me how many things are need to required to find the area my dear can you please tell me the answer i am waiting for your answer just you need to write the numbers how many things are required i mean one thing two thing three things generally i am asking it's not related to thermodynamic general question is there my dear good very good mohammad anyone else uh, mohammad says sir relationship of axis umar says sir two parameter are required vijay say two parameter i'll say three parameter i'll say three parameter three parameter sir what are these three parameter can i read first is the initial state first is the initial state second is the final state sir i am talking about the area first are the initial coordinate second one my dear friend is the final coordinate and third one uh, 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 sorry third one can i write relationship can i write relationship between pressure and volume my dear or you can say path exactly you can say path yes sujis you can say relationship between the path so if these three points are known to us initial point final point and relationship between the pressure and volume then you can find the work done of any thermodynamic process are you getting my point relationship between that path if you are getting mohammad and sujis then definitely you will be able to find the area of any pv diagram area of any x and y axis or area of any particular point you can find so if the work done is the area of pv diagram about the volume axis then why you are going to worry about the process that name of the process is given isothermal is given isobaric is given isochoric is given sir only three point i'll give you one initial point second final point and third one my dear relationship between the initial and final point you will be able to find the area of any diagram you will be able to find the work done of any thermodynamic process having the closed system undergoing a reversible process is it or not my dear after that you will never remind the formula of five important thermodynamic process whatever you will do my dear in this complete thermodynamic that is the only one thing that you search sir is the initial point between the pressure and volume given to us or not final point in the term of pressure and volume given to us or not and after that any hint any hint 
that will give me the relationship between the pressure and volume that is given to us or not you will be able to find any answer of that question are you getting my point समझ रहे हो अब प्रेस प्रोसेस के पीछे नहीं भागोगे मोस्ट ऑफ द इंजीनियर क्या करते हैं दे स्टार्ट टू फाइंड सर आइसोबेरिक इज नॉट गिवन बट आई नो द फॉर्मूला ऑफ आइसोबेरिक ओनली किसने कहा आइसोबेरिक का फॉर्मूला है सर आइसोबेरिक इज नथिंग बट दिस इज द ओनली द एरिया ऑफ डायग्राम व्हाट फाइव फॉर्मूला यू हैव फाउंड ना दैट इज नथिंग बट दैट विल बी द एरिया ऑफ द डायग्राम 1 p1 v1 इज गिवन p2 v2 इज गिवन एंड देन आइसोबेरिक प्रोसेस इज गिवन दिस इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम Are you getting my point? You are finding the area. If you just recall these three important points, sir, initial point given to us, final point given to us, sir, relation is also given to us. I need not require any thermodynamic process. Yes, exactly. So let me tell you what type of hint will be given to us. Thermodynamic process is conducted in such a way that they make or the they they make uh, the, the the system make. the straight line on a pv diagram thermodynamic process is conducted in a rigid pressure vessel piston cylinder arrangement is there and heat is supplied to this getting my point in the piston cylinder arrangement pressure is increasing directly proportional to the length covered by the piston when the cross section area of the piston is constant these are the hint pressure increasing directly proportional to length covered by the piston what is the meaning of it my dear that pressure increasing directly proportional to length covered by the piston are you getting my point that pressure is equal to c into x my dear i'll multiply by area i will divide by area because cross section area of the piston is constant so p is equal to c into v divided by a this one is a constant pressure is directly proportional to volume these are the hint i am talking about getting aise hint diye jaye kuch p is equal to c by area into v are you getting this point are you feeling or not this type of question one question you will get at least from this topic that is the work done of the closed system my dear and again if these all the five process are there let me tell you if these all the five process are there my dear then let's talk about the work done first if the work is done by the system then it is the plus my dear work is supplied to the system that is the minus my dear means compression in the expansion then definitely volume will expand that is the positive my dear in the reverse way it may be the negative that is the work done now after that again fir se mujhe ye baat bar bar nahi kehni pade bahut simple sa rasta hai initial point will be given to us final point will be given to us and after that relationship between initial and final point is indirectly given to us like in the spring like in the spring my dear in the spring spring force is directly proportional to the value of x covered by the spring value of the x covered by the spring okay these all values are given to us in general for these five process isochoric let me change the cover uh, color of this pen isoveric isothermal polytropic adiabatic just a minute so work done for this one is zero one more point my dear can i write this point p v is equal to m r into t2 minus of t1 you can also write like this try to recognize all the formulas my dear in this case pressure volume is given but pressure can be converted in the term of temperature sir in this case it is given like p1 v1 that can be written like mrt constant ln v2 y v1 you must be aware with all the kind of formula conversion of the property must be clear to us you not like this sir i am aware with the formula like this p v v p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 it's not like this it can also be written like 
P1 V1 isothermal process is there. V2 Y V1 will be equal to P1 Y P2. These all points are clear to us. Sir, P1 V1 P2 V2 can be written like M R T2 T1 minus of T2 divided by gamma minus 1. And you know very well R divided by gamma minus 1 is equal to M C V T1 minus of T2. Okay. T1 minus of T2 is equal to M C V. And in this case, you can also write M R T1 minus of T2 divided by divided by okay, 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 sorry, N minus 1 is there. So, this one is the gamma minus 1 and this one is M C V T1 minus of T2. Now, from here, you must have one important point. Yes. <clears throat> Surya, what is your point? Sir, V P1 minus P2 is isochoric? No, 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 no. Uh, always when you write the simple formula, when you want to uh, convert your term into the numerical formula, my dear, then point must be clear to you that final minus initial we always find in the integration. We always find final minus initial in the integration. But let me tell you, if you are quite <coughs> comfortable to find the relationship, my dear, then from this case, you need to find the numerical value only. Because after that, you know very well that what is the compression process, what is the expansion process. In the expansion process, Bugden will be positive. In the compression process, Bugden will be negative. When these formula are already clear to you, so from these all the formula, you need to find the numerical value only. So my point is, sir, when you see these all the five formulas, five process, these are just a trailer. This is not a complete movie. Do you know the reason? I know very well that in the entire thermodynamic process, there are not only these five process. You have already studied now, there are hundred of process. So for these process, you require the relationship. For these process, you require the initial and final point. Then you say, sir, what is the requirement of these process? Sir, these process, these formula are the easiest formula of the thermodynamic. Reason? Because in this one, every condition is given to us. Truth. In this one, every condition is given to us. Every, uh, every relationship is given to us. That is the reason you are finding the uh, area of that work done, area of the PV diagram. That's why you are finding the work done. Problem, real problem of the work done will be started when the process will be the sixth one. Process will be the seventh one, eighth one. Eighth one means process will be other than these five process. Getting my point? Are you getting my point, Mayur? Process will be other than this. Like a process is making the straight line on PB diagram. So, when the process is making the straight line on the PB diagram, so let me tell you, my dear, this is the only formula. Where is it? This is the only formula that is valid for every case. Yahi ek basic formula hai kisi ka bhi. If you just recall these all the five formula, then let me tell you only the basic level of question you can solve. Basic level of question you can solve. You are not able to solve the advanced level of problem. This is the formula, my dear. This one is the formula. And the application of this one, uh, this formula are these five important relation. These are the application. Because when you follow the book, na, thermodynamic book, when you follow, you will get these all the important relationship. All the important formulas are derived from the integration method only. Are you getting? Yes. Exactly. This one is just the application that how will you utilize to find the area in your work done. Good. Great. And again, let me tell you, this is valid, my dear, only for closed system. This is valid only for the closed system. Closed system. Sarot, we are having the same questions tonight in which you are not going to solve the question. Hardly one question I will put 
uh, which can be solved by this formula otherwise most of the question my dear i am going to have uh, which is not 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 solved by this formula which is not solved by this formula most of the question i am having to write for that one yes after that heat transfer again you know very well when this body is maintained at a very high temperature t high and this body is maintained at a very low temperature t low then in that case my dear heat will be transferred from this case and the value of the heat transfer can be written by m c into d t or the heat transfer can be written by my dear m c into d t like this this is the amount of heat transfer where c is the specific heat its unit is kilojoule per kg kelvin c is playing a very important role in this case sir <clears throat> if i will take m is a constant m is a constant for a system from here c is specific heat play a very important role for you my dear so can we write q is directly proportional to c into dt yes or no for the heat supply try to understand this point very clearly for the heat supply heat supply to a system is all fine okay is all fine right now is everything fine good case one in this case sir if the value of c is equal to plus try to understand if the value of c is equal to plus so this q value plus c value plus what is the value of dt can you please tell me from here what is the value of dt i mean it should be plus or it should be minus it should be plus absolutely right uma let me take case 2 case 2 if c is negative my dear then definitely dt will be negative dt will be negative so first of all first of all remove a very big confusion from your mind always you try to think whenever heat will be supplied to the system temperature of the system will all be increase yes or no whenever heat will be supplied to the system then temperature of the system will always increase absolutely wrong statement whenever heat will be supplied to the system your temperature may or may not be increase even it may constant also even it may constant also my dear case 3c is infinite dt must be near to zero example of isothermal process example of phase change my dear example of phase change isothermal process reservoir the specific heat is uh, infinite that's why change of temperature during the heat supply is always uh, zero my dear so always never never correlate the heat supply to the temperature because you always try to think sir heat is supply that's why temperature will increase answer is this one most of the time you make the mistake in the th diagram sir heat is rejected that is the reason temperature will decrease answer is this one absolutely wrong are you getting my point or not so temperature decreasing temperature increasing it will depend upon the lot of factors what is the value of the specific heat it will decreasing or it is increasing it is plus minus or zero my dear good so this one is the phase change so there are the three important condition exactly exactly case one phase change is a slow process can i say no it's not like this you can't say that phase change is a isothermal process in the phase change my dear you are having the specific heat as an infinite sign convention general sign convention we are writing if the heat is supplied to the system that will be written h plus if the heat is rejected from the system that will be taken as minus my dear general formula we are writing 
yes uh, how the <coughs> specific heat and temperature are relating point is very clear if the specific heat of the system let me write from here if the specific heat of the system is plus my dear then adding of the heat will increase the temperature if specific heat is negative adding of the heat will uh, decrease the temperature if the specific heat is infinite my dear adding of the heat adding adding of the heat will not change the temperature if the specific heat is zero then temperature will change my dear heat will not 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 change heat will not supply or reject to the system in adiabatic process let me clear this point the specific heat is zero adiabatic process specific heat is zero that's why temperature change but your heat is not supply not is rejected from the system my dear good now zero law of thermodynamic generally if the temperature of a is exactly equal to v and temperature of b is exactly equal to c then my dear temperature of a temperature of v and temperature of c all three are same all three will be the same generally this point you are feeling so related to the sensible and latent heat no 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 so we are not dealing with the sensible or heat or the latent heat we are dealing here with the total amount of the heat so when you say sensible heat or the latent heat then you need to check that whenever you are going to supply the heat is the temperature changing if the temperature changing then definitely c having a some finite value if the temperature not changing then c having the infinite value clear okay now sir Generally, Giroud's law of thermodynamics tells you will give you the idea that in any measurement, what temperature we are measuring that is not a measurement of the actual body. You are just going to measure the temperature of the third body, and that is just assume as per the Giroud's law of thermodynamics the temperature of the first body. Like if you are having the fever and you go to the doctor, then doctor is not going to measure your temperature. No. even he is he is not going to measure the temperature he is going to measure the change in the hg level thermometric property and with this thermometric property my dear you are all changing the thermometric temperature so this is a thermometric principle when all the thermometric uh, when all the thermometric property will define will gives the numerical value of the temperature my dear will gives the numerical value of the temperature that's why again msq question may be asked from here for the different type of thermometer uh, what is the thermometric principle and what is the thermometric property most of the time this is the asking question in the esc and msq question is not nothing but it is just a similar to the esc question when the state when one is true two is true third, uh, third is true so from this entire table my dear you can get at least one question either based on the principle or based on the thermometric property which of the following is the thermometric property for constant volume gas thermometer pressure or this one right so in this case what is the purpose of the giroud's law of thermodynamic in the giroud's law of thermodynamic you need to find the resistance emf temperature pressure and volume length like this after that my dear conversion of all the thermometric property conversion of all the thermometric property that based on two or one reference point what is the conversion like if i will write the temperature on x axis and the property on y axis my dear so what do you do you simple apply the concept of the calibration like this whenever you are going to decide the thermometric readings my dear that is based on the simple calibration method yes yes sure mayur don't worry yes calibration method like if it is the one reference point if it is the second reference point my dear so generally the x at one reference point is decided one reference point is decided <clears throat> like this and this is your third reference point where you want to check the property one reference point can be decided a plus b into t1 second reference point can be decided 
x2 is equal to a plus v into t2 and where the third property is given that can be given by a plus v into t3 my dear generally this is the way of calibration we find the value of the temperature in this case like a question was asked in the last year gate 22 in which the temperature of the resistance thermometer was asked but the temperature of the resistance thermometer the temperature was the function like this emf was the function like this t square plus or minus <coughs> 0.05 t somewhere like this question was there so in this case can you tell me what is the relationship between this thermodynamic x1 x2 x2 x3 this one is the thermodynamic property means this may be written by e1 or e2 or e3 like this okay so e1 and e2 and e3 like this but in the real life problem my dear questions are given that if it is the thermodynamic property now like this emf or like uh, uh, hg in glass thermometer then these all thermodynamic property are you not feeling uh, these are given like a parabola like this is it or not these are given like a parabola so it was given that properties are changing like this and two reference point are also given to us two reference point are also given to us then after that if you need to calibrate it then how will you manage this point this is the important point so sir in this case if from this entire condition if i am able to know the condition of the first reference point i am able to know the condition of the second reference point then from these two reference point i am not able to find the value of the third point yes or no my dear this one is the value of t1 and t2 and t3 is it or not this one is the T2, this one is the T3 and this one is the T1 my dear. So are you not able to find the property of all parameter? This one is the E1 or the X1, this one is the X3 and this one is the X2. So what we do from the real life problem, we directly find the value of parameter at 1, parameter at 2, parameter at 3 and after that calibration method, after that calibration method my dear, we just calibrated x is equal to a plus b t square b 2 2 square and b 3 square in this case we find the value of the temperature like if this is the parameter is given to us then at this point my dear e is given at a temperature of t is equal to 0 degree centigrade e is given to us at a temperature of t is equal to 100 degree centigrade second reference point E is also given to us is equal to uh, 70 degree centigrade. This was the question. So can you tell me as per the calibrated method, what is the actual temperature when it will be calibrated from the thermometer? So when it was the 70, it was the 100 and it was the 0 degree centigrade. Measurement value was X1, X3 and X2 or E1, uh, E3, E2 my dear. So can you find by substituting the value of the temperature that is a is equal to given to us in this case that a is equal to my dear 0 0.005 0 0.005 so at 0 degree it is given to us at 100 degree it is given to us and at 70 degree it is given to us can you find all the value or not can you find these all the values or not? Is question ko solve karne ki baat karo. Can you please tell me what is the value of E1 at 0 degree centigrade? Yes. How this calibration is done? What is the value of T is equal to 0 degree centigrade? Can you please tell me the answer? Can I write E is equal to 0 my dear? Yes. Good. What is the value of 100 degree? Substitute this answer 100 degree. Let me write. 100 is square multiply by 0 0.005 answer 50 my dear plus 0.5 into 100 answer 100 are you getting 100 e2 and what is e3 70 square multiply by 0 0.005 plus of 0 0.5 into 70 answer 59.5 
no no it's uh, it's already given in uh, degree centigrade all values are given in degree centigrade so sir in this case ab zara isko follow karo in this case e1 e2 and e3 are given to us e1 at this value is given to us how much is the value my dear how much is this value this value this x3 value is given to us just a minute x3 value is given to us my dear Fifty nine point five. This value is given to us. Hundred. And this x one value is given to us zero. Generally, the diagram will be somewhere like this. Generally, if I draw the diagram, then diagram like somewhere like this, my dear. Edge for the question. Like this. agree or not now at this point you need to tell me what is the actual temperature is it the problem from my side is it the problem of surut or for everyone now tell me now you want to calibrate this point my dear can i write the this straight line equation because all which calibration is done on the <coughs> straight line condition so can you find from here sir what is the straight line equation can i write x minus of x1 divided by x2 minus of x1 that is equal to t minus of t1 divided by t2 minus of t1 is it or not what is the x my dear calibration x x is 59.5 i need to find x10 x200 my dear x1 is 0 t i need to find and what is t1 my dear t1 and t1 is equal to 0 and 100 minus of 0 so what is the value of the temperature <coughs> what is the value of the temperature you are finding you are getting in this case what is the actual temperature we all are getting This is a simple way to calibrate the answer, my dear. So, from the parabola, when it was measuring the value of 70 degree, it will measure the value of the temperature by 59.5 degree. Are you getting the difference? So, this is just a calibration method and actual. When actual temperature in this case is the 70 degree, your calibrated temperature will be 59.5 degree centigrade. This is the method of calibration. Means, first of all, you locate all the points in this thermometric principle you locate all the points and after that you draw a line by just matching these all the points my dear clear to all good great next sir what is the relationship between all the temperature scales what is the relation between all the temperature scale and this relation is not uh, only for these four temperature scale you will be able to draw any temperature scale whenever you will follow it sir any temperature scale can be followed by following this important relation you are able to draw you are able to make the relationship between two temperature scale sir if you locate the freezing point and the boiling point of the temperature scale on these reference point like this 100 degree centigrade this one in 273.15 freezing and 373.15 my dear boiling point this is the kelvin scale and this one is the degree centigrade scale and on all the temperature scale are arbitrary sir what is the meaning of this the temperature of the kelvin will be equal to a plus b of temperature of degree centigrade what is the kelvin when it was 273.15 my dear then that was a and b and temperature was zero 
so a is 273.15 my dear similarly yes very good similarly avm if i write the same point when the second condition it was 100 degree then it was 373.15 a is equal to 273.15 plus of b into 100 degree when i follow the equation then i'll get the b value is equal to my dear 1 so when i'll substitute all the value then it will be equal to uh, t degree centigrade plus of 273.15 and by following this concept my dear when you will write the equation you will be able to find any relation <coughs> you will be able to find any relation in this case right so in this case you can easily write that temperature kelvin and after that if i'll write the fahrenheit temperature this will be equal to 9 by 5 my dear t degree centigrade plus of 32 so in this way you are able to find the relation like this yes you are able to find the relation like this and after that if you will follow the relation like 491.67 <coughs> yes so in this way you are able to find each and every relation Sir, arbitrary means, yes, yes, arbitrary means that all the temperature scales are following the arbitrary straight line by having the two reference point. This can be selected by any engineer arbitrary. What is the meaning of these two arbitrary point that relationship between the between degree centigrade scale and your scale, Umar scale, like you can make the temperature scale like T degree U. This is also one more. So you can just go with the temperature degree centigrade scale plus of degree Umar scale U. So in this scale, both the relationship, when you will just make the relationship between the U and degree centigrade, then the both scale will make a straight line. But you are free to assume any to arbitrary value you are free to assume to uh, assume to any arbitrary value by assuming the freezing and the boiling point of the water in your term like <coughs> in degree centigrade it is given by 0 degree centigrade and 100 degree centigrade it is up to you you can just consider that freezing point of the water is 1000 degree u 1000 degree umar and again yes and again on the boiling point you can take jaisa aap kahoge aapko chahiye to milega but point why matlab if you really want you need the break then definitely you just tell me i'll give you the break if you want to uh, want to complete the entire session in a single shot then definitely we can continue because if i am going to tell you anything if i am here then i don't know why you require the lunch but again it is up to you right now jab aap mujhe bologe i'll stop i'll I'll just take the break, but uh, it will be you. We can just continue uh, the four five hour without taking any break. Or if you want a break, I'll give you the break, the lunch break, and after that you can come back. It is up to you, whatever you want. But again, you all are the energetic student. You all are the mechanical. Yeah, yes, eh? good, good. Anyway, whatever you want. Yes, because let me tell you from this topic, my dear, because second topic or the second chapter is just started. From this portion, you feel most important thing. Yes, most important thing you will feel because uh, thoroughly you will enjoy after this topic, my dear. Second, first law of thermodynamic. Because before the first law of thermodynamic, we are having, we are having most of the thing as a conceptual thing. So till now you have just maintained all the concept. After that, my dear, in the chapter number two, in the chapter number thing three you thoroughly apply these concept you drive the lot of derivation you will get how we can solve the problem so that is the reason this portion will be quite interesting as compared to the previous one so i think in this case you know and you need not to feel any problem don't worry so whatever you want you just tell me in advance uh, at least till the first law of thermodynamic we are going to continue after that i'll ask to you you want the break or not and we think uske baad hum dekhte hain ki aapko 
क्या चाहिए माय डियर कम बैक टू द पॉइंट यस फॉर अ क्लोज सिस्टम अंडरगोइंग अ थर्मोडाइनमिक साइकिल टोटल हीट ट्रांसफर विल बी इक्वल टू टोटल वर्क ट्रांसफर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैव यू सीन नहीं नहीं अभी तो पैसा से कुछ नहीं होगा राइट right? अभी पैसे से कुछ नहीं होगा मयूर आफ्टर ए टाइम यू फील कि आपको बहुत सारा पैसा दे भी दिया जाए तो कुछ नहीं हो पाएगा आफ्टर ए सर्टेन टाइम यू फील कि अगर हम कुछ कर नहीं रहे आई एम नॉट डूइंग नथिंग आई एम हैविंग लॉट ऑफ मनी कुछ नहीं होगा मतलब एक टाइम के बाद लगने लगेगा आपको वो जो कभी कभी नहीं बोलते हैं कि किसी को बहुत सारा पैसा मिल गया बट ईमानदारी से लौटा दिया वो लोग होते हैं जो उससे परे आ जाते हैं एक टाइम तक आपको बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत लगती है मतलब एक बहुत सिंपल सा कॉन्सेप्ट है आप जिस चीज को बिल्कुल पूरे दिल से चाह रहे हो और अगर वो ना मिले अगर वो आपको ना मिले तो तभी तक आपको उसका मतलब बहुत ज्यादा रहेगा कि हाँ हमको पैसा ही चाहिए या वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट बट जैसे जैसे उन सारी चीजों को आप इक्लिवरियम मेंटेन कर लोगे उसने कहा देखो वेन एवर यू विल बी इकोनॉमिकल इक्लिवरियम देन यू स्टार्ट टू थिंक द नंबर ऑफ थिंग बहुत सारी चीजों को सोचने लगोगे मतलब उस टाइम पे आपको ऐसे लगेगा कि अगर मुझे सड़क पे पैसा पड़ा हुआ मिल भी गया तो किस काम का एक टाइम के बाद आपको लगने लगेगा तो अगेन डेफिनेटली राइट नाउ इट्स इक्लिवरियम और राइट नाउ इट्स अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ योर्स क्योंकि देखो बहुत सिंपल सी चीज है वॉट यू वॉन्ट अगर वो आपको तब तक नहीं मिले राइट ना तभी तक चीजें अच्छी है, लगती हैं, तभी तक वो इंसान भी अच्छा लगता है जिसको आप चाह लो राइट ना किसी को आप चाहते हो अगर वो आपको ना मिले तो आप पूरी जिंदगी भर उसके लिए लड़ते रहोगे कि नहीं नहीं मैं सीरियस तो कुछ ले ही नहीं रहा पूरी जिंदगी भर लड़ते रहोगे कि काश ऐसा हुआ होता तो आज जिंदगी जिंदगी के साथ होती बिकॉज दिस पॉइंट आई जस्ट से टू यू नंबर ऑफ टाइम कि वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू इन द लाइफ डू बट बस लाइफ में कभी एक काश वर्ड नहीं आना चाहिए कि आफ्टर टेन टू फाइव ईयर यू स्टार्ट टू फील आप देखो वेन एवर यू रीच एट द एज ऑफ थर्टी माई डियर देन एट दैट टाइम लेट मी टेल यू ऑनेस्टली आई दर यू क्वालिफाई द गेट एग्जाम यू क्वालिफाई द गेट एग्जाम विद गुड रैंक और नॉट बट जब तक आप तीस साल की एज में पहुंचोगे मैं आपको बता दू आफ्टर द थर्टी ईयर हर कोई ना कोई किसी ना किसी जगह पे सेट हो जाता है I'm talking about the financial term. कोई भी थर्टी ईयर के आस पास में जाके सेटलमेंट हो ही जाता है मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर स्पेशली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच बाकी का तो पता नहीं जो नॉन टेक में रहते होंगे उनका क्या सीन है बट हाँ अप टू दर्टी एज आप कहीं ना कहीं पे जाके सेट हो ही जाओगे आइदर यू क्वालिफाई द गेट एग्जाम विद गुड मार्क्स हो सकता है अगले साल ही सेट हो जाओगे इफ यू नॉट क्वालिफाई द गेट एग्जाम विद गुड मार्क्स देन अगेन इट विल टेक सम टाइम बट हर कोई अपने अकॉर्डिंग अप टू दर्टी थर्टी ईयर ऑफ एज कहीं ना कहीं सेटलमेंट हो ही जाता है हो सकता है दिल करे या दिल के अकॉर्डिंग चीजें मिल जाए या ना मिले बट हाँ बस ये ना होना चाहिए कि तीस से पैंतीस साल की एज में किसी कंपनी के, के किसी एक कोने में बैठ के आप अपने आप से कह रहे होगी कि काश आज से दस साल पहले कुछ कहा होता तो जिंदगी जिंदगी के साथ होती बस ये सब ख्याल ना आने चाहिए दिमाग में बाकी सब चीजें आपकी चलती रहती है राइट right ना तो वही है आप किसी इंसान को चाहो भी तो वो तभी तक अच्छा है जब तक आपको ना मिले राइट right ना शादी हो जाएगी तो जिंदगी भर रोने ही होगा आ जाओ वापस कम बैक ओके डोंट टेक इट सीरियस यस सो व्हेन इट इज सजेस्टेड टू अस दैट फॉर अ क्लोज सिस्टम For a closed system undergoing a thermodynamic cycle, total heat transfer is equal to total work transfer. Okay, <clears throat> come back. Okay, okay. आ जाओ वापस ये सब चीजें जाने दो. <clears throat> मोहम्मद डोंट थिंक लाइक दिस दैट इस बार निकला तो ठीक है वरना लेफ्ट 
ओके अभी आपके पास टाइम है दैट थिंग्स कैन बी चेंज एंड ऑनेस्टली आई टेल यू दैट दिस इज द टाइम माई डियर वेन नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट आर क्वाइट लो देन इफ यू परफॉर्म वेल इन दिस नेक्स्ट थर्टी थर्टी फाइव डेज देन डेफिनेटली माई डियर यू कैन डू बैटर इन दीज थर्टी डेज बिकॉज दिस इज द टाइम यू क्लियरली फील कि आपका इस समय का जो टाइम है ना मतलब क्यों मैं आपको बता रहा हूं टोटल नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट दिस ईयर आर अप्रोक्सीमेट सेम लाइक इन गेट 2012 और गेट 2011 माय डियर एंड 10 माय डियर इट वाज द टाइम जब आपने मतलब ऑलमोस्ट 30 40 50 मार्क्स पे लाके भी एक अच्छी रैंक अचीव कर ली थी एंड एट दैट टाइम देयर वर नॉट सो मेनी पीएसयू बहुत कम पीएसयू थे उस टाइम पे so this is the time when you perform well thoda bahut bhi acha kar loge definitely there are lot of chances because it is the good luck or bad luck for you then definitely it be it 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 must be clear to you that for this year who are going to write the gate exam for those it's a wonderful year my dear for those it's a kon hai bhai jo call kar raha hai aa jao It's a very good opportunity. Reason: Suddenly, number of vacancies are more, and number of students are less, my dear. बहुत ज़्यादा कम है number of students. मतलब आप देखोगे पिछले last ten year की <coughs> last ten year की history में ऐसा कुछ नहीं हुआ है. बहुत ज़्यादा कम student हैं. So definitely, it will be a wonderful year for you who are going to write the gate exam. Leave for all the other students जो क्या कर रहे हैं, वो क्या नहीं कर रहे हैं. Yes, good. <coughs> right now okay so point is not uh, like numbers point numbers ka nahi hai mohammad point se kitne number of candidate gate exam likh rahe hain but ha uh, definitely there are some plus and minus kuch saal pehle itni zyada opportunity nahi thi student ke sath samne ki wo itne zyada resources se paper ko itne zyada resources se unko material avail ho jaye abhi aapko you are you are completely study lot of marathon session lot of technique you know very well so definitely it will affect a lot to the competition but ha utna bhi nahi hai aapko competition last year last to last year ki competition mein bahut kam dekhne ko milega to point wahi hai bas himmat mat haro lage raho right na ye jo baatein hoti hai na ki bhai sab kuch pana hi matlab kisi ko pana hi sab kuch nahi hota ye aksar un logon ke liye bola jata hai jo jeet nahi pate dil rakhne ki ek sirf aur sirf kahani hai ye reality nahi hai राइट ना गुड हाँ ये बस इस पॉइंट को लेके चलो कि इस बार नहीं तो कभी नहीं तो ऐसा मत सोचो कि इस बार नहीं तो मतलब मुझसे कुछ हो नहीं पाएगा ये मत रखो बस इस बार सोच लो कि हाँ इस बार नहीं हुआ तो फिर कभी नहीं एग्जैक्टली नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज बस यही सोचो कि दिस इज द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू अगर ये नहीं आई तो शायद फिर बाद में कुछ नहीं हो पाए एग्जैक्टली कम बैक टू द पॉइंट सर यस हाँ यस इतने तो बहुत आराम से बढ़ सकते हैं हाँ इफ यू आर राइट नाउ राइट नाउ इफ यू थिंक दैट कि सर मैं जीरो पे हूं तो भाई एक महीने में कोई आपके पास जादुई चिराग नहीं लग जाएगा कि पता चले जीरो मार्क्स से आप साठ मार्क्स पे आ जाओगे नहीं आएगा हाँ इफ यू आर गेटिंग द थर्टी फोर्टी मार्क्स नॉर्मली राइट नाउ इन नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज डेफिनेटली यू कैन इंक्रीज टेन टू ट्वेंटी मार्क्स डेफिनेटली यस कम बैक ओके सर फॉर अ साइकिल वी नो वेरी वेल that sir for a cycle what will be the area of this cycle can you please tell me what is the area of this cycle can you please tell me what is the area of this cycle can i write the net work done my dear yes net work done if i will draw the same cycle on the ts diagram if i'll draw the same cycle on the ts diagram on the ts diagram if i'll draw the same cycle then i'll ask to you sir you tell me now what is 3 to 1 i mean what is the effect on temperature in 3 to 1 think very carefully what is the effect on 3 to 1 my dear I mean increase or decrease? Tell me the answer. Three to one. 
will it increase or decrease in this case? Temperature, I am talking about 3 to 1. Umar say decrease, Mayur say decrease, Vijay say decrease, Naveen say decrease, Ajay say increase, ABM say, okay, yaar. that is the reason I have already clear to you that my dear, this question I will ask again and again, go back. Just a minute. This is the process. Check this process. This was the process now. And earlier I have told you. Again and again I will ask the same question my dear. Why are you not feeling that if the temperature is in. If the volume is increasing. It is 100% the example of expansion process. And when it is the example of the expansion process, my dear, then definitely heat is supplied to the system. It means temperature and entropy both will increase, na? Temperature and entropy both will increase, my dear. This one is 3 to 1 process. Is it? Yes or no? Okay, good. Sir, this expansion process, PV raised to gamma is constant. 1 to 2. Can you please tell me what will be the effect on uh, temperature? I mean, it will increase or decrease. It is a reversible adiabatic pressure. That's why entropy will be constant. What is the effect on the temperature, my dear friend? Will it increase, decrease or remain constant? Definitely. Expansion process is there. One to two. And this one, my dear, is a isothermal process. Temperature constant. This one is the isothermal process. Very good. Isothermal process. Don't try to think, sir, 2 is getting, 3 is getting. That's why I am meeting these, uh, both the line. No. In 2 to 3 process, volume is decreasing. Volume is decreasing. Contraction process or the compression process is there, my dear. Temperature is constant. What will be the effect on heat? I mean rejected from the system or supplied to the system. What do you think? It is rejected from the system or supply from the supply to the system, my dear friend. Think very carefully. Yes. Rejected. Very good. Very, very nice. Wonderful. It will be rejected, my dear. This is the cycle on TS diagram. This one is the cycle on the TS diagram. Do you know 2 to 3 process is the entropy decreasing. Entropy decreasing is going to represent that heat is rejected from the system. And in this case, I can also write the area of this closed cycle is also known as net heat transfer. So in this case, it will be equal to net heat transfer. Just a minute. Just a minute. net heat transfer and in this case my dear I can also write area of PV cycle is equal to area of TS cycle is it clear to all or not so can I write if you want to find the net work done in this case PV gamma is not a not a isothermal process, Muhammad. PV raise to gamma is a adiabatic process. Adiabatic process means a straight vertical line. Temperature is changing, my dear. Entropy remains same. Entropy remains same means it's an example of the isentropic process. Are you getting my point, Muhammad? Yes. So in this case, whenever you want to find the net heat transfer or the net work transfer, you feel free to find the area of the PV diagram or you feel free to find the area of the TS diagram but in a cycle, not in a process. Are you getting my point? Is this point clear, Malays? Total heat transfer and total work transfer, my dear, 
इट विल बी एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ द पीवी डायग्राम और एरिया ऑफ द टी एस डायग्राम मीन अगेन लेट मी टेल यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द नेट वर्क ट्रांसफर फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ पीवी और टी एस ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द नेट वर्क डन फाइंड द नेट हिट ट्रांसफर दैट इज ऑल्सो ओके इवन द सेम प्रॉब्लम कैन ऑल्सो भी रिटर्न लाइक दिस इसी प्रॉब्लम को मैं ऐसे भी लिख सकता हूं माइडियर फ्रेंड दैट क्यू वन टू टू प्लस क्यू टू टू थ्री प्लस क्यू थ्री वन विल बी इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू वन टू टू डब्ल्यू टू टू थ्री डब्ल्यू थ्री टू वन विल यू एग्री विद इट नो इट्स नॉट अ पावर कट Yes, is all clear? Is all fine? Okay. Now is everything fine? <coughs> ओके 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 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट गुड सो द नेटवर्क देन विल बी इक्वल टू नेट हीट ट्रांसफर और एरिया ऑफ द पीबी डायग्राम यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट द एरिया ऑफ द टी एस डायग्राम चलिए लेस मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट लेस नो सम इंपोर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी रिगार्डिंग द हीट ट्रांसफर इट इज अ पाथ फंक्शन हीट ट्रांसफर इट इज अ इन एक्जेक्ट डेरिवेटिव माइडियर एंड आफ्टर दैट हीट ट्रांसफर इज अ बाउंड्री फिनोमिना हीट ट्रांसफर इज अ ट्रांजियंट फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी and after that the last point the heat transfer is not the thermodynamic property it is 100% the path function yes now important point with respect to heat and work msq question may be asked from here both are the example of the point uh, path function boundary both are the example of the boundary phenomena it's not a property both are not the property in exact derivative and heat and work done are the form of energy in the transient form of they are not stored we observe that heat and only work only with respect to process the statement or the heat and work about the state will be equal to zero they lose the significance when the process is over my dear over means whenever you are going to check the energy at the any instant or at 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 any instant at that time at any state at that time the total amount of the heat and work transfer can be written as zero so this is all about the uh, cycle my dear when the question will be asked regarding the cycle you can simply write the heat transfer will be exactly or net heat transfer will be exactly equal to net work transfer after that let's discuss a little bit all about the heat transfer or the first law of thermodynamic for a process my dear let me tell you everything whatever we are going to discuss it's a general phenomena and after that we write some formula for the close and open system till now we have not discussed even even we have not started my dear concept of the open or the closed system right now we everything we are driving either related to closed system or the general formula after that sir what is the first law of thermodynamic we can write that del q will be equal to my dear del w plus of du du is the change of internal energy and from here my dear du can be written as change of internal energy internal energy and in this case h for the first law of thermodynamic system i'll also write del q sir what is the formula of this pdv this is also a uh, uh, this also can be written as you can think that sir this formula we have studied lot of time why we are writing in this case sir i am going to deal with this formula in detail my dear 
because most of the problem will be solved related to first law of thermodynamic only with these two formula valid for the reversible and the irreversible process mind valid for only reversible process mind sir <clears throat> from here i'll ask one question how many of you are comfortable to write the answer of bugdan for a closed system how many of you are able to solve any problem whenever it is asked related to the open system uh, related to the closed system can you please tell me the answer can you please tell me the answer what is the value of the work done my dear are you able to find or not are you confident sir any problem you can give us and we will be able to find the value of the work done for a closed system if it is the example of closed system can you write the answer mayur all of you sir if i will give you any question related to closed system are you able to give me the answer of the work done for any thermodynamic process yes or no my dear what do you say are you able to find the value of the work done for the closed system yes or no my dear how many of you are sure sir we are able to find the value of the work done for the closed system let me connect the laptop just a minute yes how many of you are able to find the value of the work done for all closed system whenever it is a question of a process because if you say sir we are not able to find the value of the work done in a process then again whatever we have discussed in the last three hour my dear then there is no meaning of this entire discussion agar abhi bhi aap no kehte ho to and 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 again you should not say sir for this one pressure is given for this one isobaric process is given sir you should say you give us any question we are 100% sure we are able to give you the answer of the work done in any thermodynamic process then it is the meaning of a study definitely you say yes after that is the next question my dear after that it will be the next question if the work transfer is given to us work transfer you are able to calculate then the next question how will you calculate the value of the heat transfer in that process this is the big question give me one minute someone is at the door actually mai ghar pe akela hu give me one minute. okay come back yes okay yes how to identify the formula is for reversible and irreversible process i'll come on this part later my dear don't worry surut but first of all sir i h per your answer i am very sure that work done is clearly given to us Give, let me let me introduce one more formula my dear one question either from the thermodynamic work done or from the thermodynamic relation or from the relationship between the work done and heat transfer will be asked either he is going to ask what is the value of the heat transfer what is the value of the work done or what is the change in the internal energy because every year at least one question from these three points internal energy change work done and heat transfer my dear is generally asked so my question is this if the thermodynamic system as a closed system is given to us then this work done is already clear to me if i'll give you the value of change of internal energy if i will give you the value of change of internal energy are you not able to find the heat supply or heat rejection in that process say yes or no my dear say yes or no if i will give you the change of internal energy in this case are you able to find the total amount of the heat transfer agree or not any process i'll give you and you are able to find the heat transfer i will give you the change of internal energy are you able to find the heat supply or heat rejection yes or no my dear why why dw will be given to you because already you have accepted na that we are able to find the value of the work done so that's why i am going to give you the any thermodynamic process that is conducted by a uh, closed system 
then in that case you will find the value of the work done when you find the value of the work done i will give you the change of internal energy then are you able to find the heat transfer or not my dear so my point is this this formula this formula right somewhere in your mind and in your heart kahin dil dimag zehen mein isko bitha lo agar ye formula sahi se utilize karna aa gaya if you are able to utilize this formula my dear you will be able to find the heat supply and heat rejected from a thermodynamic process when it will be asked to you are you getting my point samajh aa raha hai agar ye formula ka utilize karna aa gaya my dear then from the previous section you have already calculated the value of the work done and if i'll give you the change of internal energy will be given by you uh, will be given by this then definitely you are 100% able to sure how the value of the internal energy how the value of heat supply or rejected will be calculated are you getting my point yes sir so you need to feel that this is this 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 one my dear is the formula is the basic point to solve any problem of the heat transfer any problem of the heat transfer let's try to apply the same concept what is the stored energy my dear stored energy this internal energy we have written from here is the change of internal energy that is the property of the system and that is also the microscopic approach or microscopic form of energy my dear the microscopic form of energy are defined as energy with respect to some outside reference uh, sorry macroscopic sorry sorry macroscopic form of energy are defined as the energy which are related to the outside reference like velocity like position of the working substance but when energy is associated with energy total energy is associated with internal activity of the system then that type of energy is known as microscopic energy or that energy is the nothing but internal energy my dear internal energy is independent from the outside reference intermolecular system intermolecular vibrational energy intermolecular magnetic energy these all energy are the example when we will combine this will be the internal energy so internal energy is the microscopic energy and my dear kinetic and potential energy when you write this will be the example of total energy so in this case when you write total internal energy this is the example of microscopic energy getting my point microscopic this is fully affected by intermolecular activity of the system and this kinetic energy my dear this kinetic and potential energy it is the macroscopic approach or macroscopic energy this is fully affected by the atmospheric or the surrounding atmosphere clear after that after that let's write the first law of thermodynamic for a system whatever we have written that del q will be equal to du plus of uh, uh, work done that is valid for the reversible and irreversible process let's know how to utilize this important relationship my dear to find the heat transfer first of all energy of universe remains same because again for the entire universe total energy remains same my dear it means what you are getting for this entire universe total energy remains same what is the total energy internal plus of kinetic energy plus of potential energy it is going to same uh, remain same uh, remain <coughs> same in the complete universe my dear this total energy is not going to change this law is known as conservation law of energy open me open me aayega yes it will be change in open system only because in the in this case my dear there is no inlet and outlet of the system when you are dealing with the closed system that's why you are not going to consider this one okay after that the application of this is pmm1 is not possible it was the time when the people were designing to such a machine 
W when Q is equal to 0. They were designing. What will be the efficiency of this machine, my dear? What is the efficiency of this machine? They were designing a machine who or which is possible to have the efficiency like infinite. Yes. Right. <clears throat> because it violate the first law of thermodynamic after that sir enthalpy is a very important point generally in the thermodynamic u plus pv term you just appear it regularly for the convenience you write enthalpy unit is kilojoule intensive extensive property specific enthalpy is an intensive property but you need not to worry about this i'll explain this point in very detail what is the requirement of the enthalpy when enthalpy will be used my dear don't worry now, Joule's law, H per the first law of thermodynamic, internal energy of an ideal gas is a function of temperature only. H is given like this, H is equal to U plus PV and we can write U plus PV is also written like Cp minus Cv is equal to T or it can also be written Cp by Cv is equal to gamma or Cp can be written by gamma into R divided by 1 minus gamma. And Cv can also be written like R divided by, uh, sorry, gamma minus 1. Gamma minus 1, okay. These are all important formula related to this. After that, heat transfer for this thermodynamic process. This is a very important formula, whatever I have told you, sir, this. Are you aware with this common formula? First of all, you need to tell me. Are you aware with this? Write a very important point. It is the basic formula, my dear. It is the basic formula to find heat transfer. To find heat transfer in any process in any process in any process this is a basic formula only means if you really want to find the heat transfer in any thermodynamic system undergoing a process my dear only this formula will be applicable only this formula okay so can you please write what is the value of the work done for the closed system and internal energy is written by change of mcp delta t is it yes or no my dear mcp delta t will be the answer change of internal energy so if i will substitute the answer are you not able to find the value of the heat transfer will be equal to mcp dt plus of work done is equal to either you write work done of a closed system or you write pdv so my point is this from here check this point very clearly not cp sorry it's a cv sorry my mistake cv sir the point is this, if the value of the work done, if the value of the work done is substituted here, are you not able to find the value of the heat transfer in any process? Say yes or no. Like if I will give you a single example, my dear, like process is isochoric process. Process is a isochoric process. So, can you please tell me what is the value of the work done in isochoric process? Anyone? What is the work done in isochoric process? Constant volume process mein work done kya hota hai? For a closed system. All of you, for a closed system, what is the amount of the work done in isochoric process, my dear? Sir, zero. And what is this? Have you written this formula a lot of time? That in this isochoric process, my dear, change of internal energy is only the formula of the heat transfer. But if you know the basic, my dear, from where this formula is coming, sir, from this line. Are you not getting? 
from this one line this formula u2 minus u1 is coming for the isochoric process as a heat transfer are you getting my point the heat transfer will be the change of internal energy that is derived from the first equation so in this case if you are just holding the basic concept agar aap basic concept ko pakad ke rehte ho ki sir work done work done is equal to the area of the pv diagram and heat transfer is coming from the area of pv diagram because heat transfer is generally related to the work done and work done is related to the area of PV diagram then my dear friend in this case you can solve each and every problem but the big problem is you always follow these formulas in formula ko yaad rakhte ho. are you aware with this table why we are going to follow this formula my dear do you want to know why these formulas are known because these formulas are valid or are having some important result some important result these are having which are derived from the closed system work done and whenever you are going to follow this formula then again my dear for the constant volume you have just derived this formula because work done is zero in this case constant pressure process heat supply can be written by mcp delta t my dear Similarly, for the isothermal process, when I write for the isothermal process, change of internal energy will be zero. Then, my dear, work done and heat transfer both will be same. But again, from where they are derived, they are derived from del Q is equal to del W plus of du. Why you don't understand? This is the only formula which can give you the answer of the heat transfer. Similarly, for the adiabatic process, my dear work done can be written by this work done can also be written by this t1 minus of t2 divided by gamma minus 1 and relation between all the properties can be given by this similarly if i'll find what is the heat transfer in polytropic process then heat transfer generally in polytropic process i can write mcp delta t and mc in polytropic process in delta t and after that i'll follow then this formula can be given by this this formula can be given by with this and after that if i will start the analysis of this polytropic process then you start to discuss this point very carefully my dear sir pv diagram tell me very honestly it's an example of expansion or compression my dear it's an example of expansion or compression, my dear. Tell me the answer of this question very carefully. What is the example? Expansion or compression, my dear. Expansion. Very nice. Wonderful. What will be the work done? Will it be plus or minus? Work done in this case will be plus or minus. Sir, plus. Wonderful plus very good now if i will write the value of the heat transfer in the polytropic process it will be equal to my dear gamma minus n divided by gamma minus 1 into work done in this polytropic process yes polytropic process now in this case if i will take the journal case my dear journal case that will give you the idea as gamma is equal to 1.4 but n is equal to 1.2 general polytropic process is there general polytropic process is there if i write the value of the heat transfer in polytropic can you write 1.4 minus 1.2 divided by 1.4 minus 1.1 1 it will be w of the work polytropic can you please write the answer what is the heat transfer in polytropic process anyone it will be equal to work done divided by 2 my dear when we are going to solve what you are getting the concept from here what you are getting the concept from here that sir if work is done by the system then half of the heat is supplied from the system are you getting my point 
half of the heat is supply from the system means just try to assume the numerical portion when you supply 50 kilojoule of heat then 100 kilojoule of work is achieved 100 kilojoule of work is done in this case done in this case my dear 100 kilojoule of work how this 50 percent of work is coming because 100 kilojoule of heat is supply in this case if i'll write this one is a 50 then this will be definitely 100 by 2 what you are getting 50 kilojoule of heat is doing 100 kilojoule of work how it is possible how it is possible there is only one possibility that internal energy is changing because we know the basic formula this is coming from here if this one is 50 this one is 100 then this one definitely minus 50 is it or not so in this case tell me one question from here my dear what is the effect on the internal energy i mean it's a decreasing increasing or remain constant internal energy decreasing what is the effect on what is the effect on the entropy my dear in this case effect on the entropy is a increasing decreasing or remain constant what do you say internal energy increasing decreasing or remain constant my dear decreasing entropy heat is supply to the system heat is supply to the system even the less heat but it is supply to the system whenever heat is supply to the system what is the effect on entropy my dear what will be the effect of uh, on an uh, on entropy it will increase so if you draw the ts diagram of this process my dear if you have to draw the ts diagram of this process just try to feel that temperature is decreasing but entropy is increasing if I represent the process will be somewhere like this any doubt representation of PB diagram on TS diagram any doubt my dear temperature is decreasing but entropy is increasing because heat is supply in this case at this point clear to all write the answer in comment section is this point my dear clear to all yes or no good at the same time if at the same time if gamma is equal to 1.4 but n is equal to 1.6 my dear 1.6 write the value in this case what is the heat in polytropic can we write in heat in polytropic 1.4 minus 1.6 divided by 1.4 minus 1 into work done in polytropic process what will be the answer it will be equal to minus del p divided by 2 means if i will change the value of n just if i'll play with the value of n then how much work will be done just 50 percent of work will be rejected in the form of heat my dear are you not getting from this case if the 100 kilojoule of work is positive in this case 1 to 3 in this case pv raised to 1.2 is a constant and in this case pv raised to 1.6 is a constant my dear and let me draw one more process so that it will be very clear to you my dear friend if I will draw one more process like this, 1, 2 and this one is the 4, 1 to 4 and that process my dear is PV raised to 1.4 is constant that is gamma, 1 point gamma is constant. Can you please tell me what is the adiabatic? expansion this one is a hundred percent adiabatic expansion can i draw the line like this i tell me yes or no my dear yes or no one point one one two four it's a adiabatic process one two two it's a polytropic process which is having pv raised to 
1.2 is equal to constant my dear now the question will come the last portion that expansion are you feeling now nah? all of you getting this process everyone getting this process my dear all of you <clears throat> excellent excellent now after that when the process is 1 to 3 1 to 3 means plus work is done by the system when the plus work is done by the system process 1 to 3 is going to represent in this process my dear then 50 kilojoule of heat you have to reject it from the system so tell me the entropy will decrease or increase tell me the entropy in this case will it increase or decrease my dear tell me the entropy in this case will it increase or decrease my dear work is done on the system heat is rejected from the system then definitely internal energy will decrease my dear so work and heat both are going out of the system then definitely work will be done by the system heat will be rejected from the system that's why your entropy will decrease so if heat is rejecting work is rejecting they are leaving the system at the cost of they all are leaving the system for us at the cost of at which cost they are leaving the system my dear at which cost they are leaving the thermodynamic system as a thermodynamic closed system at the cost of which parameter my dear tell me the correct answer of this question internal energy so internal energy in this case will also decrease internal energy of this case will also decrease are you not feeling these all three process are expansion process process 1 to 2 1 to 3 and 1 to 4 my dear these all thermodynamic process are the best example of expansion process but in all the process heat is behaving in a other way internal energy is behaving in a other way temperature is behaving in other way and entropy is behaving in other way my dear. are you getting my point so you can't generalize any concept if you really want to generalize the concept then only the basic formula are the generalized concept of the thermodynamic not the statement is the generalized concept of the thermodynamic are you getting my point is it clear to all do you know why these all the values are changing my dear let me tell you do you know even the heat is supply even the heat is supply or temperature is decreasing process number one to two check the process one to two you are supplying the heat but your temperature is decreasing this is all the effect of this is all the effect of a specific heat my dear in this case it is clearly mentioned that in the polytropic process heat is clearly equal to specific heat is clearly equal to gamma minus of n divided by 1 minus gamma why you are getting from here what exactly you are getting from here my dear this specific heat whenever the specific heat will be positive heat supply will increase the temperature whenever the specific heat will be negative heat supply will decrease the temperature whenever the specific heat is positive heat reject will decrease the temperature whenever a specific heat will be negative heat reject will increase the temperature are you getting my point four star point have you have you gone through whenever a specific heat is positive heat supply temperature increasing heat rejecting temperature decreasing but by chance at any time specific heat become negative heat supply will start to decrease the temperature and heat reject will start to increase the temperature are you getting this point or not my dear this is all about the game of specific heat in this case so whenever you will supply the heat to the system you can't say always temperature of, uh, of the body will increase my dear you can't say always temperature of the gas will decrease my dear are you getting this point
all of you how we know yes yes how we know my dear dekho come back to the point see there are five important process mohammed five important process is there right yes five five important process is there my dear specific heat cp is positive cb is positive isothermal c specific heat is infinite reversible adiabatic specific heat is zero my dear in this case polytropic process because if the process are not the four thermodynamic process other than these four thermodynamic process my dear all process are the polytropic process this is the general formula so that will value that value will depend upon the polytropic process and in real life yes it exist my dear whenever the expansion of the ic engine is there so at that time work is done by the system and at the same time my dear heat is also rejected from the system uh, through the cylinder boundary so yes this polytropic process is possible when heat is rejecting from the system at the same time work is also done by the system in the expansion process of the ic engine my dear when piston in the third stroke of the power stroke the piston is moving in the downward direction at the same time heat is rejecting from the cylinder boundary the example of the polytropic process my dear are you getting my point is it clear yes so my point is this any formula it is given to us or it is not given to us the formula of the heat transfer is generally given to us but if no formula is given to us there is only one formula for that condition my dear and what is that formula that formula is del q is equal to sorry del q will be equal to del w plus du that is valid for all the thermodynamic process whenever relationship between the heat and my dear work done will be followed are you getting this point this formula is 90% this formula is going to solve 90% problem of the first law of thermodynamics chapter number 2 ki 90% jo problem hogi that will be that will be solved by this formula that del q will be equal to yes 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 no 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 this one is not practical because you are not going to do these all the process yes okay good free expansion the expansion of the gas against the vacuum is known as free expansion process if we want to write this is the expansion in this one gas is filled like this my dear very high pressure is maintained very high pressure p1 is maintained t1 is maintained and after that my dear volume is b1 so when you write free expansion then in the free expansion my dear insulated system is there work done is zero in this case my dear and definitely du will also be zero or you can write u2 minus u1 will be equal to zero or u2 will be equal to u1 and similarly this t2 will be equal to t1 if it is the case of ideal gas similarly h2 will also be equal to h1 in the case of ideal gas so for the ideal case my dear ideal gas condition temperature internal energy and enthalpy of the ideal gas in the free expansion remain same one more thing what exactly you write when you remove this expansion and this gas occupy this entire space my dear pressure become p2 temperature become t2 and volume become p2 let me tell you in this case p1 and p2 are not same v1 and v2 are not same my dear okay these b1 v2 are not same p1 p2 are not same generally you write that if p atm is equal to Uh, p atm is also given to us then let me again tell you p2 is also not equal to p atm it may or may not be right because when the gas is expanding and the p atmospheric pressure is there my dear out of the atmosphere generally what you start to think that temperature of the atmosphere become t atmosphere after the expansion pressure of the of the of the system become p atmosphere after the expansion it generally not happen my dear temperature is 
constant means initial temperature will be equal to final temperature but pressure will be different from the atmospheric pressure it may or may not be equal to atmospheric pressure because this atmospheric pressure is the outside pressure how much pressure will be decreased that will be clearly dependent upon the portion of expansion how percentage of the expansion is occurred if the volume available for the entire system is, is given in such a manner that this achieve the atmospheric pressure then and only then you can say it is the atmospheric pressure otherwise it may be more than atmospheric pressure because how much pressure will be decreased my dear that will be dependent upon the volume now how much volume is there so never write yeah and again yes so never write my dear this process is a constant volume process or constant process process and again it is not a isothermal process is not the isothermal process isothermal process even even though initial and final temperature are same initial and final temperature my dear are same do you know why Yes, uh, Muhammad, your doubt, let me check. We know the specific heat negative. This is your doubt. Uh, why W is 0? Yes, yes, yes. Why W is 0? My dear, when you talk about the work done, right now. Okay. Simply why you are feeling, sir, that in this case there is the work done? Because you are going to think that, sir, because gas is moving in the forward direction, that's why work done in this case will be 0. Sir, try to feel you are in the vacuum. You are in vacuum. Mein ho. And in this case, zero gravity position is there in that case you are going to move from here to here do you require any work do you require any work my dear no no are you doing some work on anything why you require the work to move in this space my dear because you have to do some work against some resistance something is going to stop you that's why you are going to provide the work against that resistance but whenever vacuum is there, zero gravity will be there, my dear. At that time, you will start to move from here to there. But in that condition, you require not energy, not a single point of energy. You require not a single point of work. That's why in this case, work done against the vacuum is zero. After that, yes. After that, you can also say one more point. That's sir, in this case, pressure is changing, volume is changing. Yes. But why the work done is zero? The point is very clear, my dear, that in this case, pressure and volume both are changing, but the numerical value of the work done in this case is zero because PdV is equal to work done. That is valid only for the uh, for the reversible process, but your free expansion is the highly irreversible process, my dear. Your free expansion process is the highly irreversible process. That is the reason you can say that H per the formula, we are not going to satisfy the equation that PDB will be equal to work done because PDB will be equal to work done. That is valid for the reversible process. But in this case, it is highly, highly irreversible process. That is the reason these all formula we are not going to apply. We are going to signify the statement with the concept that there is nothing for the gas to resist again which it has to do the work that is the reason the work done by the gas in this case is zero my dear by the gas in this case is zero because in the vacuum anything can be moved from here to there without any requirement of the work without any doing the work on anything that's why the work done in this case will be zero no resistance no work done is there clear to all uh, is that clear Muhammad? your doubt no resistance no work is there like if it is the piston cylinder arrangement now then you are lifting the piston you are doing some work against the resistance my dear that is the reason you are going to say work is done by the gas otherwise work done by the gas will be zero now simple good 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 great free expansion after that sir i will ask only one point from here first law of thermodynamic for the closed system you have covered my dear First law of thermodynamic for the closed system you have covered. Can you please tell me the answer <clears throat> from here? From here, what is the 
basic concept whatever you need to follow for the first law of thermodynamics can you please tell me there is only one line my dear you are not going to forget that line there is only one line you are not going to forget that del q will be equal to du plus of del w this is the line my dear because this is the formula to find the heat transfer for any process this is the formula yes yes surut after that this can also be written like this both are the same thing this can also be written like this both are the same thing this can also be written like this all three are going to represent the same thing my dear you are going to follow this formula and these all are valid this one is valid for the reversible and irreversible process this one is valid for the reversible process only my dear reversible process only so let me tell you if you are able to recall these all the formula if you are able to remind these all the formula no one is going to stop you to solve each and every numerical of the thermodynamic process to find the heat transfer to find the change of internal energy and to find the work transfer my dear yes the mixing of the liquid entropy may have don't worry that is already combined in the entropy my dear you need not to worry about this okay entropy is there okay good great and that portion of the entropy i have just included you just follow this formula because if you follow the previous one table na that previous one table my dear is also the result of what one it is also the result of this formula na either you draw or you find the value of the uh, value of the heat transfer in isobaric process isochoric process isothermal process polytropic everything is coming from these formula only that's all either you write the value of the heat transfer mcp delta t it is coming from here in isobaric process isothermal coming from here so anything you can forget you can drive but if you forget the basic one you cannot drive right as as to find the value of the work done my dear is point ko dimag mein bitha lo as to find the value of the work done as the area of the pb diagram is the most important formula most important concept to find the heat transfer in any thermodynamic process my dear this formula is the heart of the first law of thermodynamics आप अगर ये निकल गया आपके दिमाग से यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनीथिंग क्लियर टू ऑल यस सेकेंड क्वेश्चन व्हाई इट इज नॉट अ आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस समवन ऑफ यू हैव आस्क अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सर व्हाई इन दिस केस the process is not the isothermal process or the free expansion process is not the example of the isothermal process what is the reason behind sir the point is very clear to us that in the topic of the free expansion my dear even your initial and final temperature are same but in the already in the first chapter we have study that my dear if your initial and final temperature is same this is not the fulfillment of isothermal process then what is the fulfillment of isothermal process first sir initial and final temperature must be same and second your system pass through the infinite number of equilibrium state means process must be very 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 slow process are you getting when it is moving from this point to this point it takes so much of time that's why it will reach from the starting point 1 to 2 in a very very slow manner that's why you can say it is the example of the isothermal process my dear are you getting my point that's why you say it is the example of the isothermal process clear yes 
difficult. No, no, no. Till now we have not started the open system. After that we are going to start the open system. Don't worry. Till now my dear, we have not started the open system. Clear? Okay. Now from here, we are going to start the first law of thermodynamic for open system. Sir, when you talk about the first law of thermodynamic for the open system, then my dear, there are two important concepts we need to write in the first law of thermodynamic. First of all, or two type of flow may be there because in this case, in the first chapter, you have very well defined a very important point that sir, in the conservation law of energy, my dear, in the conservation law of energy, and in the conservation law of mass, if you feel the system as an open system, then in the open system, mass was also crossing the boundary and my dear, energy was also crossing the boundary. Getting my point? So, in this case, what exactly you need to feel? First of all, you also need to consider what is the effect on mass. And after that, you need to feel what is the effect on energy. Because in the previous case, you need not to worry about the mass. Because mass is the control, that is the fix. In this case, mass is changing every second. Some fresh mass is entering, some fresh, some, some used mass is leaving the system idea. And most of the example, most of the practical example are related to the open system idea. So in this case, when you are going to follow the uh, conservation law of mass my dear, then for the steady state condition, I need to check what is happening in this control volume. Sir, I know very well what is the rate of change of mass in the control volume rate of change of the mass in the control volume it will be equal to what is the rate of mass that is coming from the system coming to the system minus rate of change of mass that is leaving the system from here i can say the rate of change of mass is zero because it is a steady state flow my dear that's why you can simply say the mass flow rate at inlet must be equal to mass flow rate at exit if it is the example of a steady state open system that is generally written like this. It is clear to all. In this case, first equation conservation law of mass says, sir, that mass entering into the system or mass flow rate at the inlet of the system will be equal to mass flow rate at the outlet of the system. Mass flow rate at the outlet of the system. Similarly, if I'll say what is the conservation law of energy, similarly, can I write what is the total change of energy in the control volume? In this control volume, can I write total energy that is going to flow? Yes, yes, no mass is inside, is stored inside. That's why you can say, nice study state condition. That's why you say, so ideally, what is the rate of change of energy at inlet? And what is the rate of change of energy at outlet, my dear? And I know very well, the total change of energy in this control volume will be zero because you are dealing with the steady state condition. So the energy flow rate at in inlet must be equal to total energy flow rate at outlet, my dear. So let me write, what is the energy flow rate? Can I write H1 is the total energy flow rate? that is the entering plus of 1 by 2 m c1 square kinetic energy at inlet plus of mg h or z1 plus of if any heat is supplied to the system. Second one h2 plus of 1 by 2 m c2 square plus of mg z2 my dear plus of work transfer in this control volume. Let me tell you now this control volume will be the work done work of open system my dear. This is the work done of abhi ye jo work done ban chuka hai that is the work done of the open system not the work done of a closed system. So this is the overall energy you can apply whenever you feel any system as a any any thermodynamic system as a 
open system in any type of open system you feel free to apply this concept without any problem bina kisi problem ke aap aankh band karke ye concept apply kar sakte ho whenever you feel that mass is crossing the boundary and it is the example of steady state one point must be clear to us that mass is entering and mass is leaving the system if the mass is only entering the system or only leaving the system it is not an example it is not the concept you are going to apply my dear it is clear to all is it clear to all you are not going to apply the same concept after that if i need to apply the first law of thermodynamic then already one thing you have just written second one my dear the same concept also be written like this c1 square by 2 plus of zz1 plus of q dot will be equal to h2 plus of c2 square by 2 plus of gz2 plus of w of control one. like this neglecting neglecting kinetic and potential energy my dear can we write like this that h1 plus of heat transfer will be equal to h2 plus of work transfer in the control volume can we write from here that del q total heat transfer will be equal to h2 minus of h1 plus of total work transfer what is this one can we write this what is this this one is the first law of thermodynamic first law of thermodynamic for open system so do you know what this concept is going to tell you are you getting what this total concept is going to tell you when the neglecting the kinetic and potential energy we are getting yeah unit may bilkul bahut bar galti hoti hai let me tell you whenever the unit is kilojoule per kg sir very simple point is there uh, uh, sv very simple point only in the two form the unit will be given to us either in the kilowatt because in the open system my dear mass is taken as a mass flow rate so when it is the example of the mass flow rate then definitely unit will become in the kilowatt my dear in this case unit will be come in kilowatt whenever mass will be multiplied to all the parameter at that time your unit will be in kilowatt when after that my dear when mass is not multiplied with the kilowatt then answer will be in kilojoule per kg after that if i will neglect the potential and kinetic energy then this will be the example of closed system at last if i neglect the kinetic and potential energy my dear if if the rest are in comment section धीरज सर आ चुके हैं कमेंट सेक्शन में ओके देखो आग लगा दी किसी ने धीरज सर के नाम पे वेरी गुड यू हैव जस्ट डिस्कस लॉट ऑफ इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इन द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल कल तो स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल हुआ था ना सर ने स्टार्ट कराया था सर ने और अभिनव सर ने I think you are very much comfortable in strength of material. Similarly, after attending the session, my dear, definitely, definitely. Good afternoon, all of you. चलिए आ जाइए वापस. Okay, sir. So, what is the meaning of the this formula you are getting from here? Let's try to understand this. Sir, this one is an example of open system. Come back to the point. What you are getting from this point, my dear? Let's try to understand this entire concept. हाँ बस इस बार थोड़ी सी इज्जत रख लेना आप सब लोग अभी गुड आफ्टरनून तो कर रहे हो आग भी लगा रहे हो बस गेट में और एक बार आग, आग लगा देना मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट की इज्जत रख लेना थोड़ा यस ओके सर इफ इट इज एग्जांपल ऑफ ओपन सिस्टम 
बिल्कुल धीरज सर भी उधर से यही चाह रहे होंगे बस सब कुछ कर लेना मगर इस बार मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट की थोड़ी इज्जत रख लेना रैंक ले आने आठ दस लोग कम से कम मिनिमम अंडर हंड्रेड कम बैक टू द पॉइंट माय डियर या यू कैन राइट द जूल और किलो जूल बट लेट मी टेल यू माई डियर यस लेट मी टेल यू इन दिस केस वेन यू राइट द सी और वेन यू राइट दिस वैल्यू एंथेल्पी लाइक एम डेल्टा टी सीपी so in most of the time you write the numerical value of the cp like kilojoule per kg kelvin that is the reason final answer come but when you solve this problem like cv and mgz2 you know very well 1 by 2 mb square is kinetic energy in joule so that value must be multiplied by 2000 that value must be divided sorry divided by 2000 that value divided by 1000 my dear so this is the general formula general way my dear to convert all the parameter into the joule into the kilojoule kilojoule into the joule so again whenever the plus sign you are going to take in any particular subject not only the strength of material or thermodynamic or any any other subject my dear whenever you are going to check numerical addition addition subtraction unit always play a very important role in this one whenever addition or subtraction is there again why i am going to tell you these points by giving some force some pressure on these points reason addition and subtraction will create the problem in units only whenever addition or subtraction will be there my dear they create the problem of unit only otherwise multiplication and division will not create so much of problem because in the multiplication and division my dear you know very well that kilopascal or the uh, uh, the pressure and volume is making the work done so in this case unit is not a problem because you 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 first of all check if i am writing pressure multiplication by volume is a work done so first of all i'll go with the pressure unit then i'll go with the volume unit but whenever unit are added at that time lot of problems are there my dear bahut se amir very nice very nice uh, amir uh, rank you also need to check at this time definitely with the marks rank is also you need to check okay come back to the point sir what is the meaning of this sir in this statement what idea it is given to us let me define clearly sir any open system is there then in this open system my dear if it is going to enter with the enthalpy of h1 okay if it is going to enter with the enthalpy of h1 it is leaving with the enthalpy of h2 but with this one if the heat is also supplied to us my dear heat is also supplied to us then this heat can be change the enthalpy and this heat can also utilize to do some work my dear so h per the first law of thermodynamic we are getting the concept that the supply of the heat is distributed in how many number of towns so h per the first law of thermodynamic we are getting a very wonderful concept that this heat whenever i am going to supply this is changing the enthalpy plus of this is changing or this is doing some work done so what heat is going to supply in the form of input that is also going to divided into two form whenever heat will be divided into two form this will also be written my dear dh minus of vdp there is also one numerical term we are aware with it are yes or no we are also aware with this term my dear that if the input heat is supplied to the system this can be written into two form that heat is divided first of all it will enter into the term that will change the enthalpy of the system and again it can be written the work done by the system and in the same similar equation we can also write vdp so in this case you can also write one important term that work done of the control volume can be written by my dear minus of vdp this is the work done for open system my dear this is the work done for the open system 
नो 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 हाँ यस सर जस्ट लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज द सेकेंड इक्वेशन वॉट एवर यू हैव रिटर्न दैट इज फॉर द क्लोज सिस्टम यस दैट इज फॉर द ओपन सिस्टम बट द पॉइंट इज दिस either equation you are writing for the open system or equation you are writing for the closed system why you are not feeling that they are going to tell you the distribution of the energy all the point are going to tell you what amount of heat is supplied to the system and where they are dividing are you getting my point where they all are dividing so definitely equation 1 is valid for the first law of uh, uh, thermodynamic and equation second is valid for everything where the energy is conserved the meaning of the second point is whenever heat is supplied to any system then its part is divided into two part some part is going to utilize into the internal energy and some other part is going to utilize in minus bdp so this is not valid for closed system only no this is valid for the conservation of energy whenever it can be applied my dear whenever you want to apply it are you getting my point if you apply the the point is very simple in the second equation is if you are going to supply 50 kJ of energy to something this 50 kJ of energy is divided into two part one is 10 is something and 40 is something other so this is valid for every case it is not only valid for the uh, for the for the uh, closed system this is valid for the conservation law are you getting my point yes exactly so this is the work done for the open system this is also known as study flow work this is also known as work done for the open system in study flow case sir are you feeling some difference are you feeling some difference my dear in this case my i mean work done for the open and closed system are you feeling some difference or not my dear yes or no devinder what i suggest you i think next for next 15 days my dear this marathon will be going on first of all try to understand each and everything in this live session after that at least download this pdf i'll share these all the pdf and all the faculties are going to share these pdf in the telegram channel download these all the pdfs then you just mug up these all the pdfs each and every formula each and everything is covered in this session my dear so you just mug up these all the formula and after that write at least one test from the test series every day or at least after gap of one day my dear then definitely you need not to do so much of thing after this point okay sir come back so so in this case i can write the value of the work done for the closed system from here what i am going to do my dear work done for the open system i will also add one important table in this case yes sir in this case just a minute in this case my dear work done for the closed system here it is told to you yes or no can i make one more table where i will write the work done for open system if you don't mind can i write like this yes or no for you so that this table will be completed for you guys after that you need not to write again and again short lot of table so in this case work done of the open system in this polytropic process it will be given by n upon n minus 1 p1 v1 minus of p2 v2 my dear okay it is clear to all it will be also equal to n upon n minus 1 mr t1 minus of t2 is it clear to you so this is the work done for open system this will be uh, very good for you if i'll write this is also written as mr t1 minus of t2 divided by n minus 1 clear to all this is the work done for polytropic process similarly 
सर फ्रॉम हियर कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी वॉट इज आर डिवाइड बाई गामा माइनस वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वट इज आर डिवाइड बाई गामा माइनस वन सीवी ना सो कैन यू राइट दिस वैल्यू इक्वल टू एम सी बी टी वन माइनस टी टू यस वेरी नाइस वेरी वंडरफुल आफ्टर दैट इफ आई जस्ट ड्रॉ वन मोर कॉलम इन दिस केस माई डियर वन मोर कॉलम इफ आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ इन दिस केस लाइक दिस then what is the value of the work done in open system my dear what is the value of the work done in open system sir you know very well that work done is equal to pdv and vdp area will be the same so it will also have the same formula this is the isothermal process when the work done will be the same in isothermal process in the last case वर्क डन कैन बी गिवन बाई गामा अपॉन गामा माइनस वन इट विल बी गामा अपॉन गामा माइनस वन माई डियर पी वन वी वन माइनस पी टू वी टू राइट आफ्टर दैट वॉट इज दिस गामा अपॉन गामा माइनस वन पी वन वी वन कैन ए राइट गामा एम आर T1 वन माइनस टी टू डिवाइडेड बाई गामा माइनस वन सर वॉट इज गामा आर डिवाइड बाई गामा माइनस वन दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू एम सी पी दैट इज टी वन माइनस ऑफ टी टू माइड यस टी वन माइनस ऑफ टी टू सो दिस इज द वर्क डन दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज माइनस ऑफ बी डी पी माइड माइनस ऑफ बी डी पी that also can be written after that if i'll write what is the work done for if i will write from here what is the work done for the open system if i'll add one more column in this case my dear then what will be the work done for isobaric process what is the work done for isobaric process my dear it is equal to isobaric process 0 and it is equal to v and p2 minus of p1 is it clear to all p2 minus of p1 is the value of work done so from here if you follow only the single table my dear if you follow only the single table then you get each and everything by following the single table sir is the value of work done for closed system is given yes given in the fourth column is the value of the heat transfer is given yes given in the third column is the value of the index index means p raised to n is equal to constant and in this case the value of this n is given yes sir given in all the column if the value of the pressure temperature and volume relation given to us yes sir given if the specific heat is given yes sir specific heat is given if the value of the work done for open system is given yes sir 100% the value of the work done for open system is given check another next important process everything is given check another next important process everything is given and after that my dear you must be aware with the generalized equation work done for the open system can be given by this my dear work done for the open system can be given by this work done for the closed system can be given by this like this and generalized relation between the heat and work and internal energy can be given like this if you follow these all the relation you need not to require any numerical solution for chapter number 1 and chapter number 2 aapko dono ke liye kahin se kuch find out karne ki zarurat hi nahi padegi if you are going to follow the table 1 2 and 3 my dear the there all these three ppt are going to represent only the single table is it clear to all everything i have just try to manage in this case so that you are not going to feel any problem in this case open system work given clothes given heat transfer given my dear ppt relation given specific heat for all the process is given in this case all of you even 
जर्नलाइज फॉर्म ऑफ ऑल द थिंग आर ऑल्सो गिवन जर्नलाइज फॉर्म एरिया ऑफ पीवी डायग्राम जर्नलाइज फॉर्म ऑफ ओपन सिस्टम एरिया ऑफ पीवी डायग्राम अबाउट प्रेशर एक्सेस जर्नलाइज फॉर्म ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन माई डियर ऑल दीज थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑफ जर्नलाइज फॉर्म इज गिवन ऑल फॉर्मूला ऑफ ओपन सिस्टम गिवन और फॉर्मूला ऑफ क्लोज सिस्टम इज गिवन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू फील द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ द वर्क डन कैन बी गिवन बाई दिस क्लियर टू ऑल यहां तक सही है is it clear to all you need to follow only one table you will be able to remind you will be able to feel each and every formula of chapter number 1 and chapter number 2 my dear clear to all good wonderful great 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 after that sir nojan nahi <laughs> nahi exam mein leke nahi jani hai venu bahar nikal dega अगर एग्जाम में ले गए तो अगर एग्जाम में ले गए तो बाहर निकाल देगा बट अगेन लेट मी टेल यू इवन यू आर अवेयर विद द फॉर्मूला यू आर अवेयर विद ऑल द फॉर्मूला आई एम टू हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर वेन एवर आई एल गिव यू द क्वेश्चन टू नाइट टू यू गाइज इन द प्रैक्टिस सेशन आई एम टू हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर यू विल मेक द मिस्टेक रीजन ऐसा नहीं कि आपको फॉर्मूले याद नहीं होंगे वेन इट विल बी द नेम ऑफ द टर्वाइन वेन इट विल बी द नेम ऑफ द कंप्रेसर यू फॉर गेट टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई एन यू फॉर गेट टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई गामा यू विल राइट लाइक पी वन बी वन माइनस पी टू बी टू अपॉन गामा माइनस वन बिकॉज ऑलरेडी यू हैट योर माइंड कि नहीं हमको तो यही यूज करना है कुछ भी नाम दे दो सर इसका वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो दिस पॉइंट सर वेन एवर सिस्टम इज मैं whenever the closed system or open system is directly or indirectly mentioned my dear you have to take a break you have to take a, a small pause in that question and then you need to apply first of all what is the system second what is the uh, process and third one my dear third one my dear what properties are given to us right these three point as a highlighter on your notes whenever you want to write you write but write these three point or wherever you want to write right but these three point must be highlighted in the thermodynamic first what is the name of the thermodynamic system given in this question paper my dear second what is the process given in that thermodynamic process i mean reversible isothermal process reversible adiabatic process just a straight line process process is not given hint is given to define the process and third what properties are given to us these three point if you are able to ask to yourself before starting any question of basic thermodynamic believe me you are not going to make any question wrongly even you can feel tonight whenever we are going to have the practice session but highlight these थ्री इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट माई डियर तीन इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट को कहीं भी एक बड़े बड़े अक्षरों में लिखो फर्स्ट आई आस्क टू माई सेल्फ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द सिस्टम सेकेंड वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द प्रोसेस नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ इंजीनियर अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एम सी पी डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू हीट ट्रांसफर blindly in any of the thermodynamic cycle blindly in any of the thermodynamic system pure power plant mein 99% engineer h1 minus h2 is the enthalpy likh ke chale aate hain ye bhi nahi dekhte ki change of enthalpy change of enthalpy is just a result of isothermal heat addition only only this is the big problem agree or not so whenever you are writing the formula sir because ab iske baad dekhoge na let me tell you after that my dear only the portion of entropy is left otherwise the most of the question related to energy energy means heat work internal energy enthalpy most of the question related to enthalpy related to internal energy heat and work you will be able to solve only from this table 
if you will ask again and again to us uh, to 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 yourself sorry ki sir what is the system what is the process and what properties are given and what formula i am aware with ये क्वेश्चन बार बार पूछने लगे ना खुद से कहीं से कहीं तक कुछ गलत नहीं होगा बट प्रॉब्लम इज सर हीट ट्रांसफर इज आस्क इन द बॉयलर एमसीपी डेल्टा टी यू नेवर नो व्हाई वी आर राइटिंग द एमसीपी डेल्टा टी व्हाट इज द हीट ट्रांसफर व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द हीट ट्रांसफर इन टर्बाइन एमसीपी डेल्टा टी यू जस्ट राइट दैट फार्मूला बस छू के देखो एमसीपी डेल्टा टी इन केस ऑफ टर्बाइन यू विल गेट द माइनस 2/3 रखे हुए मिलेंगे मार्क्स try to feel the difference thermodynamic is the complicated subject when when you are not asking the question you are not separating the things cheezon ko separate nahi karoge to problem mein phasne ho aap these things i have just discussed you, with you that three point you need to ask to yourself again and again tell me very honestly kitne logo ne honestly likhe hai wo point इसलिए वो मैंने इतना टाइम दिया अदरवाइज आई कैन स्टार्ट द टॉपिक ना दैट्स आई हैव जस्ट गिवन यू द टाइम ऑनेस्टली टेल मी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव रिटन रिटन दीज पॉइंट्स माय डियर नन ऑफ यू आई नो वेरी वेल आई नो यू ऑल आर द चंपक मुझे बड़ी उम्मीद है कि आप में से किसी ने भी नहीं लिखे होंगे बोले ठीक है बाद में लिख लेंगे यस सर रिटर्न वेरी गुड उमर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मालेस ग्रेट ओनली टू आर द ऑनेस्ट पीपल एंड आफ्टर दैट ऑल द पीपल कैन स्टार्ट टू कॉपी आधे तो उसी का कमेंट कॉपी करके लिख देंगे सर हमने भी लिखा है प्लीज स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स व्हेन यू विल हाईलाइट ऑन अ पेपर एंड यू जस्ट स्टिक ऑन अ वॉल और समवेयर समवेयर कहीं पे भी आप उसको चिपका दोगे बहुत ज्यादा इफेक्ट करते हैं बिकॉज लेट मी टेल यू माई डियर सिली मिस्टेक कैन नॉट बी कंट्रोल इन अ सिंगल डे आपको जो कहा जाता है ना कि सिली मिस्टेक में ये कर लो सिली मिस्टेक में वो कर लो ये कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक नहीं होगी लेट मी टेल यू ऑनेस्टली टू अवॉइड द सिली मिस्टेक इज अ साइकोलॉजी आपको मैं कितनी भी चीजें दस बार कह दूंगा फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा कुछ भी एट द जस्ट बिफोर द डे ऑफ एग्जाम हाँ अगर मैं कहूं कि आप ये चीजें फॉलो करो नेक्स्ट टेन डेज देन डेफिनेटली यू विल सी सम फ्रूटफुल रिजल्ट तो दीज आर द साइकोलॉजी वेन एवर सम हाईलाइटेड पॉइंट आर गिवन टू अस एंड यू नीड नॉट टू टेक ऑल द पॉइंट एज द हाईलाइटेड पॉइंट हार्डली टू थ्री पॉइंट विच आर द बेसिक फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट यू जस्ट टेक दीज पॉइंट एज द हाईलाइटर एंड यू जस्ट मेक दीज वेरी हाईलाइटर पॉइंट एंड यू कैन जस्ट समवेयर स्टिक इनको कहीं पर चिपका दो गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ओके यस सुरत का क्वेश्चन है यस सुरत का क्वेश्चन है सर हीट ट्रांसफर इन टर्बाइन यस इन एक्चुअल केस इट इज पॉसिबल इन एक्चुअल केस इट इज पॉसिबल माय डियर आइडियल यू आर गोइंग टू टेक द नोजल इज इंसुलेटेड और 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 टर्बाइन इज इंसुलेटेड दैट इज द डिफरेंट थिंग ओके कम बैक चलिए नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन माय डियर लेट मी टेल यू वेरी ऑनेस्टली दैट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक माय डियर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन दिस टॉपिक Give me one minute only. You take a break of five minute. आप जरा पांच मिनट का ब्रेक ले लो यहां से You take the break of five minute, my dear. Yes. जल्दी से अपना खाना वाना लेके आ जाओ यहीं पे. After five minute, we are starting. there is some disturbance in my just yes
ओके योर फाइव मिनट इज ओवर गुड नो नो दिमाग में चिपकाना इज अ वेरी इजी आई हैव गिवन यू टू थ्री पॉइंट्स दिस ऑल पीपीटीज और योर शॉर्ट नोट्स राइट और योर की पॉइंट्स यू जस्ट टेक ऑन अ पीस ऑफ अ पेपर यू स्टार्ट टू राइट इन द मॉर्निंग टेक वन सब्जेक्ट एवरी डे टू सब्जेक्ट और थ्री सब्जेक्ट इट इज ओके यस यस नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं है फास्ट नहीं है भाई बट हाँ ऐसा हो जाता है मतलब एट टू टेन आवर वी कैन टेक द लेक्चर कंटिन्यू ऐसा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मतलब सारे फैकल्टी नॉट ओनली मी वी ऑल फैकल्टी वी कैन टेक एट टू टेन आवर विदाउट टेकिंग द लंच एंड ऑल द थिंग डोंट वरी सर आ जाओ वापस इट्स अ जर्नल बिकॉज वी आर टेकिंग द लेक्चर फ्रॉम लास्ट एट टू टेन ईयर्स एंड इवन इन द ऑफलाइन इट वॉज हैपनिंग एट दैट टाइम दैट एट टू फाइव एट टू नाइन आवर यू हैव टू कंटिन्यू द क्लास ये बहुत जर्नल था चीज है ओके चलिए एक दो बार लाइक करो यार सेशन को फिर बढ़ो आगे चलो कम बैक टू द पॉइंट लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक सर या एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द एस एफ स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन एप्लीकेशन दीज ऑल द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट माय डियर आर जस्ट बेस्ड ऑन सम एजम्सन लेट मी टेल यू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द नोजल वाई दिस पॉइंट इज गोइंग टू टेल यू इज इज गिवन हियर इवन इन ऑल द पार्ट ऑफ नोजल टर्वाइन कंप्रेसर एंड एवरीथिंग माई डियर यू नीड टू फॉलो You need to follow the SFV study flow energy equation. But why these special cases are given to you? Then answer is very simple to you that in this case, my dear, either it is the case of nozzle, it is the case of turbine, it is the case of compressor. In this case, if H per the SFV equation, few data are missing, then what you need to do in that condition? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. in that condition you just forget that data and you just solve the question with the data whatever it is given like in the nozzle there is a simple example of the flow so in this case there is nozzle is completely insulated that's why heat will be zero no work is there my dear inlet velocity is negligible so in this case we can write that h1 plus of 1 by 2 m c1 square plus datum energy plus heat my dear will be equal to h2 Plus of one by two m two c two square plus of m g z two. Here I am going to tell you what mistake you do lot of time, my dear. No work done, no heat transfer. M g z one, m g z two, and this is negligible. That's why c two can be written by under root of two h one minus of h two, or it can be written by under root of two c p into t one minus of t two, my dear. So. this one is a very basic formula this one is very basic formula for the topic of nozzle speed my dear whenever these all parameter are not given in the question that only in this case yes then only in this case you need to apply this formula otherwise this will be valid my dear this will be valid so these are the special case when some data are not given in the question you can solve by following this question and in this case let me write you my dear every unit must be in mks unit every unit must be in the form of mks unit means meter after that uh, kg and after that second my dear are you getting my point so in this case or you can say si unit because when you write the value of the cp na it will be in the term of kilojoule per kg but you will convert it joule per kg enthalpy you will write kilojoule but you will convert it into the joule because you are taking the under root whenever you are going to take the under root of any property whenever you are going to take square of any property cube of any property root cube of any property then you always write always write that property 
in SI unit. After that, similarly, if I write the compressor, then my dear work of the compressor will be equal to H2 minus of H1. Here we are dealing with the magnitude. At the same time, if I write work done in the turbine, then turbine work done will be equal to H1 minus of H2. It will be also equal to MCP T1 minus of T2. Sir, any one of you, I'll ask a very important question. In this case, you are writing turbine work is equal to H1 minus of H2. That is equal to MCP delta T. Any one of you aware with the concept why H1 minus H2 is coming in this case? This is the adiabatic process. And whenever neglect, whenever you will neglect the kinetic and potential energy and condition is the uh, condition is the adiabatic because it's a system of insulated, then at that time, my dear heat transfer will be zero. Us time pe heat transfer ki value zero ho jayegi. Clear to all? At that time, your heat transfer will be zero, my dear. Good. So, in this case, your total work transfer will be somewhere like this. After that boiler, no work transfer, kinetic energy, change of potential energy zero. Then heat supply will be again equal to H2 minus of H1 or for an ideal gas MCP T2 minus of T1. T2 minus of T1. My dear. In this case, throttling process. Throttling process is highly irreversible process. Flow through the partially open wall, venturi meter, porous membrane and after that capillary tube. In this case, H1 is equal to H2. This enthalpy will be the constant. That is the reason, my dear, this process will be known as isenthalpic process. This process will be known as isenthalpic process in this case. Yes. Next, throttling, no work, no heat transfer, no change in kinetic energy. H1 is equal to H2. These process, this one is not important numerical. That's the reason we are not going to stop after that, sir. Unsteady flow of the energy equation or the flow for the unsteady. Sir, what will be the heat transfer from the turbine? If not adiabatic process, sir, it will be given that there is a loss of the heat in that problem. So, in that condition, you will consider heat amount with the minus sign. Okay. Generally, it is given in the question that total amount of the heat is not zero. Some portion of the heat is rejecting from the system. That is the heat loss. Yes. Boiler is also the one part of the heat exchanger. That, my dear Amir, you can also write the same formula. Heat transfer is the change of enthalpy. Are you aware with, with, with this all concept or not? But let me tell you, my dear, in advance, these all formula, whatever you have drive now, these all formula are valid for some process. Either you are aware with or not. Let me tell you, in this case, my dear, when you write the value of the turbine work is equal to change of enthalpy. Example of open or closed systems or open system. And in this open system, change of enthalpy or MCP delta T was also valid. MCP, can you write like this? Is it yes or no, my dear? Kuch yaad hai aapko ye formula? Are you aware with this formula? Yes or no, my dear? Are you aware with this formula? If I will substitute the value of CP, gamma RT divided by gamma minus 1. Gamma R divided by, so this is nothing but this is going to indicate that if you neglect the kinetic and potential energy and if you take the turbine as a proper insulated then my dear it is hundred percent the exam, uh, example of the adiabatic process generally in the unsteady flow or the steady flow you drive the formula directly but they indicate some process actually these assumption these assumption neglecting or kinetic and potential energy well insulation it is going to define you it is going to give you the idea that this is damn sure example of adiabatic process. Getting my point? Why this is coming? Yes. Now, sir, 
most important question most twisted question will come from this topic my dear most of the twisted question will come from this topic my dear unstudy flow if there is a control volume somewhere like this there is the control volume my dear somewhere like this i will add few question from this topic reversible process is there okay these all formula we have derived for the reversible process right otherwise so engineering mechanics ka hai at the last day don't worry we are having the engineering mechanics marathon at the last day it was not mansan in that uh, last ppt was this was in continuation it does not mean that only these session were there don't worry this was only for the continuation energy mecha engineering mechanics will we are having the engineering mechanics marathon on the last day but definitely time will be less because uh, subject is more uh, uh, compact and one more thing in that portion of the engineering mechanics we will cover the subject in little bit modify way because this is more over related to the numerical portion so in each and every question my dear in each and every concept after the concept we try to understand the concept uh, with the help of some numerical so the marathon of the engineering mechanics will be related to the uh, theory formula and numerical at the same time so no separate session will be there for the practice during the session we are going to conduct sir in this case there will be a control volume and my dear yes and my dear mass flow rate is going to enter why this type of subject we are going to study separately reason is in this case so many conditions are there so many formulas are there if i am going to discuss only the numerical you will be feel problem in this case my dear so conservation law of mass sir the rate of change of mass with respect to time in the control volume is equal to mass flow rate at inlet minus of mass flow rate at outlet this is the equation one my dear okay sir after that conservation law of energy if i am going to draw then that will be equal to change of energy in the control volume this will be the mass flow rate at inlet into hi plus of 1 by 2 mass flow rate at uh c1 square plus of mass flow rate at inlet and gz1 plus of heat transfer rate minus of me h e plus of 1 by 2 me c2 square plus of me gz2 plus of work flow rate neglecting kinetic and potential energy kinetic and potential energy it can be written by rate of change of internal energy of the control volume it will be equal to hi minus me into he plus heat transfer rate minus this work transfer rate generally this one is the basic formula of usfee you can solve any related problem any problem and most of the time yes i am i am coming on the same point not only you sagrika most of you are feeling the problem in this case my dear in this case you are feeling the problem most of you sir few numerical parameter let me tell you what type of problem you can feel let me start from here my dear sir uh, this will be more clear when i'll start the same question with a problem sir i am not going to take this case in this case my dear let me write right now a liquid or a gas is filled with the mass of m1 m1 mass is there okay now a gas is traveling gas is flowing in this case with the temperature of t1 pressure of pi and my dear internal energy of ei and enthalpy of ei 
So what do you feel when this is the fling of the insulated tank my dear try to understand this concept very important concept is there. Now if I am going to apply the same concept neglecting kinetic and potential energy my dear potential energy can I write dOy dt is equal to mass flow rate hi minus mass flow rate at he plus of heat transfer rate minus of work transfer rate clear after that just a minute <clears throat> sir in this case can I write rate of change of mass in this control volume is equal to m mass flow rate at inlet of this control volume we are fixed we are going to discuss of this control volume and mass flow rate at exit can you please tell me what is the what is the mass leaving the system what is the amount of mass that is going to leaving the system no 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 sagrika actually if you what exactly you want uh, i am not going to explain that concept t final is equal to gamma ti you are very well aware with this i am i am not going to uh, explain that one concept my dear don't worry so can i write this point yes or i'll write this point here this concept will be written like this after that sun can you write du of cv will be equal to dm over dt mass flow rate of this one of control volume plus heat transfer rate minus work transfer rate is it or not yes or no all of you can we write from here u2 minus of u1 of this control volume will be equal to m2 minus of m1 of this control volume plus heat supply oh 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 sorry hi hi is left plus heat supply minus work done can you write u2 is equal to oh, oh, sorry m2 small u2 m1 small u1 of the control volume is equal to m2 minus of m1 into hi plus q minus of w what you are feeling from this equation this is the amount of total change of internal energy when there is the filling of the gas in this control volume are you getting my point when there is the filling in this control volume my dear filling of the gas in this control volume the total change of the internal energy in the control volume will be given by this these are the basic concept which can never be changed after that if listen this point if this entire chamber is insulated then heat transfer becomes zero getting my point heat transfer becomes zero after that if this insulate chamber is evacuated then free expansion is the problem work done will be zero and if it is evacuated then what is the meaning of m1 and m2 my dear try to feel this entire concept m1 and m2 of the control volume what is the meaning of this m1 means before starting the process what is the mass of the gas inside the volume and m2 after completing the process what is the value of the mass of the gas inside the control volume so if it is evacuated then m1 will be zero my dear 
सो आफ्टर दैट द फाइनल आंसर बिकम यू टू विल बी इक्वल टू एच आई आर यू गेटिंग और नॉट सो दिस इज जस्ट अ कंडीशन नॉट द आंसर वाई आर यू नॉट फीलिंग दिस इज जस्ट वन कंडीशन माई डियर वेन योर इनिशियल कंडीशन विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस एंटायर टैंक इज इंसुलेटेड इवेक्युएटेड then and only then you can say that your final temperature of the tank will be equal to gamma time of ti but when any parameter is not given any parameter is mentioned in this question with the numerical value then you are not going to write directly you are not going to write directly in this case that your t final will be equal to gamma time of t initial most of the time you engineer make the mistake like this you just recall the formula formula and formula you write the final temperature is equal to gamma into ti in any condition and you try to apply everywhere sir always i say basic thermodynamic or basic thermodynamic is all about the concept not about the result because result are based on some assumption whenever these all assumption will fulfilled then at that time you will write the final temperature is equal to gamma into ti otherwise this concept will be valid now you must ask sir after that this concept how we will check sir if it is not insulated then definitely it is going to mention that what is the heat transfer from the system or to the system you will substitute that value and if the system is not evacuated so at least you will tell me na then what is the numerical value of the of the of the mass that is already filled in this chamber ye to wo mujhe batayega means m1 is given to us then in this case you need to find what is the m2 how much mass is added to the system or final mass and what is the value of the internal energy are you getting my point are you getting this point my dear all of you so always recall the basic formula always the recall basic important thing after that you need to summarize the important point with the assumption my dear clear to all is it clear to all good don't don't go for any formula directly without summarize anything my dear come back to the next important chapter that is the second law of thermodynamic chapter number 3 chapter number 3 not one question it will be more than one question don't worry about this already i did it is more than one question my dear how m2 minus m1 you have wrote okay dm over dt will be equal to mi yes sir but buffer during the assumption part of t okay okay yes let me take the oh my doubt and after that we are starting the next topic sir one doubt is my dear that sir you have written that dm over dt in the control volume is equal to mi first of all you need to feel the difference that what is the difference between the equation 1 and the equation 2 my dear you need to understand the difference between both whenever you start to know the difference between the uh, differentiation and the statement my dear you are not going to feel any problem in this case sir in the first equation it is clearly mentioned that rate of change of mass every second is going to increase by mi how much mass flow rate is there my dear clear to you and m2 minus m1 m2 minus m1 because what you are doing my dear you are going to differentiate you generally going to differentiate na like this you are going to do the differentiate so it is given that m2 minus m1 what is the meaning of it m2 minus m1 means that every second your rate of change of mass in the control volume is mi that is the mass flow rate but in this case if i want to check what is the change of mass total change of mass that will come m2 m2 means final mass of the control volume after continuation of 30 second 40 second 30 minute getting my point so this is the value of m2 like you are it is just like a like a like a example of a petrol pump in the petrol pump uh, 
the petrol is filled from the pipe to a uh, to a to a to a car tank. Then, in this case, my dear, just try to recall the same thing. What mass is going to enter into your tank every second? That is dm over dt in the control volume. Getting my point? But this process is going to continue for the 40, 50 second. So at that time you need to check, uh, check when we have started to fill the tank. At that time what was the mass in my tank? Mass of the petrol in my tank. After that when filling is completed, what is the total mass in my tank? So at that time I have to write now my M2 minus M1. So this is the total change in that 40 second and this dm over dt is the rate of change of mass in the control volume every second now you are feeling you get the point because generally the question is asked when when means some time is mentioned to you after two minute four minute the petrol is completely filled in the tank T is completely filled into your cup from the thermos example of unsteady flow then after uh, filling this T into the cup what is the final temperature of the cup when T is just pour from the thermos are you not feeling the same question when petrol pump is have uh, uh, petrol is having some temperature and it is going to fill from the pipeline to your to your supply tank then when this 10 or 15 liter of uh, petrol you are going to fill your tank of the car then at that time my dear after filling the tank what is the final temperature what is the final pressure like this if it, the, it may be related to the ideal gas now you are getting so there is a big difference between the equation 1 and equation 2 my dear equation 1 is going to tell you what is the rate of change of mass this equation 1 is only the symbolic equation that will never give you the answer directly Equation 1 is just a symbolic equation, my dear. But when you will just do the integration of this equation with respect to time, with respect to time, my dear, at that time you will get the proper answer. Are you getting my point? At that time, my dear, you will get the proper answer. In that time duration, in that long span of the time, your internal energy is changed from U1 to U2. Your mass is changed from M1 to M2. And your all other parameters are uh, in that duration this much amount of the heat is supply we are not dealing with the heat transfer rate check it check it q is written not q dot is written because in that duration i want to check what is the total amount of the heat uh, supply to the system what is the total amount of the work is done by the system getting my point are you are you getting my point my dear clear okay wonderful yes exactly uh, amir has given the very wonderful answer first of all uh, i think you have told me the two step but there are total three step my dear in unsteady state in unsteady state any question you are having the three state one steps one apply the conservation of mass apply the concept of conservation of mass second apply the concept of conservation of energy and third my dear apply the concept of conservation of, oh, sorry apply the concept of integration then convert the rate of change into the total quantity these are the three steps first conservation law of mass conservation law of energy and after that integration to find the total change of the uh, property in that control volume because flow is unsteady getting my point amir three point are there this conservation of mass this conservation of energy and this integration so that you can find the total change in this case my dear good great second second law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamic my dear we are going to start almost you can say the 60 percent part you have just completed after that we come to the second law of thermodynamic up after that what important things are left my dear let me tell you these things are related to entropy one is the important thing one of the important thing and after that my dear second point is your pure substance Two points are most important in this case one is the second law of thermodynamic and entropy and second one is the 
two more are yes you take the break of 5 minute main ek pani ki bottle le aata hu after that i'll start take 5 minute break yes चल ओके सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक माई डियर वी आर स्टार्टिंग सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हियर after that we discuss the entropy topic one of the important topic of the entire thermodynamic and then we start the available energy availability and irreversibility my dear okay so let's move forward then discuss second law of thermodynamic my dear so let me tell you it will give you the direction of the heat transfer sir it will tell you perfectly where the heat transfer is possible where is not possible most of the time you make the mistake that if the body is maintained at this temperature my dear body is maintained at the temperature of th 300 degree right now this body is maintained at the 300 degree and this surrounding is maintained at 27 degree okay so now if you want to reject the heat from this then from this condition to this condition heat rejection is 100% possible my dear good after that generally the question are given to us that you want to reject the heat from this temperature this body of temperature uh, 300 degree centigrade from here to here you want to reject the temperature from uh, reject the heat from this temperature body to this temperature body i just want to know it it, it is possible my dear is it possible 
to reject the heat from 300 degree centigrade to 300 degree centigrade can you please tell me is it possible to reject the heat from 300 degree centigrade to 300 degree centigrade what do you say yes or no Umar say no as we say no anyone else is it possible to reject the heat from 300 degree centigrade to 300 degree centigrade Sirius. say no ok but answer is yes and no both my dear naturally it is not uh, possible to flow the energy from this 300 degree centigrade to the 300 degree centigrade but whenever you will uh, add some external device add some external system the flow of the energy is also possible so generally these type of questions are asked to us my dear these type of questions are asked to us that you want to reject the heat from 300 degree centigrade to 300 degree centigrade so at that time your answer is you have to add some thermodynamic system like refrigerator or heat pump so that you will add the system like this refrigerator now it is possible yes or no now it is possible my dear what do you say yes so this is the concept of second law of thermodynamic that will give you the proper idea in which condition h per the concept of the second law of thermodynamic your flow of energy is possible your flow of heat is possible and your flow of heat is not possible h per the second law of thermodynamic it is clearly mentioned that heat or direction of the flow natural direction of the flow sorry natural direction of the flow is from the higher temperature to lower temperature getting my point from the higher to lower temperature heat can be transferred for the natural convection or the natural heat transfer and only in this natural flow of the heat transfer na, only for the natural flow of the heat transfer flow of the heat transfer my dear only natural flow of the heat transfer you can write heat given why heat taken only you can write like this are you getting my point yes this is only possible like m1 c1 t1 minus of t final or m2 uh, cv2 t final minus of t2 my dear are you getting my point this temperature is t2 and this temperature is T1. So this formula let me tell you is only valid for the natural flow of the heat transfer. Generally what do you do? You try to apply the same concept anywhere whenever you want. It's not formula that can be valid everywhere my dear. This will be valid whenever natural flow of the heat transfer will be there. Are you getting my point? Natural flow of the heat transfer means from one single body how heat is going to transfer by adding or subtracting any system naturally. Heat see the see the flow. Ho hai. Are you getting my point? So H per the direction of the heat flow temperature or heat will be flow from higher temperature to lower flow lower temperature if you want the reverse flow you have to attach one additional system that can be do some work and it can reject the heat from the higher temperature uh, from the lower temperature body to the higher temperature body first law of thermodynamics simplifies say that energy is conserved it does not give any idea of the direction of the particular flow let me tell you this one this one i am coming on the same point mohammed this one first law of thermodynamic will be valid sir what is the first law of thermodynamic conservation law of energy agree or not conservation law of energy mohammed what do you say first law of thermodynamic is the conservation law of energy so anywhere you want to apply the conservation law of energy first of all second law of thermodynamic must be valid at that place because if you say sir energy is conserved heat is flow from this point to another point then definitely in that process my dear first of all energy flow law must be uh, satisfied na? so 
the second law of thermodynamic that give the idea of the direction for the particular process that is this process in a particular direction possible or not that is the reason this concept is known as directional law or second law of thermodynamic is known as directional law my dear to understand the source and sink behavior first and second yes yes first and second <coughs> important point of the source and sink then what is the source and sink they are having the very high value of the thermal capacity means thermal capacity means what is it thermal capacity means m into cp my dear or m into c what is this either you are having very high value of mass or you are having my dear very high value of cp like if you take the example of atmospheric air atmospheric air lot of amount of air is available even the value of cp is very less 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin is the value of cp a specific heat but a very high value of the heat capacity is there my dear that's why temperature change is constant that's why in the source temperature const change is constant so when you are talking about source or sink even when the air is available in this bottle this will behave like a finite body uh, this will behave like an ideal gas at that time it will not behave like a source or sink try to understand the condition but the same condition same thing my dear when the example of this air will be mixed into the atmosphere then atmospheric air will behave like a source or sink reason either mass or cp should be so much high that you take any amount of the heat you reject any amount of the heat to it temperature is not going to change because see it's just like infinite are you getting my point first of all you know what thing will be non edge system and uh, source and sink my dear take the example of the water in this bottle a 100% example of finite body take the example of the same water in the sea in the ocean example of source and sink you take the water energy will be affected no you take the energy from the water energy is affected no are you getting my point so source and sink means either the mass of the system must be very high or the mass or the specific heat must be very high at that time my dear you can only say that this is the source or sink no temperature change during the heat source supply the heat without change of temperature like sun large furnace sink absorb the heat without change of temperature like atmosphere or ocean water sea water my dear you can also say are you getting the difference because this point will be mohammed this point will be beneficial my dear whenever you will study the topic of entropy because in the entropy one is the source second is the sink and third is the system one is the system then second will be the surrounding surrounding will be the sink getting my point so this point will be beneficial at that time so that you will take the decision at which point i'll apply the formula of the entropy clear to all good great are you not getting my point sir source is just a word source means you are taking something from someone are you getting my this someone is the source let me give you the example sir if you are going to take the or if you are going to take 10000 rupee rupees from a friend किसी दोस्त से लेते हो तो फॉर यू दैट फ्रेंड वो जनरली देगा नहीं आसानी से फॉर यू दैट फ्रेंड इज माई डियर जस्ट द सोर्स फॉर यू बिकॉज यू आर टेकिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम दैट सोर्स नाउ द कंडीशन ऑफ दैट सोर्स विल चेंज और नॉट चेंज दैट विल डिपेंड हाउ मच मनी दैट सोर्स इज हैविंग गेटिंग माई पॉइंट अब आप मुकेश अंबानी से जाके दस बीस हजार रुपए ले लो उन पे क्या फर्क पड़ेगा ही जस्ट सोर्स हैविंग द इनफाइनेट रिसोर्स अब भाई आप दस हजार रुपए अपने किसी फ्रेंड से लो बेचारे दस दिन तक रोता रहेगा जब तक उसको वापस नहीं मिलेगा उसको यही टेंशन लेगी मारे तो नहीं गए सो दिस इज द सोर्स हैविंग द फाइनाइट रिसोर्सेस सो सोर्स विच इज है इनफाइनाइट रिसोर्सेस टेम्परेचर ऑफ दैट सोर्स इज नेवर गोइंग टू चेंज इवन यू टेक हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ द एनर्जी वट एवर यू वॉन्ट गेटिंग Are you getting or not? 
बट इफ यू टेक द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ द एनर्जी विच इज हैविंग द लॉर्ड ऑफ रिसोर्सेस उस पर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा वो तो भैया समुद्र में एक लोटा पानी जैसा Have you got the idea or not? Yes, this is the point. So, source temperature may or may not be change. When source temperature will not change, when it is the example of infinite resources, like atmospheric air having the infinite mass, like ocean water having the infinite mass. But if you are taking the heat from a uh, from from a air which is just filled in an entire room, then definitely this will behave like a source, but its temperature will change. समझ आया ना गेटिंग गुड आगे बढ़ते हैं ग्रेट कैलबिन प्लान के स्टेटमेंट पीएमएम वन इज नॉट पॉसिबल व्हाट इज द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ पीएमएम टू इट वाज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम समवन शायद किसका क्वेश्चन था अब फास्ट ही चलेंगे क्योंकि अभी तक कॉन्सेप्चुअल पार्ट ज्यादा था देवेंद्र यस स्पीड अब बढ़ा ही रहे अब बहुत ज्यादा पार्ट आपका बचा नहीं है नोमेरिकल पार्ट बहुत ज्यादा है आफ्टर दैट हीट इंजन माइडियर इन द हीट इंजन लेट मी टेल यू The work done in this case will be equal to Q1 minus of Q2. Sir, one minute. If you will find the efficiency of first one, my dear, efficiency of first one will be equal to one minus Q2 divided by Q1, or this will be also equal to Q divided uh, W divided by Q1. And efficiency of the second one, my dear, that will be equal to one minus T2 divided by T1, my dear. And that is valid for which cycle, my dear? reversible cycle let me tell you only reversible cycle and this one is valid for the reversible and the irreversible cycle sir if the efficiency of the first one is less than the efficiency of the second one what you are getting if you find the efficiency yes yes sir. if you find the efficiency no issue ajay koi baat nahi hai uh, efficiency of the first one is less than the efficiency of the second one sir this is the valid for both the thing can you say it is the actual heat engine yes it is the actual heat engine why sir because the efficiency calculated by the actual term actual term means output and input is less than the efficiency calculated by ideal term if on the other hand if the efficiency by the first one and efficiency by the second one are same what is the meaning reversible heat engine my dear after that if the efficiency of the first one is greater than efficiency of second one what is this impossible heat engine so again these numerical lot of time are asked to us kai bar ye numerical humko puche jate hain my dear bahut bar numerical puche jate hain humko but again from this whenever industrial whenever actual these type of word are mentioned in the question you always apply this formula whenever car not whenever reversible these type of word are given you always apply the second formula blindly whenever it is measurement it is possible or not you will follow both and you will check out of these three condition what is the possible my dear after that similarly for clausius statement the application of this clausius uh, statement reversible then in this case what is the refrigerating effect my dear that value will be equal to q2 in this case what is the work done or the power in this case can i write w so what is the cop of the first one can you please tell me what is the cop that will be q2 divided by w or that will be equal to q2 divided by uh, q1 minus of q2 equation one sir and cop of the second one i can again write uh, t2 divided by t1 minus of t2 that will be equal to what is it this one is valid for sir reversible and irreversible cycle not process and this one is valid for only reversible cycle is it or not and cop of the first one if it is less than cop of the second one no problem it is the actual refrigerator is it or not actual refrigerator but if the cop of the first one 
is exactly equal to COP of the second month. Reversible or Carnot refrigerator. But if the COP of the first one is greater than COP of second one, answer impossible. So you need to check these numerical value with the help of numericals data my dear are the valid or not valid my dear. Why COP is defined means efficiency why Carnot. Yes, yes. अगर आप पूछोगे तो फिर से भाई आप में से कुछ कहेंगे फिर लेट हो रहा है बट अगेन यस वैसे एक आ, आपका जो क्वेश्चन है ये क्वेश्चन आपका इंटरव्यू का है बाद में भी पूछोगे तो भी चलेगा बट लेट मी टेल यू सर इट वाज द टाइम ड्यूरिंग द सेकंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक व्हेन कैल्विन प्लैंक स्टेटमेंट वेरीफाइड दैट एफिशिएंसी और द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एनी सिस्टम इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल मोर देन 100% more than 100% at the same time Clausius found that efficiency or the performance of any heat engine is possible even more than 100% but not more than infinite less than infinite but more than 100% so at that time there was the contradictory statement if you feel because as per the Clank, uh, Kelvin Planck statement it is found that performance of any engine is not possible to have the more than uh, 100%. But as per the clauses statement, performance is possible more than 100%. Getting my point? Are you getting my point? So in this case, because in this case, my dear, COP is possible more than 100%. But efficiency is not possible more than 100%. So in that case, when they concluded, then they found that both people were conducting the experiment in the reverse way. One was conducting the experiment to supply the low grade energy and to get the high grade energy. But other one was doing the reverse thing. One was doing or other one was doing or supplying the high grade energy but getting as a low grade energy at the desired output. So they found that conversion of the high low grade energy into the high grade energy fully conversion is not possible. But in the reverse way if you want the low grade energy at the output from the high grade energy at the input, then definitely your 100, not only 100, more than 100 is possible. Then after that, this complete field was divided into two parts. One, when you want your desired output in the term of low grade energy, then at that time, my dear, your efficiency performance is possible that is more than 100% and your law is also not violating. But whenever you want high grade energy in the form of input, at that time, my dear, you are not able to achieve even more than 100% efficiency. That is the reason to field of power producing and power absorbing were decided in the field of power absorbing cycle, the cycle were introduced like a refrigeration cycle and the performance was introduced like coefficient of performance and in all the power producing cycle, the performance was uh, given as a efficiency, my dear. Clear to you? Yes. Clear? Almost three chapters, you can say the very, uh, means this one is a very large chapter. After that, a very small chapter will be left in this is the only the last chapter my dear in which we take the time after that chapter number four that is the available energy chapter number five thermodynamic relation all chapter will be completed in one hour don't worry sir next refrigerator we have discussed after that heat pump we can similarly write that the function of the heat pump is nothing but the cop of the heat pump Can be written, my dear, that is Q1 divided by Q1 minus of Q2. That is the equation 1 that is valid for reversible and irreversible both. And after that, COP of second will be equal to T1 divided by T1 minus of T2. That will be valid, my dear, <coughs> only reversible cycle. So in this case, very clear to you that if the COP of 1 is less than COP of 2, then my dear, it is the actual heat pump. Is it or not? Actual heat pump 
if the cop of 1 is exactly equal to cop of uh, 2 that will be equal to reversible heat pump but if the cop of 1 you are getting greater than cop of 2 then definitely you are claiming the wrong thing that is impossible that is impossible if all the temperature profile working at the same temperature नहीं 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 पूछो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है जो इंटरव्यू वाले क्वेश्चन है उसी को मैं अभी थोड़ा सा इग्नोर कर रहा हूं डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस यस क्योंकि वही है इंटरव्यू जानने का अगर क्यों है तो उसका तो बहुत सारा अपने पास टाइम पड़ा यू फील फ्री आफ्टर दैट वी कैन कंडक्ट द गेट एग्जाम बट राइट नाउ योर टाइम इज वेरी क्रिटिकल आपका टाइम बहुत कंपोनेंट है इंपॉर्टेंट है सो इफ आई राइट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एफिशियंसी cop of refrigerator cop of heat pump my dear it can be written as <coughs> it can be written as cop of heat pump will be equal to 1 upon efficiency will be also equal to cop of refrigerator plus of 1 my dear plus of 1 then after that there is a very important point that is cascade cascade heat engine my dear or the power plant generally in this cascade heat engine one heat engine is working with the cycle like this important formula is there for all of you second heat engine is working uh, 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 sorry t2 sorry sorry T2. Third one is this one, my dear T3. This is W2. This is W1. Okay. Now, if this is the second heat engine, I think this one is the new for you, for few of you. Important point I am going to give you, sir. Write somewhere. If n1 is the efficiency of heat engine 1 n2 is the efficiency of heat engine 2 then overall efficiency can be given by n1 plus of n2 minus of n1 and n2 are you aware with this generally the question is asked overall efficiency of the system my dear overall efficiency of this system is given to us next after that second case my dear case 2 case 2 if the efficiency of 1 is equal to efficiency of 2 then my dear t2 will be equal to t1 into t3 very important case 3 my dear If W1 is equal to W2, then my dear, T2 will be equal to T1 plus of T3 divided by T. This is known as cascade refrigeration or cascade, uh, cascade heat engine. In this cascade heat engine, these are the very important relation you must know. If the two cascade engine are having the same work done, then my dear intermediate temperature will be written as arithmetic mean of earth, arithmetic mean of final source and final sink. And my dear, if the efficiency of both the system is same, my dear, then intermediate temperature will be the geometrical mean. And if the efficiency of one system is N1 and N2 is the second efficiency, then my dear, overall efficiency of the system can be given by this. Okay, good. Yes, yes, exactly. Similarly, yeah, I am coming on the same point. Similarly, cascade refrigeration system. Please write down cascade refrigeration system, my dear. Like if this one is a T1 refrigerator, T2 second refrigerator and my dear T3.
like this t1 and this one is t2 this one is w2 and this one my dear is w1 okay now if the cop of 1 is the cop of r1 first refrigerator and cop2 is the cop of r2 then my dear overall cop of the system will be equal to cop1 cop2 divided by cop1 plus of give me one minute cop of can you write what is it <clears throat> yes plus of 1 sorry so generally these questions are also asked to us that what is the overall cop in cascade system what is the overall value of the refrigeration and work done these all parameters my dear are asked to us cop we have calculated yes yes cop of 1 cop of 2 cop of this yes exactly can we solve it yes you can also go with the conventional but in, in these case my dear temperature heat like this q3 like this q2 and then this q2 and then this q1 these parameters are never given to us in the question generally only one point is given to us if the cop of the refrigerator 1 is 3 cop of the refrigerator 2 is 2 then what will be the overall cop of the system similarly like the uh, heat engine if the efficiency of the heat engine 1 efficiency of the heat engine 2 is given to us then what will be the answer my dear yes okay after that clausius inequality law clausius inequality law generally it is given by del q y t it is equal to 0 my dear for reversible process all of you for the reversible not process it is a cycle and del q y t my dear cyclic integral of del q y t it is greater than 0 or less than 0 less than 0 for irreversible cycle irreversible cycle it is less than 0 sorry less than 0 for a cycle and let me tell you my dear this formula this formula is just a ram bar for all the reversible heat engine all the reversible refrigerator which are having the reservoir more than 2 which are having 3 4 5 10 8 reservoir and the question is given to you in the gate exam because this is most twisted question and maybe this year question is asked from this topic my dear like if the reservoir are somewhere like this one two reservoir three reservoir and four reservoir like this and this one is the heat engine my dear heat is supply from here heat is also supply from here heat is supply from here heat is supply from here but let me tell you my dear this topic is a ramban for you when you know the reservoir yes okay so in this case you just solve these all the question when more number of reservoir there more and more number of reservoir there this question will be easily solved from the clausius inequality law if you are able to understand the entire application of this one yes sir in this case in this case my dear in this case your all source and sink may behave like a uh, infinite or may behave like a finite source and sink means temperature may change or may not change it will depend upon the uh, direction it, uh, it will depend upon the behavior of the source if this t1 is a finite body then temperature of this case may change if the t1 is an infinite body temperature will not change right now so in this case definitely we apply the concept my dear very in very detail but this formula will be valid more and more valid 
whenever the numerical of the evening you will say but after that let's move forward for the entropy and available energy these two topic are there generally maximum of the engineer never try to go with these formulas yes or no aadhe se jyada entropy to phir bhi theek hai available energy ko touch hi nahi karke jate clear okay sir come back to the point sir i will again let me tell you here we are not going to discuss the basic concept of the entropy when entropy will increase when entropy will decrease no here exactly to the point we are going to discuss how the theoretical question will be solved how the numerical question will be solved how both will be solved my dear you need not to worry about this how this uh, how this entropy is going to increase how this entropy will decrease if we are going to discuss the subject like this then again it will be just like a conventional subject in this case our purpose must be every theoretical question must be solved every numerical question must be solved when in the uh, tonight we are going to have 8 to 10 question or at least 4 to 5 question based on the entropy and second law of thermodynamic you will not feel any single problem in this part my dear entropy of a system define the measure of the degree of mo molecular randomness or the random existing in this higher is the randomness higher is the entropy sir from here करेक्ट 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 फ्रॉम हियर लेट मी ड्राइव द जनरल फॉर्मूला ऑफ द एंट्रोपी चेंज फॉर द रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस इन अ सिस्टम आइडिया फोकस ऑन दिस पार्ट वेरी वेल माई डियर सर फॉर द रिवर्सिबल केस एंट्रोपी ऑफ द सिस्टम इज गिवन बाई दिस एंट्रोपी ऑफ द सिस्टम इज गिवन बाई दिस इन दिस केस can you write the three case when del q will be positive can i say heat is supplied to the system then ds of the system will increase in the same case when heat will be rejected from the system then ds of the system will decrease at the same time when dq will be zero adiabatic process then ds my dear will be equal to zero good nahi wo main bata raha hu un sare points ko don't worry i am not going to discuss the numerical part now first of all i am going to try theoretical part listen all the theoretical part for next 5 minute sir in this case are we having the three important condition but my dear system is there and reversible process is there try to understand this system reversible process can i write in a system when the process is reversible any time anywhere whenever you want to increase the increase increase the entropy you can whenever you want to decrease the entropy you can whenever you want to put the entropy as a constant you can can i say in reversible process entropy of system system can we increase in reversible heat addition can we decrease in reversible heat rejection can be constant in adiabatic process similarly for the surrounding so can i write these Four star, three star point as a star. Entropy of the system can be increased, decreased, and be constant for reversible process. Put this point in mind for reversible process, my dear. Are you getting this point? For the reversible process, is it clear to all? Yes. Second, similarly. Entropy change of the surrounding will increase, decrease, or constant for reversible process, and all the uh, all the reversible adiabatic process are constant entropy or isentropic process. Sir, at the same time, let's go with irreversible process again in a system. In a system, sir, all theoretical process we are uh, all all theoretical questions we are dealing with, my dear. let's come to the point entropy change of a system in the reversible process will be given by it is where this delta s of the generation is my dear entropy generation
इज माई डियर पाथ फंक्शन इज माई डियर ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव सो इफ द हीट विल बी सप्लाई इन दिस केस फर्स्ट केस इफ डेल क्यू इर रिवर्सिबल इज पॉजिटिव माई डियर कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी डेल क्यू इज पॉजिटिव Entropy change of the system is greater than zero. What you are getting from here? We are getting a very wonderful concept from here that in the reversible process, heat supply will increase the entropy of the system. In the irreversible process, heat supply will also increase the entropy of the system. Good. After that, second, if the heat transfer is zero, my dear. then what is the change of entropy of the system system we are dealing with like heat engine like refrigerator like water my dear that is equal to positive so what we are getting in the reversible process heat supply will increase the entropy of the system heat uh, heat reject will decrease the entropy of the system but in this case my dear when in the irreversible process i'll write the value of del q is equal to negative this value is negative and this value is positive can you tell me the final answer in this case maybe anything can you write the final answer in this case it may be positive it may be negative or it may be zero or it may be zero my dear good so what you are getting from this irreversible process my dear friend what you are getting from the irreversible process in irreversible process heat supply will increase the entropy heat reject will decrease the process in reversible but in irreversible it may decrease it may constant it may increase depend upon the value right yes 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 after that we are coming on the entropy change of the entire universe my dear entropy change of the entire universe sir for the entire universe it is 100% example of adiabatic process or the insulated portion so entropy change of the universe will be equal to plus of entropy generation my dear so what is the entropy generation the same thing is the entropy change of the universe are you getting my point sometime it is asked with the name of entropy generation sometime it is asked with the entropy generation or entropy change of the universe my dear so in this case for the reversible process what is the entropy change of the universe answer zero because entropy generation is zero but for the irreversible process entropy generation of the universe is greater than 0 and if entropy generation or entropy change of universe is less than 0 what is the meaning of it impossible are you getting my point impossible my dear good so this is all about the universe and you need to think mohammad that universe and universe and system are the different thing thus it can be proved that entropy of an isolated system that is universe can never be decrease it increase in all the irreversible process it remain constant only during the reversible process it is not as the principle of increasing entropy or the entropy principle simple second law of thermodynamic is also known as law of degradation of energy means as the entropy of the system will increase then the energy or the quality of the energy will start to decrease my dear start to decrease in this case after that ts diagram of the system ts diagram of the system sir we have already study tds is equal to del q so can we write the value of the heat transfer it is the integration of tds 
can we write heat transfer will be equal to what is the answer can we write heat transfer will be equal to area of ts diagram area of the ts diagram will be the value of the heat transfer my dear yes or no area of ts diagram will be the numerical value of the heat transfer yes Combine first and second law of thermodynamic TDS is equal to du plus of PDV and my dear TDS is equal to dH minus of BDP. It is valid for reversible and irreversible process. irreversible process junaid you are late we have discussed even this portion I'll, I'll just utilize in the numerical portion don't worry slope what is the slope temperature in constant volume process what will be the answer in this case my dear can you write the answer We have written reverse. Ulta lik diya hai. Nain, it's correct. TYCP. Sir, this slope will be give you the idea. This slope will be the idea. Will give you the idea. Yes, yes. Muhammad. This slope will give you the idea. Whether it is the example of isobaric process or it is the example of isochoric process, my dear. But your concept of heat transfer, work transfer, and internal energy will give you the best idea that answer will be moved towards the right side or answer will be moved towards the left side. So here, when you combine two important things. One is the slope of the diagram, second temperature increasing, entropy increasing, temperature changing or entropy changing. These two concepts when you will combine, na, then you will draw the PV diagram on TS diagram very easily. I'll, I'll be having at least two to three question, Mohammed. Tonight related to the temperature and entropy diagram, conversion from PV diagram to TS diagram, conversion from TS diagram to PV diagram, but you will be able to give me the answer only when you are very well aware with the slope and you are very well aware with this diagram, my dear, this one, okay. After that, let's come to the point or to find the numerical value Till now you have discussed how the entropy will increase, how the entropy will decrease, how the entropy will be constant my dear. But after that most of the time in your gate exam, you get the change of entropy will be asked in the numerical term. Give me the answer change of the entropy of the universe. So when you want to find the change of entropy of the universe my dear, so change of the entropy of the universe can be given like this. Either change of the entropy of the system will be there and when the system will be there my dear, then in your system either it will be the example of the finite body or it is the example of the ideal gas and in the sink my dear or your surrounding either it is the example of the sink or the source my dear source let me write simple basic formula when it is the example of the finite body like this then temperature is going to change from ti to t final so can we write what is the change of entropy of the finite body can be written like this mc into ln t final divided by t initial my dear is it clear to all so first of all you recognize it my system is a finite body or infinite body finite means liquid or solid finite means liquid or solid my dear ideal gas you are aware with the ideal gas so after that if it is the ideal gas my dear then what will be the change of entropy if your ideal gas is changing like this from 1 to 2, 1 to 2, 
your ideal gas is changing like this thermodynamic properties are there what are the change of uh, what is the change of entropy of this can we write m c p ln t2 by t1 minus m r ln p2 by p1 is it or not s2 minus s1 m c v ln t2 by t1 plus of m r ln v2 by v1 all of you and s2 minus s1 can be written like m c v ln p2 by p1 plus of m c p ln v2 by v1 is it yes after that any of the three formula you can use any one formula when it is the question of ideal gas as a system after that it's a question of source source means that will reject the heat my dear at a temperature of q so can we write entropy change of the source and let me tell you my dear this is not only valid for the source this is valid for any condition when temperature remain constant like in the latent heating latent cooling this formula will be valid heat is transfer at a constant temperature formula will be valid so in any condition when heat is transferring in constant temperature and example of the infinite source infinite sink my dear this formula will be valid like in the sink when heat is supply in this case but temperature is not changing my dear with the temperature t2 the heat is supplying but the temperature is not going to change my dear answer will be plus q by t2 like this plus q by t like this my dear getting my point after that heat transfer through two finite temperature difference body what is the heat transfer a constant value of the heat is going to transfer from this to this then what will be the value of the entropy change sir finite body is there my dear finite body is there this one is the reserve between two finite difference not finite body two reservoir are there my dear so can we write the total change of entropy will be equal to change of entropy of one plus of change of entropy of b are you yes or no my dear because it is a reservoir can we apply the same concept change of entropy will be equal to minus q1 divided by t1 plus q1 divided by t2 can we write q is common that is equal to t2 t1 minus of t2 divided by t1 t2 this is the entropy change of entire universe this is the entropy change of entire universe mohammad few of you have asked the question in the starting to me sir how i'll know that heat is transferring between these two only because sir it is clearly mentioned that heat is going to transfer from this to this all other thing are purely insulated baki har cheez ko insulated kar diya hai heat is transferring from one point to another point then what is the change of entropy in this case my dear and if you feel that t1 is greater than t2 are you not feeling entropy change will be plus or minus please write the answer no 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 it is completely insulated pure everything is insulated my dear then how the air if air will be outside then how can you write that that heat will be will will, will not be transferred to the outside insulated means it is transferring from one source to second sink so in this case just try to feel what is this bracket term i mean t1 is clearly mentioned to us that t1 is greater than t2 my dear t1 in this case is clearly given to us that t1 is greater than t2 what is the bracket term plus or minus plus sir so in this case what is the temperature change or uh, entropy change of the universe that will be positive what you are getting from here we are getting from here that heat transfer in this case from 1 to 2 
is 100% example of highly irreversible process. What is the meaning of it? That heat can be transferred from higher temperature to lower temperature that is only possible. Other than this, it is not possible. It is not possible. It is not possible to flow the heat from T2 to T1 without doing anything. That is the natural convention which is going to tell you that heat transfer from higher temperature to lower temperature. It is the best example of the universe increasing entropy or the example of irreversible process. So, in the natural heat transfer that is the entropy generation in the system my dear. After that, if it is a proper mixing of the system my dear if it will be a proper mixing of the system then what will be the final temperature in this case what is the final temperature in this case my dear final temperature of the gas that can be written by if i write u final will be equal to u1 plus of u2 or that formula can be written by m1 c1 t1 plus of m2 c2 t2 divided by m1 c1 plus of m2 c2 similarly if i write if it is the insulated system then what will be the change of entropy entropy of universe my dear what is the change of entropy of the entire universe this change of the entropy can be written by change of entropy of system 1 plus change of entropy of system 2 because this is the example of two finite fluid. So, T1 is going to change till the temperature of T finite. T2 is going to change till the temperature of T finite. So, the change of entropy of the entire universe in this proper mixing can be written like this. Can be written like this. Next in a cycle in a cycle now think very carefully in a cycle my dear if i will write it is the example of the heat engine then what is the change of entropy of the entire universe sir from here you need to write the concept that will be very useful for the solution of all finite systems sir in this case what is the change of entropy <coughs> sorry what is the change of entropy can I write change of entropy of one? Change of entropy of the heat engine plus change of entropy of two. Is it clear to all? Please tell me the answer. Is it clear to all, my dear? Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Good change of entropy of the heat engine in a thermodynamic cycle my dear friend it will be zero so what will be the change of entropy of universe what is the change of entropy of the universe in this case is it or not after that if it is a reversible cycle, for the reversible cycle, my dear, can we write change of entropy of the universe that is also ds of the source plus ds of the sink, it will be equal to 0, my dear, because change of entropy is 0. So, if you are able to find the change of entropy this one, change of entropy this one, you will be able to solve the problem related to any cycle after that or irreversible cycle what is the change of entropy of universe if the cycle is irreversible ds of 1 plus ds of 2 that must be greater than 0 is it or not my dear are you yes or no so now are you not feeling the value of s1 and the value uh, value of temp entropy change in source 1 and sink 1 my dear will give you the best solution for all the finite body and all the infinite body for all the uh, source finite sink and all the infinite sink for example if it is the question of 
द फाइनाइट बॉडी फाइनाइट बॉडी मीन्स यू आर चेंजिंग द टेम्परेचर फ्रॉम हियर टी इनिशियल टू टी फाइनल माइडियर you are changing the temperature from t2 to t final my dear like this so in this case can we write from this finite body what is the change of entropy of one what is the change of entropy of two can we not write change of entropy maximum work means reversible cycle can we not write like this that is mc ln t final divided by t1 plus mc ln t final divided by t2 that will be written like zero can we write t final will be equal to under root of t1 t2 it is or not my dear if you want the maximum work extract from the finite body then their final temperature must be the geometrical mean of t1 and t2 आ रहा है ना कुछ अगर आपको मैक्सिमम वर्क एक्सट्रैक्ट करना है किसी भी एक फाइनाइट बॉडी से तो उसका जो ज्योमेट्रिकल टेम्परेचर का मीन आएगा वो उसका फाइनल टेम्परेचर होना चाहिए एट द टाइम माइडियर मैक्सिमम वर्क दैट कैन बी एक्सट्रैक्टेड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू अंडर रूड ऑफ टी वन माइनस अंडर रूड ऑफ टी टू एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू स्क्वायर एंड दिस विल बी एम MCP. This is the maximum work. This is not only the story of this one, my dear. If n n shores and sink are supplying and rejecting the temperature, very important point. supplying and rejecting the temperature my dear rejecting sorry heat then if you want the maximum temperature then my dear final temperature in this similar way will be equal to nth time of root t1 into t2 into t3 like this finite body temperature like if it is the heat engine my dear if this one is the heat engine and nth source and sink are working like this nth source and sink are working like this this one is the one source my dear this one is the second source this one is the third source this one is the sink or source like this 4 3 1 and 2 and if i will ask to you what is the final temperature at which they just stop the heat transfer at which they will just stop the heat transfer and in that case what you get the work done what is the final temperature so final temperature must be equal to fourth root of t1 t2 t3 and t4 that will be the final temperature at which this entire system will stop to heat supply and heat reject and at that time in this way you will get the maximum work done getting my point yes fourth root of t1 t2 t3 and t4 my dear similarly if this body is working with temperature t1 this body is working with temperature t2 my dear and after that this temperature become t3 then what should be the temperature of t final when you are just adding or you are just attaching the refrigerator in this case what will be the minimum work required in this case very important question i think uh, most of you are aware with this and most of you are not aware with it okay come back so in this case my dear simply ds of 1 will be equal uh, plus of ds of 2 it will be equal to 0 my dear answer mc ln t3 by t2 plus of mc ln t final divided by t1 it must be equal to 0 yes or no or t final divided by t1 
into T3 divided by T2, it must be equal to 1 or T final will be equal to T1, T2, initial temperature of both divided by final temperature of one reservoir that will be equal to total temperature of the final of the second reservoir. अगर एक रिजर्वायर का आपको टेम्परेचर इन केस ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेटर यू आर डीलिंग विद देन इन दैट केस माय डियर फाइनल टेम्परेचर ऑफ द हॉट टेम्परेचर बॉडी विल बी गिवन बाय दिस इफ द इनिशियल टेम्परेचर ऑफ बोथ इफ द इनिशियल टेम्परेचर लाइक टी वन इज इक्वल टू टी टू माई डियर इज इक्वल टू टी टू इट मीन्स यू आर रिजेक्टिंग द हीट फ्रॉम अ बॉडी of t2 temperature and that is supplied to the body of t1 temperature then in that case my dear final temperature will be equal to t1 square divided by t3 my dear this is the case of refrigerator when you want to reject the heat from the same source whenever you want to reject the heat from the same temperature body by using the heat pump my dear or the refrigerator in that condition your final temperature must be equal to t1 square divided by t3 yes entropy generation for the open system can be given by this entropy change of the control volume entropy change of the control volume can be given by total amount of entropy which is entering total amount of entropy which is leaving the system what is the change of entropy due to the addition of the heat and what is the entropy generation in the system my dear this is the total amount of the entropy or entropy balance in this open system entropy entry and entropy leaving the system generally like the internal energy due to the heat supply what is the change of entropy and entropy generation will be the entropy balance for this open system after that entropy change in the solid and liquid and gas generally which is having the higher randomness system that will have the higher entropy so solid is having the low randomness low entropy liquid little bit more gas maximum so entropy at the same temperature in gas is maximum liquid is lesser and my dear friend in case of solid it will be minimum third law of entropy tell you entropy of the perfect crystalline body at the absolute temperature absolute zero temperature is zero my dear this is the third law of entropy and after that entropy associated with work done whenever any part of the work is done to the system or on the system that is not associated with any entropy what is the meaning of it when you are doing the work in any condition that is not utilized to do any work like if you are going to take the example of the block that is moving in the upward direction then if you consider that block only that block is moving in the upward direction now then all the molecule of the block are moving in the upward direction that's why my dear entropy associated with that numerical work is equal to zero related to work is zero now now you can say sir in the thermodynamic system hum to bahut sari problem dekhte hain jisme work ho raha hai lekin entropy bhi bad rahi hoti hai yes so the portion that is only related to that work वो एंट्रोपी नहीं बढ़ा रहा बिकॉज योर थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रॉपर्टीज आर चेंजिंग दैट्स व्हाई एंट्रोपी इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज सो एंट्रोपी रिलेटेड टू द इलेक्ट्रिकल बायर इट इज डूइंग सम वर्क एंट्रोपी रिलेटेड टू द साफ्ट इट इज डूइंग द मैकेनिकल वर्क एंट्रोपी रिलेटेड टू द मूविंग द ब्लॉक इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन दैट इज नॉट एसोसिएटेड टू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज एनी काइंड ऑफ एंट्रोपी इफ इट इज अ फुल्ली रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस are you getting my point all mechanical electrical work are not associated with any kind of mechanical or any kind of entropy increment or decrement my dear whenever you are doing the soft work entropy zero change whenever you are doing the electrical work in the electrical wire then entropy change is zero whenever you are doing any other kind of work entropy change due to that kind of work is zero clear clear to you it is clear my dear carnot cycle is a reversible cycle to isothermal process to heat rejection and after that it is expansion and compression both are the reversible what are the isothermal process 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 6 to 8 to 
वन टू 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 थ्री थ्री टू फोर लाइक दिस वॉट इज द एंट्रोपी चेंज ऑफ कार नोट साइकिल वन माइनस टी टू डिवाइड बाई टी वन और वन माइनस टी लोअर डिवाइडेड बाई टी हाई दिस इज द वेरी बेसिक फॉर्मूला ऑफ कार नोट साइकिल यू ऑलरेडी ड्राइव फॉर द रिवर्सिबल इंजन सो इट्स नॉट अ न्यू थिंग अगर कुछ नई चीज है इसमें तो डेफिनेटली दैट इज द मॉडिफिकेशन इन द एंट्रोपी और मॉडिफिकेशन इन द एफिशिएंसी विद रेस्पेक्ट टू लोअर एंड हायर टेम्परेचर सर इफ आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज द हायर एंड लोअर टेम्परेचर इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो सर दिस इज द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द कार नोट साइकिल वॉट इज इट वन माइनस टी लोअर डिवाइडेड बाई टी हायर If you want to check which method will be more efficient for you, can you please tell me, sir? Right now you are having two method. One, one, changing the lower temperature. एक तो ये method हो गया. Changing the lower temperature, my dear. एक तो ये method है. Second method is changing the upper temperature or the higher temperature. Which one will be good for you? Changing higher temperature, my dear. What do you think is good for us? Higher or lower temperature? What do you think, sir? If I will change the lower temperature, then rate of change of entropy uh, efficiency with respect to temperature it will be given by one divided by T H, my dear. If I will change, if I will change the higher temperature, then rate of change of entropy uh, efficiency with respect to higher uh, higher temperature. it can be written like now you need to think which one is better for you you want to decrease the lower temperature it will be good for you you want to increase the higher temperature it will be good for you what temperature you want to change it means what numerical value will give you the more change that will be the best method for you please tell me the answer what numerical value will give you the more change decreasing the lower temperature or increasing the upper temperature what do you really think okay if you want to see the graph these are the graph these are the graph of the entire problem my dear try to feel it in this case this is the efficiency versus t lower in this case this is the efficiency versus t higher sir if you change the fixed magnitude if you really change the fixed magnitude like this then how much efficiency is changing in this case and if you are changing the same value of the fixed one then which will change the more efficiency you need to check yes lowering will change the more efficiency now yes if you want to change yes so let me tell you lowering the temperature will give you the more effective so if the question will be asked which is the most or the fundamental way to increase or to uh, change the efficiency with the high rate then decreasing the lower temperature is the best idea after that three important theorem are there related to carnot cycle msq question may be asked from this theorem all the engine operating given temperature sink and source none has the higher efficiency than reversible efficiency of any irreversible reversible heat engine operating between two reservoir is independent and efficiency of all the reversible heat engine working on the reservoir fixed temperature will have the fixed efficiency like this good very good now why carnot cycle is not possible we know very well to adiabatic and to isothermal process are very slow and very fast process it is near to impossible to have both the process together and second it is impossible to perform frictionless quasi static process my dear or simply you can say reversible process is near to impossible process after that let's come to the available and unavailable energy my dear ye part sahi se dekhna available and unavailable energy sir maximum work done achieve in this case is non edge available energy that can be written by q into 1 minus t 0 divided by t 
So in this case, available energy, I can simply write like this, that Q1 heat supply minus of T0, ds of the system. Try to understand this point. This is the ds of the system, my dear. So we are having two formula. This is the general formula of the available energy and this will be valid when source and sink are the thermal reservoir. If you want to understand the same concept, let me show you the same concept. But first of all, let me write the unavailable energy, my dear. This will be the value of ds of the system, not universe, ds of the system. It is not a universe, my dear. So in this case, let me tell you what is the difference. In this case, my dear, in this case, when source and sink, or simple, you can say the example of Carnot cycle. So in this case, for this case, my dear, if you write the available energy like Q1 minus of T, zero ds of the system, that or you will write like this Q1, my dear, 1 minus T0 divided by T1, this will give you the same result in this case. Okay, Q1, Q1, Q1 is the system, system my dear, okay, Q1 is the system, but in this case, when the heat is rejecting from the system my dear, temperature is changing like this, it is going to convert it to do the mechanical work, in this case my dear, available energy will be only valid, what is the heat is Supply from the source, system, minus of T0, what is the ds of the system, my dear? In this case, what is the change of entropy of the system? Let me tell you, sir, if this one is a system like this, okay, temperature is T1 and this is rejecting the heat like Q1, then if it is utilized the heat engine and this is the surrounding temperature where it is rejecting like this. So the available energy from here my dear, it will be given by available energy that will be given by this. So original formula of the available energy let me tell you that is Q1 minus T0 of ds but this is just a special case when source and sink both are the infinite body, both are my dear reservoir. Getting my point? Jab dono reservoir honge, then this formula will be valid. Unavailable energy. Is it clear to all? This is very clearly mentioned in this question that available energy is related to entropy change of system, not universe. Maximum time you make the mistake like this. Maximum number of time you make the mistake like this. That available energy you take with the concept of surrounding or the universe. No, it is purely, purely related to the system idea. After that, if I write the increment of the system, then this is the increment of the system. And that can be clearly written in this case that again, the increment in unavailable energy, it will be equal to, sir, this one is the loss. So can we not write? This loss will be equal to T0 atmosphere. What is the change of entropy at uh, lower temperature? That is TDS. And what is the change of temperature uh, entropy at higher temperature? That is DS. This is the increment in the unavailable energy or the decrement in the available energy. Yes. BAR system to bohat aage abhi. Yes. So, according to first law of thermodynamic, thermal energy at the lower and higher temperature is having the equally weight is my dear. Having the equally weight is no meaning of this, but according to second law of thermodynamic, thermal energy has the greater significance as compared to the lower temperature because thermal energy at high temperature is capable to do the more work 
that's why the second law of thermodynamic is also 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 known as qualitative law इसीलिए आप सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक को क्वालिटेटिव लॉ भी बोलते हो आफ्टर दैट अवेलेबिलिटी क्या है सर अवेलेबिलिटी इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द आइडिया व्हाट अमाउंट ऑफ मैक्सिमम यूजफुल वर्क यू कैन डू व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू रिलेट टू अ टू अ डेड स्टेट और द इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट अवेलेबिलिटी इज नथिंग बट इट इज द स्टेट फंक्शन दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द आइडिया वॉट वर्क विल बी डन बाई दैट सिस्टम वेन दैट स्टेट विल चेंज टू द डेड स्टेट सो अवेलेबल एनर्जी इज अचीव इट आउटपुट फ्रॉम अ थर्मोडाइनमिक साइकिल अवेलेबिलिटी इज ओनली वैलिड फॉर अ प्रोसेस माई डियर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट अवेलेबिलिटी सिर्फ प्रोसेस के लिए वैलिड है वेन दिस come in the equilibrium condition for the atmospheric condition so in this case availability phi for the open system or work useful can be written from here can be written from here that will be equal to phi 1 minus of phi 2 that is valid for the availability to availability function phi 1 and phi 2 are the availability function at two state availability function at two state like phi 1 if i want to write that will be equal to u plus of pv minus of t0s so in this case work useful can be written as my dear what will be the work useful from availability function this can be written by what is the value this can be written by u1 plus of p0v1 minus of t0s1 that is the availability function at 1 when you move from state 1 to state 2 that will be the availability function at 2 my dear v2 minus of t0 into s2 after that similarly what is the availability function of open system that will be equal to h minus of t0 s or the work useful will be equal to h1 minus of t0 s1 minus of h2 minus of t0 s2 this is the availability function or open system at the same time if we write the irreversibility that is the difference between the ideal work and actual work and this difference is only due to and this is only due to the irreversibility my dear that is generating from universe entropy change and we know very well that entropy of universe changing is nothing but that is the entropy generation so irreversibility can also be given by entropy change of the universe so irreversibility irreversibility means loss of amount of the work done in any thermodynamic process loss of amount of the work done in any thermodynamic process my dear it can be written by Thank you, Anu. Okay, it can be written by change of entropy of the universe or the entropy generation. So here you need to feel the difference. What is the difference between the available energy or between the irreversibility? Generally, availability or the available energy is that part of the heat engine or any system. Available energy is that part of the heat. which can be converted into the mechanical work done and you know very well because uh, heat is having some entropy in the heat there is always some entropy so that entropy part can not be converted into the mechanical work due to the randomness so if i will remove that randomness part what pure form of the energy will be left that will be the available energy now what is the irreversibility irreversibility means ideally i know the maximum work can be achieved either in cycle or in a process yes but actual work will be always 100% different from the ideal work so definitely what work i am not going to convert into the useful work into the available work 
that can be but due to the friction i am not able to convert that work this part is known as uh, is, is known as irreversibility and that is going to increase the randomness of the entire universe wahi part hai jo energy conversion ke time mein total amount of the heat or the useful work is not achieved due to the friction and that loss of the friction is going to contributing to uh, to entropy of the entire universe my dear jo pure universe ki entropy badha raha hai getting my point good after that exergy <coughs> exergy is nothing but it is the availability or exergy is maximum useful work obtained from the system as it reaches to the dead state sir value of the exergy can never be negative negative because if it is a dead state let me tell you if your system is here if your system is here then naturally your system will try to approach the dead state dead state yes 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 i am coming manas naturally your system is coming on the dead state so the value of the exergy will never be negative most important question for the objective my dear uh, for the for the msq question value of exergy can never be negative means if i am on the fourth floor if i'll be on the seventh floor then my exergy will be always positive it will not be negative reason in any position you are there you are having some capability to do the work if you are other than the dead state if you are a dead state then your exergy is zero not negative my dear getting now in actual process you know very well that total amount of the energy is not going to convert it into the mechanical work it means every time whenever whenever you are going to conduct any process your exergy is going to deteriorate your exergy is going to decrease so your exergy is going to decrease after any process but again it is not negative let me tell you today any system or the exergy of of the entire universe just for example is 1000 my dear today after a process after a process exergy of the entire universe is 99 and uh, exergy decrease or increase my dear exergy after the process it is decrease or dec increase definitely it is decrease huh? it is decreasing so try to understand what is the meaning of this exergy decreasing every second and what is the meaning of exergy can never be negative meaning is that if the exergy is 1000 after each and every process exergy will decrease but it may not be less than it may not less than zero my dear zero se kam nahi hoga aur agar zero se kam nahi hoga to definitely it will be positive so exergy will be positive yes give me one minute only ek minute do mujhe let me check why it is buffering is there the problem from my side can you please uh, write the answer my dear can you please write the answer is it the problem from my side aap chai bhai pi aao itne agar aap log thak gaye ho to chai pi lo you take uh, you take your tea break right just give me one minute take two minute break and after that we are starting my dear thermodynamic relation very important topic thermodynamic relation we are going to discuss it's a very important topic for all of you most of you are going to leave this topic are not going to cover this topic for the exam but again this one is one of the easiest topic for all of you guys so don't skip this topic hardly in next uh 10 to 15 minute my dear we definitely cover this topic you need not to worry but first of all you tell me is buffering is okay or not how it is buffering you say is it okay now all good now all good yes 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 you just write in the comment section is everything fine my dear
no buffering good yes uh, junaid have asked a very important question i'll come to the junaid part first of all let me discuss this point by the way first question is sir if uh, someone of you have asked sir if this one is the dead state okay dead state atmospheric condition and right now if i am somewhere here my system is somewhere here then definitely the exergy will be positive my dear and if my system is somewhere here means lesser than this state then my exergy should be negative kisi ne ye pucha hai abhi kisi ne ye pucha abhi question yes what will happen when it will be below the dead state so my dear let me tell you what is the uh, meaning of the exergy whenever you are at any place then if your system is approaching to the dead state without any external work done and during this approaching of the system to that dead state what work you are doing my dear or what is the capability to do the work in that case that is known as exergy so naturally if your system is approaching the dead state from any other state you can say that exergy of that system is positive but if the reverse is possible now then in that case you can simply say exergy of that system is negative my dear get in my point exergy of that system is negative so my point is this if you are above the dead state then definitely your system will approach to the dead state agree or not but if you are below the dead state means if atmospheric temperature is 27 degree centigrade but your body temperature is minus 27 degree and not your body to tumhe to pata nahi kya ho jayega i mean your system temperature is minus 20 degree centigrade and if you will just leave the system in the open atmosphere are you not feeling your system will automatically reach on 0 degree centigrade yes or no and if you will if you will utilize that energy because it is just going to approach the dead state if you will utilize that energy my dear then definitely it will be utilized to do some work that is the exergy when your thermodynamic system is approaching to the dead state in that condition what energy can be utilized to do the useful mechanical work that is the exergy that is the point so either you are above the dead state you are lower the dead state my dear in both the condition you are going to approach the dead state that's why you say exergy either above the dead state or below the dead state that will be definitely positive so exergy can decrease can never be negative my dear minus nahi ho sakta the minimum value of the exergy you can say it will be zero my dear it cannot be negative it is clear to all is it clear to everyone my dear what is the meaning of the exergy is it the minimum value of the exergy you can write zero it is not be negative right good after all the process sir uh there is one question from someone of you sir what is the rep, uh, what is the relation between the available energy availability and after that my dear uh, uh, what you have written irreversibility let me define this someone of you are asking sir okay let me write first of all sir in that system you are going to supply the heat you are going to supply the heat in that particular system my dear okay kisne question pucha tha ye yes after that you know very well from this heat if you are going to use the most efficient process or the cycle that can not be total heat cannot be converted into the mechanical work what amount of the heat can be converted into the mechanical work that is the available work my dear available energy available energy means work done extract from the thermodynamic system is known as available energy but again if you will see this useful work that is the extraction of the work done extraction of the work done from the heat but when this work can be reduced 
y p0 db my dear that is the w useful or my dear you can say availability are you getting my point or the availability or the availability and from this availability these all are the ideal thing means useful work available energy availability in this case there is no loss there is no loss of the friction my dear of the irreversibility my dear like in this heat let me tell you if 100 part is going to supply then some is wasted to the atmosphere this is only 70 part is going to supply from this 70 part my dear again 20 part will be somewhere like the atmosphere because you are doing some work against the atmosphere that's why some work is consumed in the atmosphere so ideally you are just having this useful work that is equal to 50 my dear but let me tell you honestly these all work whatever you are getting from this 100 kilojoule of energy that is just without considering the friction are you not feeling in every consideration my dear friction will be there are yes or no in every consideration friction will be there my dear is it or not so when you consider the friction then my dear your actual work will be equal to what ideal work you have written minus of irreversibility due to this one it will be the friction is it clear to all it will be the actual work we are getting so this is just a way to move from the total amount of the heat transfer to the actual work done total heat transfer say actual work tak jane ka ye ek rasta hai my dear clear after that let's discuss the maxwell relation sir four maxwell relation are given to us four maxwell relation are given to us three and four very important topic you should be there next for 30 minutes in next 30 minutes our topic will be over my dear yes sir now after that there is also one last chapter that is the pure substance and gas mixture but again it's a very small chapter don't worry sir in this case maxwell relation you have to mug up i can tell you only the one point how you will mug up this one temperature is differentiated with the volume temperature it differentiated with the pressure entropy is uh, differentiated with the with the with the pressure and entropy is differentiated with the volume sir if you can mug up it is okay but otherwise i am going to tell you the way you can just recognize there are a lot of way some uh, one of uh, the faculty some faculty can tell you tapasvi there are some formula but generally i suggest to you there is only मतलब ऐसा नहीं आपने जो याद किया हुआ आप उसको फॉलो करो बट माई वे टू रिकॉग्न रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला सिंपल पॉइंट इज देयर सर टेम्परेचर इज डिफरेंशिएटेड बाई वॉल्यूम टेम्परेचर इज डिफरेंशिएटेड बाई प्रेशर देन एंट्रोपी इज डिफरेंशिएट बाई प्रेशर एंड एंट्रोपी इज डिफरेंशिएट बाई वॉल्यूम सिंपल द मैक्सिमल रिलेशन इज डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ द टेम्परेचर विद रेस्पेक्ट टू बिकॉज 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 टेम्परेचर इज द फंक्शन ऑफ वॉल्यूम एंड प्रेशर यस entropy is a function of uh, pressure and volume or the volume and pressure so again in the same way i am doing the differentiate temperature with pressure temperature with uh, volume like two equation when temperature is differentiated entropy constant when temperature is differentiated entropy constant when entropy differentiated temperature constant when entropy differentiated temperature constant sir all of you i want the answer from here up to this any one of you feeling in this four equation because this these four line you need to recognize after that you are not going to follow you need not to follow anything my dear yes please sir temperature with volume temperature with pressure entropy with pressure and entropy with volume my dear yes like this temperature with volume pressure then entropy with pressure volume up to this is everything clear tell me the answer everything temperature is differentiated with volume then pressure entropy differentiated with pressure then volume temperature volume pressure pressure volume okay good after that after that yes in the next line you will get the answer of all the equation my dear let me define the sign convention 
माइनस प्लस माइनस प्लस साइन कन्वेंशन आफ्टर दैट सर दिस डिनोमिनेटर रिवर्स ऑफ दिस डिनोमिनेटर मींस रिवर्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम प्रेशर विल बी न्यूमरेटर रिवर्स ऑफ दिस डिनोमिनेटर वॉल्यूम रिवर्स ऑफ दिस डिनोमिनेटर वॉल्यूम एंड रिवर्स ऑफ दिस डिनोमिनेटर प्रेशर माई डियर इट इज क्लियर it is clear in all the equation then in the denominator my dear this constant become differentiation this differentiation become constant this differentiation become constant and this constant become differentiation differentiation and constant differentiation and constant all the four maxwell equation clear all the four maxwell equation are there my dear clear to all any doubt if you are feeling feel free to ask otherwise all four maxwell equation we have derived here good after that first tds equation second tds equation may or may not be asked my dear not a important point after that most important point is change of the enthalpy and for an ideal gas my dear for an ideal gas let me tell you let me write here du will be equal to cv into dt because all other term become zero in this case my dear after that for an ideal gas this is the change of the enthalpy for an ideal gas ideal gas this dh will be equal to cp into dt like this and after that <coughs> very important relation cp minus cv is given by this cp minus cv is given by this if i will write the important point then at the absolute temperature my dear at absolute temperature that is t is equal to 0 then cp will be equal to c like this after that my dear at critical point at critical point let me tell you this slope is also zero at the critical point then my dear cp is also equal to cv and for an ideal gas cp minus cv will be equal to r in this case okay next coefficient of volume expansion is given by this relation coefficient of isothermal compressibility is given by this relation when you follow these all the equation and you substitute in the value then cp minus cv can be given by tv beta square upon kt square sir in this case you need not to solve lot of problem what relation i am going to tell you you need to mug up these all the relation you will be able to find the uh, you will be able to solve the problem related to this okay after that जूल थॉमसन कोफिशेंट माई डियर द स्लोप ऑफ द ऑफ टीपी डायग्राम इन द आइसेंथेल्पिक प्रोसेस इज नॉन एज जूल थॉमसन कोफिशेंट दिस डी टी ओवर डी पी इन द आइसेंथेल्पिक प्रोसेस कैन बी रिटर्न एज जूल थॉमसन कोफिशेंट म्यू इन दिस केस माई डियर आफ्टर दैट इफ आई सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी टी ओवर डी पी बाई कंसिडरिंग द एंथेल्पी कॉन्स्टेंट इट कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस बट फॉर द for ideal gas ideal gas my dear temperature dv over dt in pressure minus of volume become zero so the mu or dt over dp in this joule thomson coefficient become zero like this so the slope of this joule thomson coefficient diagram or the pt diagram in this case will be zero my dear if it is the condition of an ideal gas key point for the joule thomson coefficient joule thomson coefficient is positive in the cooling region joule thomson coefficient is negative in the cooling region no 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 negative in heating region joule thomson coefficient is zero at the inversion curve and the point For the ideal coefficient or ideal ideal gas, Joule-Thomson coefficient is zero, so there is no cooling or heating process in the throttling process. When it is the example of 
of, of an ideal gas, my dear. So these are the theoretical important points. Let me tell you, sometimes questions are asked on the basis of this question, my dear. On this relation, question may ask, Joule Thomson coefficient, like volume is the function of A plus of Vt. When temperature is changing like this, and if the temperature is changing from this point to this point, then what will be the value of Joule Thomson coefficient? Question is asked related to this one, not in gate exam, but in few other exams. So you need to follow this relation, my dear. Let me tell you from basic thermodynamic, kuch question aapko aise dekhne ko milenge, which are based on the differentiating the equation. Jo aapne dekha hi nahi hoga. Thoda sa isse aware raho. After that, Clausius Clapeyron equation. There are two important Clausius Clapeyron equation to find the relationship between the temperature and the volume. Kab, my dear? In the isentropic process, this is the Clausius Clapeyron equation. Most of the time, question is already there from here. So, I need not to tell you how will you solve this question. Tonight, I am going to have one important question related to this one, my dear, related to this slope, my dear. After that, the last topic we are going to discuss the pure substance. A pure substance or a substance will be known as the pure substance when it is the homogeneous in chemical composition, when it is homogeneous in chemical aggregation. So, what is the meaning of this? Let's try to understand homogeneous in chemical composition. What is the meaning of this? Timing midnight, uh, 11.55. Okay. Homogeneous in chemical composition, what is the meaning of this? That throughout the temperature from 10 degree, 20, 1000, 2000, the chemical composition is not going to change. H2O will be the H2O, my dear. Either it will be vapor, it will be ice, it will be anything. But again, H2O is not going to change. That is the homogeneous in chemical composition and bonding is not breaking. That is known as chemical uh, aggregation, my dear. If I draw the PV and TS diagram of this entire problem. So, in this case, let me tell you, this is what you are telling Sir, first of all, this entire dome, my dear, this, this entire dome is going to tell you the behavior of saturated liquid line and this entire dome, my dear, is going to tell you the behavior of saturated vapor line. So, these are the locus of locus of saturated liquid point and saturated vapor point at the different different property huh. yes you must ask one important question sir in the pure substance why we draw lot of diagrams itne diagram kyun draw karte hain okay 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 uh, avm uh, in actual condition, let me tell you, I think you have not starting wala portion nahi kiya hoga. But in the starting, I have told you how these all the PV diagram and TS diagram are drawn in the in the uh, in the in the cycle or my dear process. Okay. So, what is the requirement to draw? What is the requirement to draw these all the process? You must know first of all. Sir, to requirement or to to draw this process, ultimate aim is you want the behavior of your working medium on this diagram like if the isobaric process is there so what is the initial and final condition of the isobaric process you will not get a clear cut idea from it are you getting my point you will not get the clear cut idea from it because iso, uh, uh, isobaric or isochoric process can be given like this so for that one PV diagram is the best appropriate solution to know the final state of the process when you are going to conduct the process in the pure substance, my dear. Are you getting my point? Whenever isothermal is there, then it will give you the best idea to represent the isothermal process. Are you getting or not? Because isothermal can be represented by this. Isentropic perfectly can be represented by this. So, which property diagram you want you draw the same property like hs diagram ph diagram when the throttling process you want to represent then isenthalpic process or the ph process will be the best solution for you if i will draw the ph diagram like this my dear this one is the ph diagram from here it is the throttling process one to two and two is the isenthalpic process so from this diagram you will get the clear-cut idea sir 
फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज द सैचुरेटेड लिक्विड पॉइंट बट टू पॉइंट इज द सैचुरेटेड वेपर बैड वेपर पॉइंट सो इन दिस केस आई हैव गॉट द आइडिया कि फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस व्हेन आई व्हेन आई हैव कंडक्टेड द थ्रोटलिंग प्रोसेस देन इनिशियली इट वाज मेंटेन एट द सैचुरेटेड लिक्विड पॉइंट एंड फाइनली इट इज मेंटेन एट सैचुरेटेड वेपर पॉइंट दैट्स व्हाई वी विल गेट द आईडिया दैट इन द टू पॉइंट देयर विल बी अ कंडीशन ऑफ द ड्राइनेस फ्रिक्शन बट इन द वन पॉइंट देयर विल बी अ कंडीशन ऑफ सैचुरेटेड लिक्विड माय डियर आर यू फीलिंग दिस पॉइंट that's why we draw lot of diagram so that the actual behavior of an individual process you can represent which property is constant in that process are you getting this point like if you want to represent the adiabatic process where you want to represent adiabatic process must be represent on the th dom that will give you the proper idea my dear clear to all good then from here we are getting few important reason my dear in this case like this is known as wet region wet vapor this is known as subcooled region this is known as superheated region my dear superheated vapor so from here so from here wet vapor my dear there are two important phase that is the liquid and vapor critical point p of critical will be 220.8 and pt of critical 374.14 saturated curve when meet with each other so the water the critical point is given to us after that what is the dryness fraction very important point dryness fraction my dear is the mass of vapor divided by mass of liquid to the mass of vapor generally there are few important point related to the mass of vapor and mass of the liquid sir at the saturated liquid line mass of vapor is zero that's why dryness fraction x is equal to zero my dear at this point after that at saturated vapor line my dear mass of liquid is zero that's why x is equal to 1 and all the dryness fraction line converge at this critical point my dear so when you move in this way dryness fraction is increasing solid percentage is uh, sorry liquid percentage is decreasing vapor percentage is increasing in this region only between this liquid and vapor region my dear i am having the dryness fraction i am not having the superheating or the bad vapor region my dear so in this case sir what is the main problem what is the main question will come from here related to this one my dear question are not directly coming from here question will come indirectly from here that in this case my dear question may be asked from here in the topic of rankine cycle question may also be asked from here in the topic of uh, this this uh, refrigeration so in this case or the cyclomatic my dear so in this case we can directly write or how will you find the enthalpy or the entropy in the different different condition my dear like if i want to find a specific enthalpy and entropy in that condition these are the most important point you need to know saturated liquid point if i want to know what is the entropy and enthalpy my dear that will be equal to sf at a given pressure how will you given pressure and if i want to know s4 s4 my dear this one saturated vapor that will be the value of sg at a given pressure but at the given pressure where you will find from here that will be from the steam table is it or not that will be from the steam table my dear here we are dealing with liquid only so it will be equal to h1 will be equal to hf my dear similarly what is the value of s2 s2 not s2 s4 saturated vapor point what will be the enthalpy of this point or entropy this point you will write sg or h4 will be equal to hg my dear generally it will be given at a given pressure line what is this pressure line and generally it can be given at a given pressure line my dear this will be given in the steam table and generally in, in your gate exam steam table is not given the data which is required from the steam table already it is given to us after that bad vapor region bad vapor means here my dear somewhere here so in the bad vapor region can we write entropy 
that is entropy of three point it will be equal to sf plus of x into s g minus of sf it can also be written as sf plus of x into sf g it can also be written as f x plus of x entropy change in bad vapor region that is the latent heat divided by t saturated my dear these all are the formula of bad vapor region all are the formula of bad vapor region but how will you know this aapko pata hona chahiye ki my working medium is right now in the bad vapor region you can't apply this formula anywhere similarly what is the value of h3 my dear that is the value of hf at a given pressure already known to us and this is ht minus of hf it will be equal to hf plus of x hfg and hfg is also known as latent heat my dear so it will be equal to hf plus of x into latent heat so any of the formula with numerical value is given to us you can use any of the formula in this condition my dear in the bad vapor region after that let's see what will be the equation for the superheated region if your working medium is available in the superheated region what will be the entropy entropy will be equal to s3 plus of cp into ln t superheated divided by t saturated similarly s3 or not s3 s5 h5 and this is h5 hg plus of cp t superheated minus of t saturated my dear and after that if you write in sub cooled region that is the last one a specific volume yes you can write uh, the same formula we are going to write if you want the specific volume my dear then in this case because i so uh, this v5 will be equal to uh, vg t superheated divided by t saturated clear superheated region clear to you okay bad region you are asking the same for <clears throat> okay sub cooled region enthalpy it is a five number or what what is this number two number two number hf minus cp t set minus of t sub cooled region s2 sf minus of cp ln t set by t sub cooled region like this and v2 will be approximate equal to vf because in the liquid my dear volume does not change shrut liquid mein volume change nahi hota hai after that let's discuss the next important point let's discuss the next important point molier chart generally hs diagram is known as molier chart my dear this is the critical point the enthalpy changing like this these are non edge constant pressure process these are non edge constant pressure process and in this case my dear if you want to know the slope slope of this hs diagram in isobaric process is equal to temperature is equal to temperature temperature is the slope of the isobaric process this is also the important question for molier chart in the msq my dear msq mein bahut important question hai ye molier chart se related okay after that gibbs phase rule c plus 2 is equal to f plus s where c is the number of component f is the degree of freedom my dear degree of freedom of intensive property only okay of intensive property only not for anything and this p is the number of phase my dear 
in that equilibrium condition number of phase in equilibrium in the pure substance number of phase in equilibrium condition my dear condition <clears throat> want to apply sorry yes degree of freedom at a triple point what is the degree of freedom at triple point zero degree of freedom in wet vapor region wet vapor region how many phase are there my dear two how many component are there only one if i'll write then c plus two it will be equal to p plus f so in this case can i write what is this c is equal to one plus two and phase r two f is equal to this can we write degree of freedom in this case will be equal to one only one parameter is required in the bat vapor region bat vapor region my dear either you are having the degree of freedom like pressure if you define then temperature is already ready or defined if you are going to define the temperature then pressure is already decided pre-decide my dear and at the triple point yes degree of freedom is zero because phase total number of three phase are there component is one so if i'll write one plus two will be equal to three plus of f so in this case freedom will be equal to zero what is the meaning of this all the intensive property at the triple point is fixed whenever you will draw the diagram about any intensive property pressure and temperature my dear they will make a point wo ek point banayenge aur wo point aapko yahan pe nazar aa raha hoga so if you will draw any diagram between the intensive property my dear then this will make a point and degree of freedom between two points will be equal to zero triple point is a point on pt diagram because both are the intensive property if it is a line then it will be the pv diagram means one extensive if it is intensive intensive property my dear then definitely it's a point one intensive and extensive property definitely it is a line and extensive extensive density definitely it is a triangle my dear and if i will define the numerical value of the triple point then at the triple point pressure is 0.6 kilo pascal and temperature is 273.16 kelvin after that real gas equation at the very high temperature and very low pressure my dear gas behave like a perfect gas at the very high pressure real gas does not behave like a ideal gas or the perfect gas ye bahut important point hai aap bahut high temperature jab le jate ho at that time ya bahut low temperature pe pressure pe baat kar rahe ho then all the gas behave like an ideal or perfect gas but at a very high pressurized gas gas will not behave like this gas will not behave like this wonder wall gas real gas uh, ideal gas sorry in this case my dear there are two equation of von der waal let me tell you one is p plus a divided by v into v minus v is equal to rt in this case the b value whatever you have written write this point very clearly my dear that in this case v is equal to a specific volume biggest mistake what you do in this case the v is in the term of specific volume not in the term of total volume and this is generally is written in meter cube per kg my dear one more equation is there that will be written by p plus a divided by v var square into my dear v var minus of v is equal to r var t is equal to r var t in molar specific volume molar specific volume my dear that is given by meter cube per kilo mole that will be given by meter cube per kilo mole my dear its unit is meter cube 
पर किलोमोल रेडी हो जाओ इस क्वेश्चन को आज रात को पूछूंगा मैं क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट रिलेटेड टू दिस वन इन दैट कंडीशन यू नीड टू फाइव ऑलरेडी जस्ट टोल्ड यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन जो डिफिकल्ट है वही क्वेश्चन रात को अपन रखेंगे जो जनरल क्वेश्चन है उनको डिस्कस ही नहीं करने जो बहुत सीधे क्वेश्चन है बहुत जनरल क्वेश्चन है वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू हैव दैट क्वेश्चन हार्डली पंद्रह क्वेश्चन ही करो आप लेकिन पंद्रह क्वेश्चन ऐसे करो जो आपने डिस्कस ही नहीं किया अभी तक जो आपने सॉल्व भी नहीं किए वन क्वेश्चन लेट मी टेल यू इन एडवांस वन क्वेश्चन विल बी रिलेटेड टू वन डबल वन क्वेश्चन विल बी रिलेटेड टू द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर वन क्वेश्चन विल बी रिलेटेड टू दिस क्लॉसियस क्लैप्रॉन इक्वेशन ऐसे ऐसे क्वेश्चन रखो यस A and B both are the constant, my dear. A and B are the constant. So generally, there are two equation of the Van der Waal. One equation in the kg or the mass. Second equation in the molar term, my dear. You need to focus which the value of A is given to us. When the value of A and B are given in the term of, or you are going to feel somewhere. the unit of a and b in the kilomole somewhere in the term of kilomole you need to understand 100% it is the it is the equation that will be utilized that is given in the molar term not in the simple van der waal equation my dear okay after that real gas equation there is also one more equation we have introduced based on the compressibility factor my dear generally pv can be given by somewhere like this pv is equal to rt rt or it can also be written by p divided by rho rt at a given pressure at a given pressure if the value of z is very very high value of z is high my dear what is the meaning if value of z is high then definitely pressure is very high is it or not it is only the possibility pressure is very high yes exactly yes avm pressure is high so if the compressibility is high can you please tell me for high compressibility it will be easy to compress the air or it is difficult to compress the air for high compressibility for high compressibility factor tell me the answer that is z it is easy to difficult uh, is it easy no 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 yes difficult so can i write gas is less compressible if it is difficult to compress then definitely it is not a compressible gas okay i think my camera is off na कैमरा भी थक चुका है जस्ट अ मिनट कैमरा ऑफ हो गया ना जस्ट अ मिनट यस कैमरा भी थक चुका है ओके कम बैक द पॉइंट सो द गैस इज लेस कंप्रेसिबल इन दिस केस माय डियर एंड इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ जेड इज लेस ना वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड इज लेस देन गैस इज मोर कंप्रेसिबल मोर कंप्रेसिबल इन दिस केस more compressible in this case after that gas mixture when the lot of gas are mixed in this combination my dear when the lot of gas are mixed in this combination can we write our equivalent will be equal to can any one of you sir can we write like this m1 r1 plus of m2 r2 plus of m3 r3 divided by m1 plus of m2 plus of m3 is it or not that is the equivalent value of the r1 similarly can i write the equivalent value of the cp can be given by m1 cp1 m2 cp2 
एम थ्री सीपी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस ऑफ एम टू प्लस ऑफ एम थ्री आई थिंक आई शुड नॉट राइट फॉर द सी बी इक्वेलेंट ऑल्सो यू कैन इजिली राइट एम वन सी वन सी बी वन एम टू सी सी बी टू एम थ्री सी बी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस ऑफ एम टू प्लस ऑफ एम थ्री यस ऑलरेडी वी हैव रिटर्न फॉर द स्पेसिफिक हीट इन दिस केस सर द टोटल इंटरनल एनर्जी लेट मी राइट ऑल्सो टोटल इंटरनल एनर्जी एनर्जी दैट इज यू विल बी इक्वल टू यू वन प्लस ऑफ यू टू प्लस ऑफ यू थ्री लाइक दिस टोटल एंथेल्पी बिकॉज टेम्परेचर इज सेम ना टोटल एंथेल्पी दैट इज एच विल बी इक्वल टू एच वन प्लस ऑफ एच टू प्लस ऑफ एच थ्री माइडिया एंड द टोटल प्रेशर विल बी इक्वल टू पी वन प्लस ऑफ पी टू प्लस ऑफ पी थ्री एच पर द डालडन स्लो राइट ना एंड टोटल मास विल बी इक्वल टू एम वन प्लस ऑफ एम टू प्लस ऑफ एम थ्री इन दिस केस वॉट इज द मीनिंग वन मास इज देयर दैट इज एम वन सेकेंड मास इज दिस देयर दैट इज एम टू एंड थर्ड मास इज देयर माई डियर एम थ्री दे आर हैविंग दे आर मेंटेनिंग एट अ प्रेशर ऑफ पी वन प्रेशर ऑफ पी टू प्रेशर ऑफ पी टू बट दे आर मेंटेन एट द सेम टेम्परेचर बिकॉज द एंटायर सिस्टम इज इन इक्लिवरियम कंडीशन माई डियर दे आर मेंटेन एट द सेम वॉल्यूम ऑल्सो वॉल्यूम इज नॉट द डिफरेंट सेम वॉल्यूम इज देयर माई डियर सो अगेन If I write the all property of the system, then volume and temperature are constant. Internal energy is u1, it's u2, and this one is u3, my dear. Even the temperature same, my dear, but internal energy of all the gas component will be the different. Reason mass of the all component is different, and when the mass of all component is different, then internal energy is the function of temperature plus it is the example of extensive property. And in this extensive property, my dear, definitely it is nothing but this will be the best example of the extensive property that is the reason the value of the internal energy is same for all the different gas component my dear so this is the mixture of all the gases r equivalent cp equivalent cb equivalent we have discussed and this is all about the basic thermodynamic we have completed my dear bahut subah se aap jame hue ho you are very much energy you all are having very much energy my dear that is the reason from the starting of the morning 10 am and right now time is near about 5 pm aap log kam se kam 7 ghante se you are not moving from here to there then definitely my dear i'll share my total this telegram uh, total this pdf on my telegram channel and again don't lose your patience we are going to meet again at tonight 10:40 or uh, 11:55 if the time will be changed my dear already i am going to inform you but bas ek hi baat yaad rakho always main aapko kehta jata hu whatever energy you are going to invest here or at your home or your in number of hours my dear you are going to invest nothing is going to disturb you कोई भी कहीं से भी आपको कोई डिस्टर्ब नहीं करेगा आपको सिर्फ और सिर्फ इतना तो याद रखना है कि जितना टाइम जितनी एनर्जी आपने इन्वेस्ट की है दुनिया की हर एक चीज धोखा दे दे या आपकी मेहनत आपको धोखा नहीं देगी बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ वर्क हार्ड डेफिनेटली माई डियर विल मीट इट अगेन यस एग्जैक्टली डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस एनर्जी वही बना के रखो क्योंकि अभी नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज यू हैव टू मेंटेन द सेम लेवल ऑफ एनर्जी मेरा तो क्या था आज का ही टॉपिक था बट यू हैव टू मेंटेन द सेम लेवल ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज माई डियर वन डे इफ यू विल लूज देन डेफिनेटली इट विल बी अ बिग लॉस फॉर यू गाइज टूडे इफ टाइम विल चेंज डेफिनेटली आई एम गोइंग टू इन्फॉर्म यू बट टूडे राइट नाउ फॉर राइट नाउ यू कैन एज्यूम the time will be 11:45 if you want some other time you just tell me in advance otherwise if the time will be change my dear it is completely the practice question of the 
प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस बेसिक थर्मोडाइनमिक इफ यू वॉन्ट सम अदर टाइम यू फील फ्री टू राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन अदरवाइज सी यू ऑल अगेन एट द मिड नाइट सेशन लेट सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर कमिंग एंड लेट मी टेल यू अगेन टू ऑल ऑफ यू हम सारे के सारे क्वेश्चन वही करेंगे जो आपने नहीं किए अभी ऑल क्वेश्चन विल बी द न्यू क्वेश्चन ओके यस पीडीएफ माई डियर डेफिनेटली आई शेयर ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल लेट मी चेक If no session is there before this eleven fifty five, I'll arrange the session. Otherwise, from now you just consider this one. You just consider this one for the eleven fifty five. अगर कोई session नहीं हुआ, let me tell you. If there is no session, my dear, then eleven pm will be the time for you. Clear to all? Okay. Let it plan at eleven pm tonight at eleven pm, my dear. Your practice session will there. Okay. Clear to all. Practice session, session, all the basic thermodynamic, important topic, whatever you have covered, my dear. Till that you can take rest, enjoy a lot. No problem, nahi. Aaram se, maje karo, show. Thodi der ke liye. Again, after three, four hour, we are meeting again for next one or two hour. Let's see how many of you are able to solve the all new type of questions, whatever I have just. Given okay, these all point, my dear. After that, you need not to prepare the formula notes. If anything at any formula I could not cover, you just write in the comment section or during that session uh, of 11 p.m. You can just write in the comment section. I'll just explain that point. Yeah, someone of you is asking, but what is the second law efficiency formula, my dear? Let me tell you, this is the first law efficiency divided by Carnot efficiency. Generally, I forget this. I'll just uh, I'll just. Uh, Discuss this portion in the practice session. I'll put one or two questions related to this one that can be written like work divided by heat supply. Someone of you have asked one minus T two divided by T one. Okay, this is the second law efficiency can be written like this. You just please write it. Second law efficiency, my dear, definitely. You just revise from here. You just revise from here, sir. Don't worry. Okay, okay, good. चलिए मिलते हैं फिर से. Thank you all bye bye good night everyone thank you okay see you soon